Wowie zowie. That was wrong. Hi. It's your boy, Joseph Rothschild, a.k.a. M.B.T. We almost missed the train we were so late. Oh, my God. How is everybody doing here today? I hope you're all having a gay old time. It's your boy, Joseph Rothschild. I'm M.B.T. And once again, and if you do not believe me, then you're a 10. That was wrong. <clears throat> oh. Compliant Hornet, thank you for the sub. Two years. Brag Titan, thank you for the two years. Two years, huh? Two long years. That was wrong. I'm trying to think what life was even like two years ago. But I'll stop trying to think about anything because uh, Solitary Walker Reveries Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. Thank you so much for the 10 gifties. If you didn't get one dodged in chat, it's a follower emote. So you have no excuse for not spamming it. Chat, get to spamming. You have a job to do today and you're not following through on it. Skibbity Fortnite. Skibbity, skibbity Fortnite. Ooh, skibbity Fortnite. Skibbity, skibbity Fortnite. Ugh. Anyway, I hope that everyone has been skibbitying. I hope you've all been in Fortnite. <sighs> Me, I'm tired. I went to bed really late last night. And the reason I went to bed really late last night was I, uh... Donowald gifted Sag. Oh, is there something that they said that I missed? To celebrate the end of my year and a half long Magic the Gathering progression, we just finished the first Ravnica block before some problems made us stop prematurely. Had tons of funds, wished to continue longer, but I'd still cause, call it a success. Magic the Gathering progression. Oh my god. Ravnica does seem like the logical place that it would fall apart though, right? Like you get to time spiral and it's like, that's already a sort of progression. Anyway, I, I did go to bed uh, at the ass crack of dawn last night because I went over uh, to go watch Dune with my good friend Daniel. Uh, we watched all of Dune in sequence because neither of us had ever seen any of it. And, uh, oh my god. I'm Muslim now. It's so good. It's so good. I can't believe I hadn't watched the first one already, but it's so good. I was shocked. I was surprised. You can't be saying that, white baby. Hey, well, if the if the other white baby can be the Lisa Al Galib, I think I can. Did you fuck the popcorn bucket? They didn't have the popcorn bucket. I almost cried. Ugh. No, it was interesting. I read the books first, and then I watched the movie. And a lot of the changes from the books, I gotta say, I'm one of those people. I'm a little sick little fuck. Where if if the um, director makes changes to the books in an adaptation and the changes are good, I'm like all for them. I'm like one of the monsters that thought the Zack Snyder change of the alien to uh, to Dr. Manhattan's energy signature was actually not bad. I was like, oh, I get it. I think that's pretty nice. Um, but uh, I, I thought a lot of the changes were fine. I didn't really like what they did with Kynes. And I think the reason that I didn't like it is because I'm a misogynist. Uh, for those of you who don't know, they made Kynes a uh, woke. They, they made them a, a black woman, uh, which just makes no sense on the planet full of, <laughs> full of brown people, right? No, what I didn't like about Kynes is how they, well, a little spoiler here, how they died. I really appreciated that um, in the book, they die for no reason. <laughs> it's just like they just die. A whole chapter is just them dying. <laughs> uh. I don't know. But a couple of things. Oh, I also don't like that they um they didn't have the Count in there. Uh, Count Fenring is his name, I think. Uh, but I think that they did a good job in showing that... The Bene, the important part of that is that the Bene Gesserit uh, have a different, like, um, uh, they have plans within plans. They have other op options. And rather than have, like, you know, a failed Kwisatz Haderach at the, uh, at the back of the Emperor, they've got, like, 
Fade Rautha, which is kind of similar, right? They just kind of transformed his role a little bit. I, I had no problem with that. Fade Rautha, great. Wonderful. Holy shit, what a fucking freak. I loved it. I think that um, I didn't like uh, Batista. He was great in the first one, but in the second one, they basically just had him shouting. And I was like, oh, come on. He can do so much more than this. Is Fade Routha not in the books then? Oh, no, he is. He's he's a, a central character in the books. It's... And he's a weirdo in those, too. My neighbors just closed all their blinds. I think it weirds my neighbors out that I can look from where I stream directly into their house. They have, like, a window that just, like, is their living room that I theoretically can look at. And I think it weirds them out. I don't want to have to be like, no, I'm normal. I, I'm sorry. I'm normal. I wish. I hope you had a good masochist stream. I saw you were streaming. Anyway, I really liked them. <clears throat> I was really afraid that uh, they were going to make a critical error with Dune. The reason I think that a lot of people think Dune is unadaptable is because it is just sort of about political intrigue. And it's about, like, the subtleties in which, like, you know, uh, one person says a sentence. And then it's, like, eight pages about how everyone in the room interpreted that sentence. And, like, the way that they reflect their response in, like, the movements of their eyes and stuff. And it's really hard to, like, translate that to something that's interesting to watch. But I think they do a pretty good job of it. I think that, like, they, were, they just spent a lot of time just, like on people's faces just like them saying nothing and i really liked um i really liked how deliberately everyone spoke in the first one and in the second one how spontaneously uh paul speaks specifically around zendaya it was it was nice it was cute and i do like what they've done with zendaya's character too because like she's kind of not to be like she's nothing in the books but she's like kind of nothing in the books i i'm interested in seeing what direction they take her It is also funny, I I think it's weird that I never heard any woke outrage about this, you know? Like I never heard any of those channels with names like the the pissed off the pissed off critical gamer, right? Uh, who were making like Gamergate content in twenty twenty four, talking about how they like they blackwashed uh fucking um uh Liet Keens, or they, they're like, oh, they made Fade Routha look like a white supremacist. And I think the reason for that is that none of those fucking people ever read Dune. <laughs> I think they were mostly like, oh, Dune, that's the one where, uh, what's his name? Jim Henson did the puppets and uh, David Bowie is the Goblin King, right? Yeah, close enough. Don't, it, it's, <laughs> it's not real to these people. Uh it's weird because I think there are some pretty interesting... Eh, I'm not going to get into it. But, ugh, good stuff. Uh, I really like the book. I, I'm one of the fucking freaks who really liked Messiah. I think that, like, not to be like, I'm better at reading than you, but, like, I can't believe there was outrage to Messiah. For me, Messiah is, like, a true... It is a really triumphant work um, in which, like... Um, after the abject failure at the end of Dune for this guy to untangle himself from this genetic destiny that he knows will kill billions, he is finally successful in achieving his goal, which is, like, dying a pauper's death for no reason. It's a really, like, triumphant, beautiful ending, and I think people were pissed off he wasn't Luke Skywalker. So I'm interested in seeing... I mean, people are bad at reading. They're really bad at watching movies, and so I'm interested in seeing what happens, like, how they're going to navigate that one. I'm also interested how they're going to make the Humming Leprechaun. Uh, for those of you who haven't read Dune Messiah, it is a major plot point that there is a mind-controlling Humming Leprechaun. <laughs> That's, that, that, I think, is going to be a hard role to cast for sure. Um, I, I actually haven't read... Children of Dune, uh, Callie. It is on my read list for this year. Uh, I am excited to dig into it. I've been doing one Dune book a year. 
Is there a bit of an undertaking? It's bad, but interesting. That's good. That's what I like to hear. I, I am I will say I'm gonna stop after the good Dune books. I'm not gonna read like the forty books by his kids that are like, oh, and I don't know, like <laughs> then they went to the Rick and Morty planet where phones are people, you know, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Can you explain why Aquaman is so important in the books? Are you talking about Duncan Idaho? First off, hilarious oh, Ugh, I could talk about this all day. I love that like it's so far removed from the future that like you have to guess like where like religious concepts like Islam and Catholicism will end up in 10,000 years but also like there's people named Duncan and like there's not an Idaho anymore right <laughs> like it, it's probably like some like name passed down through a million years that's like a reference to Idaho it's so funny um, but the short of it is that Duncan Idaho is one of the most important characters in the universe. And for those of you who were sad that Aquaman died, he'll, I, I don't know, he'll, I want to say he'll be back, but like, that's kind of oversimplifying it. <laughs> it's, Jason Momoa will be in the next movie. That's what I'll say. He has to be, but <laughs> he will be bla back clueless, but he actually, he is back. But is he back? It's the book readers were not kidding about Duncan Idaho being everywhere. He, uh, you're not gonna lie. Yeah. What the fuck did? Okay, so that is the biggest change. Okay, there's a number of enormous changes from the book, but the biggest one is that there is not a two-year time skip between Paul like stopping spice production in the north and uh, the end of the movie. Um. It, it it just keeps going it like the entire events of the movie happen over the course of like three months and as a result uh, uh, a, a child is not born that is supposed to have been born and is missing and like uh, they have uh, Anna Taylor Joy playing her right but she shows up in like a dream but like there's a 12 year time skip between now and Messiah so what, is she just going to show up? Like, she doesn't look 12. Like, she's going to look like she's, like, 26. It's... I don't know. I think probably what's going to happen... Is that legitimately there's going to be, like... They're going to have to be, like, a 30-year time skip. And they're just going to hire someone new for... For, uh... For Paul. Or maybe they'll just age him up. No, we did not get the funky fetus... That was, it's very strange to me because I saw a tweet that was like, yeah, I understand why they didn't do it because it's kind of hard to explain that like a psychically connected fetus is able to engineer events at the end of the, of the work. And then like, I read that tweet back and I went, wait, how is that? How is that hard to explain? That really hap that happens elsewhere in the movie, right? That's not hard to explain at all. You drink the water of life while you're pregnant. The baby comes out a fully conscious reverend mother with a thousand lifetimes of experience. It's an abomination. I don't know what to tell you. That's like normal to like, how is that hard? I don't know. I, I am hoping that he leans into like the weird stuff in the next one. The one thing that I didn't like is how... Not to do an anti-woke reading of Dune... But, like, I think it was actually pretty bad that they... I know a lot of the references to, like, to Islam are, like, these, like, surface level just, like, mentions of, like, an evolutionary chain that would take 10,000 years to develop, right? But it seems like in this one they really pruned around, like, any problematic word. Like, they never say jihad. And it's, like, the whole point of the book is that there there's a jihad central to the to the entire plot but they like don't want to say it they're like we we can't should i say it i'm not going to say it i can't say it they didn't say jihad they don't mention the butlerian jihad we're all just supposed to infer it they don't mention the orange catholic bible they're just like I don't know. It's weird. And what doesn't instill me with confidence is the MMO. I don't know if you've seen that's coming out about Dune. That's like, we try to avoid religion. And it's like, are you kidding me? That's like, <laughs> the 
It's a messianic story. What do you mean you tried to avoid religion? <laughs> what are you fucking stupid? Ugh. They speak Mandarin, but not Arabic. Oh, I love the Mandarin shit. I love that that scene with UA in it is like one of the best where like he's speaking Mandarin to Paul, who is speaking sign language to his mother. It, it's so good. And then the mother and UA have a third language that they are speaking to each other over Paul. Oh, fuck. One of the best scenes in the movie. Are you going to get the Dune Cup? At this point, I think I'd have to order it off eBay. And if you buy them off eBay, you know they've been used. You know a dick has already been inside there. Uh, were you legit jump scared by the Emperor like I did? So, I had to take a piss break. And we had to get pizza, me and Danny, when we watched it. And he was like, so how's it going relative to the book so far? I'm like, it's kind of interesting. We haven't seen the Emperor yet. We haven't seen the Princess. You know, I don't, I don't really... Hmm. I'm really interested to see what happens. And then the, Christopher Walken shows up on screen, and I just... <laughs> I, I was just like, no, shot. <laughs> so for me, the weird part is like, he's trying not to do the, hey, it's me, Christopher Walken, like cadence. He's trying, but it does come out a little bit. And I'm like, ugh, it is Christopher Walken. He did a pretty good job. Everyone in it was insanely good. Everyone in it, by the way, really good. There were a couple people who were like, they did terrible. Mostly, everyone was insanely good. Uh, I actually was a little off-put by how much, watching them in sequence, like back to front, by how much uh, Javier, Javier Bardem, I hope that's how you say his name, uh, Stilgar, by how much his performance changed between one and two. I was a little upset about that because I, I feel like he was given some direction that I, I, I don't really agree with. Um, and, uh, but he did, he did fine both times. And the weird part about it for me was what was done with Jamis. Because in the first movie, you expect Jamis, like, in the act of killing him, uh, Paul is going to be connected with Jamis uh, for, for the remainder of his living days, right? Um, and it gives you the sense that that's going to happen. And then, like, it doesn't in the second movie. And then, like, he's in the desert and he's like, I need a spirit guide. Let me commune with Jamis. And it's like, you've never done this before. What do you mean? <laughs> it's so weird. It's it's very strange. Uh, hmm. The actors were good. They're just very white. Uh, are they? I know some of them are white. But like, it's like Zendaya, right? <laughs> it is It is interesting because I was watching it and Danny was like, is this going to have like white savior stuff in it? And I'm like, uh, yeah, it is. But like, that's kind of like the central conflict. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, I guess I would say that it does. Uh, but don't worry, you're going to agree with a lot of the characters. <laughs> I can't believe people watch Dune and didn't realize Paul actually is the good guy and he will save everyone. I mean, he's the main character. It's going to be so... That's, what I'm, that's why I'm really excited for Messiah. It's going to be so hard for audiences to suss out what they're supposed to do with Paul. Because I've seen a lot of people trying to get out ahead of the allegations on Twitter and being like, oh, well, Paul's the bad guy, right? And it's like, I don't even, I don't think I would feel comfortable saying that. I mean, he is not a great dude, uh, but it's like, what's the antagonist of Messiah? Ah, uh, fate. Uh, uh, genetics. I don't know. <laughs> Uh. Sightail is Sightail is like not his motivations are against Paul but like how bad does that make him really I'm really scared I will say I hope I'm saying this right because I've never heard it pronounced ever Tylexu I hope that they don't cut them 
because I saw some people on Twitter being like, the way to adapt Messiah is to cut the Tylaxu. And I'm like, you better not do that. That's so important. That's like, that's like the most important thing ever. Oh my God. Like what the, the they're just going to show up without a Gola. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, Ugh. far more important than the baby. far more important than the baby let's go they need to emphasize the spacing guild more they're gonna have to if they do messiah the problem is that like game of thrones the further away from the core world building the less likely it is to be added it's pretty fucking close uh okay i'm done talking about dune done talking about dune Outside of Dune, it was my spring break this week. Had a good spring break, and by that I mean I didn't really do anything. Uh, spring break in law school is awesome because, like, you just don't get time off. you like, oh, spring break, you mean I get a one-week reprieve from classes, which I use to start the outlining process, which is, like, the study process for the end of the term. So, actually, I, I didn't get any uh, time off. Um, but uh, still nice. Still enjoyable. I remember in an interview with Zendaya when it was clear she didn't bother reading Dune or even looking at the Wikipedia page because she had no idea what her character would do in part two. Uh, that's fine. For Chani, that's okay. You don't have to read Dune. Mm. But, uh... I got a lot of shit done. The thing I'm worried about right now is money. I'm always worried about money, um, but I had to swap all my AdSenses this month because I finally, um, I finally changed them from the AdSenses I made when I was like 18, and they're like all tied to my personal account or whatever. And in so doing, I may have cut myself off of a month of payments uh, from YouTube. Not they, they aren't going to disappear, but they're going to just be held at YouTube for a month. And I'm like, uh oh. No, the problem isn't that. The problem isn't that I'm not making enough money. We're not going to do subathon. The problem is I have to wait to get, like, I have to get the money. Although all the money that I get through PayPal and through Twitch is still fine. So if you all want me not to die destitute, just uh, go ahead and sub or uh, donate a billion dollars. <laughs> Dyer can wait. Yeah, fuck Dyer. Pegasus challenge wheel. Oh, you so your opponent commits tax evasion for you? True. Patron wheel of the council. Nope, the page, Patreon also connected to the same AdSense. Uh, no, wait, it's connected to PayPal. PayPal will of the council.com. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in my life I should talk about. Oh, I made a tweet a couple of weeks ago about um, getting rid of my bulk. I have just like a lot of bulk at my house just by virtue of like going to locals and getting packs and like entering a bunch of events and like people send me stuff right uh oh thank you anonymous gifter for the two gifties uh but this tunnel's insane uh but uh i made a, a tweet that was like hey if you have like a gaming club at your school let me know i i'd like to foist my bulk off on you because i know a lot of people are always doing that i did get i did get um contacted by someone and i was able to uh to send all my shit out to them. So I hope they it should be arriving there today or tomorrow. I'm, I'm super excited uh, for that to happen. I will say thank the fucking Lord for the United States Postal Service flat rate box. <laughs> I'm out here handing like a 70 pound box of cards to uh, the woman at the thing. And I'm like, that'll be $12 shipping, please. Oh. Are we, are we still on a train or are we in hell? What's going on? Ugh. This is Dune 3. True. 
No, I'm um. I'm really excited this weekend. I, I have a really cool upload planned. I, I hope it goes over well. Oh, um, very last thing. I'm looking for someone to do thumbs for me. I finally um, finally bit the bullet on thumbnails. Uh, um, I'm gonna start getting someone professional to do them. I think. Uh, and I've got I've got some promising people, but if if you are interested in that, uh, I have a tweet about it. Basically, I just need a, a resume and some samples and rates sent to um, uh, mbtuyo@gmail.com. Uh, obviously, huge, huge, huge preference to people I already know. Um, I will just be a huge uh, nepotistic guy uh, for you. I will say I would really appreciate if you're better at making thumbnails than I am. <laughs> We've gotten some uh, that are that are just like okay, well, I'm already making thumbnails, um, and but I I wanted to show off one extremely good thumbnail that I got. I uh, this I mean, it by that I it's not good, but it's like uh, they knew what I wanted when I was like, hey, can I get some examples? Uh, this is it's so good. Uh, let me just show it real quick. So here we have a hypothetical thumbnail for uh, a Mr. Beast deck profile from YCS Little St. James. Uh, <laughs> and we have Epstein on the little trophy here. I was like, thank you so much for this. I mean, I, you're, you're some kind of monster, but uh, thank you so much for this. <laughs> oh, my God. It was... I was... Oh. Oh, we're making it out. <laughs> Yay. Oh my god, another tunnel. Immediately into a second tunnel. <laughs> this one was shorter though. Oh. Oh my god, a th how many fucking tunnels are in this prefecture? But yeah, if you if you want to make some extra money and you're good at thumbs, help me out. Um, I have gotten a, a number that are promising, but... We'll see. Real talk, I'm just waiting for Swolax to PM me. I don't know if it's something he's interested in, but <laughs> that one thumbnail he did for Gage, I'm like, this is the best thumbnail on YouTube. All right, whew, out of the thumbs, or out of the tunnels. Whew. All right. Y'all wanna do Twitter freaks? DM me, I need something for the short. What do you need? Send me the Patreon end screen, but without the text, I don't have it on this PC. Dyer is... Wait, Dyer, how could that possibly be the case? Dyer is... Dyer's uh, laptop exploded, so she's like, oh, I'm editing on my PC, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then I realized, I was like, wait, shouldn't you be editing on your PC anyway? What do you mean your laptop is compromised, so I have to edit on my PC? Uh, laptop is more convenient. <laughs> you are a freak. <laughs> oh, my God, you are. <laughs> You're a freak. I love it. All right. Um, let me... Uh, Let me open up Twitter Freaks. Uh, <laughs> I can't do that one. Uh, I actually don't have very many Twitter Freaks today. I have a number of them. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. <laughs> No, we're not going to do we might do uh we might do 911 uh warrior cat. The thing with 911 warrior cat is I don't know how well it's going to translate. Uh
Okay, so let's begin with oh let's let's just like play the um let's play the theme first and foremost. All right, here's what we're working with today. First and foremost, we have, okay, <laughs> so <laughs> we are now entering week two of hashtag Kate Gate. Um, <clears throat> this, is a, this is a strange one. So Kate Middleton, for those of you that don't know, is no one knows where she is. Um... She has, uh, she has not been seen for a while, and when prodded on this, the royal family released a photograph allegedly taken by William that shows her and, like, some ki her kids, but it was so heavily doctored that a bunch of newspapers were like, we are not going to run this. And, uh, as, and today, this happened. TMZ found a video of what is purported to be William and Kate, like, walking out from somewhere. But, like, this is not Kate Middleton. <laughs> this is, like, clearly not Kate Middleton. Like, what the fuck? What's going on? So, <clears throat> no one... I. My my leading uh, theory is that she got a BBL and it went wrong and she's like recovering. But they, they obviously can't be like she got a BBL and it went wrong. But uh, I hope she's still living. By the way, did you know that, that BBLs are like the number one most fatal surgery in the United States? Isn't that crazy? That's nuts, right? So, what's a BBL? It's a Brazilian butt lift. It's a type of surgery that makes your butt pop more. But to do it, they have to make, like, an incision uh, where your, your butt is. And it turns out, if you are slicing in an area with a lot of fat and a lot of capillaries, it's really easy for fat to get in the capillaries and just kill you immediately. Someone watched the new Papa Meat video? I don't know what that is. I... Oh, this, uh, is this, um... I do know what that is. That's Meat Canyon's like commentary channel, right? Is did he do this? Fuck. Now people are going to think that I watch like the gross out YouTubers commentary channel when I'm just trying to share a fun fact I know. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh. I don't know. I hope that I hope that she's okay. But uh, this William guy, bad vibes, bad omens surround this man. That's all. That's what I got to say. I think someone might not be okay. <laughs> Originally, I was like, oh, this is more like insane, like brain cooked by the internet type conspiracy theory shit. And then as it like kept happening, I was like, this, this one might be real. <laughs> Next up. This is so good. That's my Academy Award winner, Killian Murphy. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Yes. I was young. You never think of men doing it, but it's just as possible. Did the person know? No. I'm an actor, for God's sake. He's so good. Did he just pee? No, he probably just went like, Oh! <laughs> How does a man fake an orgasm? You just like uh, finish inside. And then then all you need is some like suggestion. You finish inside and you go, oh, can you feel it? And they go, yes, I can, in fact. And then you're done. You're like, Whew, got out of that one. You know, you could eat. Yeah, what if he's wearing? Well, the condom complicates things because it would kind of be immediately visible, right? Mm -hmm. 
I, I feel like I do kind of want it. Okay, now I want to know more. Now I want to know more. Not if it's an opaque condom. Do they make opaque condoms? Opaque condoms. Why? Oh, wait. Chat actually has a pretty good idea. What if you come in the condom beforehand? Then you have plausible deniability. That's clever. All right, next up. Seventy-eight percent of Americans are now living paycheck to paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> gotcha. I feel like fucking Apollo Justice. My bracelet. It's vibrating. Gotcha. Awesome gif to react with. Trois verts. What does he say? He says. I don't know what the word for glasses is in Britain. But, uh... Oh God, Inglor Inglorious Bastards is so good. Say auf Wiedersehen to your Nazi balls. <laughs> they all shoot each other. It's great! Wonderful movie. Hmm. It has captions, Joseph. It's a yeah, it's captioned in French, but in in the movie proper, he says it in German. It's not that yeah, it's not that he's being given away by by the fact that he's speaking French. That's just whoever was watching this had French captions on. It's it's that he doesn't do this to order 3. He does this. He's given away because an actual German would have ordered three like this. He orders three like this. Just as this person is given away by writing paycheck, C-H-E-Q-U-E, -E instead of C-H-E-C-K. Now that I've explained the joke, let's move on to the next one. Okay, this fucking rocks. Trump salutes while playing an alternative national anthem at his rally. This is so fucking funny. So, if you if you didn't pay attention to the Dayton, Ohio uh, 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 rally this weekend, it was it, I think the most unhinged yet. Um, the 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 big the big uh, story from this rally is that he said, "If I don't win, there's gonna be a bloodbath. There's gonna be a bloodbath, folks." Uh, Blue blocker going crazy, by the way. Uh, but uh, listen to how he opens the fucking event. I, I'm going to have to reload the blue blockers going so crazy. All right, give it another shot, buddy. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. And I love that they have like the muffled. Oh, it really does. It's so good. Please all rise for the horribly and unfairly treated. It's not real. It's not real. And it can't be. <laughs> it's 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 real. It is real. I, I love it. Oh, my God. Everyone, please rise. This says so much that I can't tell if it's real or fake. Okay, asshole. Local 58 contingency be like, please rise. You take America with you. Assume the position. Oh, let me just say, if the guy on the left assumed the position, we'd things would be going a lot better. <laughs> Holy! We may still... Oh, my God. We may still claim victory from the jaws of defeat. Man. Now you got me thinking about Local 58. 
The only good one ever to do it. Every analog horror now is like <laughs> the fucking meme review AVGN bit, but they were the only ones to do it well. I talk about this a lot, but the person who made that, I'm always shocked because I'm it, it, Chris Straub, I think is their name, because it turns out they just made like 19 different things I really liked as a kid. They made like the Machine of Death board game, were instrumental in the book, Brood Hollow, Local 58, like a whole shit load of those things. I was like, oh God, it's the same guy over and over again. Chain, what was it like chainsaw hands what was the name of the fucking there was a gag a day it was called like chainsaw hands candle cove the creepy pasta one of the only good creepy pastas also by the same person chainsaw suit yeah crazy i prototypical example of that of course is casey green who just was behind every interesting thing that happened online for like four years next up Oh, Farf is here. Farf, you want to do your weekly call-in and we'll riff about <laughs> the unfairly maligned January 6th hostages? Okay. This one I like. This is a uh, Red Muffler Man. Uh, this is a good tweet from them. They're watching the final episode of Columbo and see if you can recognize the intro music. Inspector, you're wasting my time, and my time is valuable. I can't believe it. It's supposed to be just him in a nightclub, or a nightclub. I don't know if he's in there. This this episode, by the way, do not watch it. It's the saddest thing ever. Uh, Columbo is an interesting show. You know, I think it's been kind of blown out of proportion by the internet. It's fine. It's not perfect. Um, but by the end, oh, he is just so old. He's so old. It's really kind of bleak. Columbo is a classic 11 p.m. hotel TV show. Me, myself, I've always been a Perry Mason fan. I've always been a Perry Mason guy. He's always been... You're so white. I know you didn't want to say white. I know you wanted to say... You wanted to say another word. Oh, you like the you like the one with the the fruity defense counsel and the gay guy is the prosecutor? Hmm. How interesting. I know what you want to say. Old is the other word. That's fair. That one does clear. <clears throat> Next up. <laughs> oh, I let me get Farfa in for this one. All right, you fucking with orange? Orange. Agent the color orange. orange. Uh, like, are you just asking if I like orange? It's unironically like probably my favorite color. I like warm colors, yellow and orange. Really? Your red. favorite color is orange? Yeah, orange or yellow, depending on the moods. But yeah, I like warm colors. Yellow. Uh, I never find anyone whose favorite color is yellow. Which of these two oranges do you prefer? Uh, definitely the orangey orange, not the redy. One. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> it says huge injustice that the orange left has more commercial success than the orange right orange left is an insult to orange corporate spiritually weak no umami at all and the quote tweet is i used to think like this before i learned how it really is you can't be fucking with orange too heavy you just can't it'll destroy you would you agree with that you know what's funny? Orange is like such a politically charged color, specifically in Scotland. Oh yeah, it's, because you uh, have um, oranges. Uh, have you ever heard of the Orange Order? No. It sounds like a Star Wars. Oh. It's like the actual origin of where like all of the Illuminati conspiracies come from. What? Um, it, 
yeah so like scotland because like this is where like the illuminati quote-unquote come from right 1777 and in from scotland from the Ma from the masonry like association or whatever it was originally called oh we just um, no here in america we just start our our illuminati conspiracies with like jews we don't do like the <laughs> masonry <laughs> stuff I don't know where the Jews tie in, to be honest, but, like, over here, like, William of Orange, uh, the Dutchman conquered, like, some things or the something to do with, like, the Protestant yeah, church, wrong. like, revolting or something. Oh, I'm going to have to get into this. Like, th this is a, this is a rabbit hole in Scotland. It's, like, it's, it's the cause of, like, multiple, like, uh, you know, physical violent clashes, like, multiple times per year whenever these, like, Orange Order marches happen and stuff like that. There's, it's, Wait, it's they're still around? Over here. Yeah, like, some Dutch guy, like, went to war, like, you know, 500 years ago. So, like, they, there's, like, a parade, like, multiple times a year here. And it just causes, like, massive sectarian uh, clashing and stuff like that. It, it goes back, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's really bad. Like, Scotland is extremely catholic protestant divided when it comes to these things even until today and a lot of it is like um what's the word uh a word to describe venting a lot of it sort of manifests itself through football through sports celtic rangers <laughs> um it's a huge thing this is amazing what the fuck <laughs> this is a weird that's thing a... to hear on MBT Street. Yeah, no, it's it's yeah, it's, it's yeah. a big thing in like Scotland Ireland. It's That's uh, crazy. Yeah. Wait, so so which are you? Are you a Catholic or are you a Protestant? Uh, I'm sure you've probably seen like I not either a Muslim, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've seen like a ton of the uh the pro Palestine like flags uh, being waved at like soccer matches and like yeah, one yeah. of the biggest um proprietors of that is Glasgow Celtic, the football club. Mhm. Mm Maybe Wait, so that around the green and white stripe team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, yeah. So I like. I guess I, I you know, the what, what's what's the slogan? A team by immigrants for immigrants or something like that. It was like started as like an wrong. Irish kind of uh, immigration sports club, basically for like people coming over uh, to Scotland. I'm learning ago, so then, much like, today. Yeah, it's a uh, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty cool thing, pretty good lore, pretty cool history. I used to be a Rangers fan when I was a kid because you know I didn't know any better. I was just like, yeah, let's say like this because <laughs> you know um, <laughs> you were Ojama like, Lime is... as a child. Yes, uh, the um, sports is like really political in Europe, like really political. That's so I don't funny. think it's like that in America at all. Oh but no, it a is. Lot of lo but okay, like, interesting. Our our sports are political insofar as like if. Uh, Tony Romo wins the Super Bowl, then it proves that Jesus is alive. Like that's what it. That's, what it is. <laughs> that's like what we get. But really, though, like it's like there's proper like there's like sectarian religious divides here. There's um, uh, class divides hugely drawn between like football teams. You know, that's you know, like in the UK, for example, wrong. like Liverpool is supposedly like a big like you know working class team um foundation and like you know for the workers and stuff like that obviously none of that is anything remotely true today because you know capitalism sports deals and tv mm -hmm. licensing and all that kind of stuff but that's kind of like how they kind of see themselves we um, um for a lot of teams germany is really political with its football teams as well weirdly enough mm -hmm. uh we in america i think the closest we had is the most recent super bowl um was between uh a, a bunch of uh, pathetic frauds and then uh, the Kansas City Chiefs um, who had a uh, one person on the this is American football. One person on the team was dating Taylor Swift, who in the last election cycle endorsed Joe Biden and the the, <laughs> the player got. Do the you remember when Joe Rogan endorsed Bernie? That was funny. Yeah, it was so funny. Sat and then down the, and um, smoked weed together for an hour, and then he's like endorsing him politically. Your, your country's wild. Anyway, <laughs> the player got the vaccine, so like the the Super Bowl became this weird like proving grounds for if the vaccine was at, would kill you or would actually make you so good at football that you win the Super Bowl. <laughs> They and, should just have like a vaxxed yeah. team and an unvaxxed team and then see like who wins. <laughs> what are they going to cough on the unvaxxed team? They're going to all blow up like a fucking <laughs> child with mumps. It's kind of weird though because I don't think I've heard about any kind of like superly, super kind of like politically driven things in America. Like Oh, did you, did you miss the uh, the Kaepernick drama like five years ago? 
Yeah, but that's kind of like an individual, right? Right. Yeah, like, that's that's not like sort of rooted at the foundation of of the club kind of thing, right? Like yeah. it's it's not like, you know, like huge in Europe, right? Like uh, FC Barcelona, mas que un club, right? Et cetera, and Chad, et cetera, if you like had huge. to pick the the like racist American football team, what would it be? Hard mode. You can't say the Pats. All right. Well, if you're curious, the uh, immediately the whole chat. Patriots, one. Patriots, Patriots, Patriots. Cowboys. You think the Cowboys? There's a lot of Cowboys there. I could. I guess the Cowboys, right? Yeah. If you ever uh, come across uh, the team called Lazio uh, from Italy, there, there, you got to stay away. Lazio. Don't go near them. Yeah. Uh, we call them Nazio because <laughs> when they came. When they came over recently to uh, <laughs> play against Celtic, they were they were just marching down the streets of Glasgow, just Roman saluting, just straight up. Just what the fuck? Actual, ju yeah. There's like crazy <laughs> videos of them just walking down the street, just actual, just Roman saluting. You like, people canting. are amazing. It's Holy shit! <laughs> like it's not it's not an understatement to say Europe is crazy political that way. Oh, that's just so funny. What's what's the um what's the most woke? American football team chat. Woke football team. Eagles. The the no, the Eagles are just guys. The Eagles are just like they're just guys. <laughs> they're not like come on. That was wrong. Seahawks. Seahawks is correct. Seahawks is correct. Thank you. That's the one I will always refer to whenever I talk about american football like the new york shithawks <laughs> this, this, the new, york, new york shit. no they are not uh, uh close enough uh, hey do you know what'd be really funny yeah. um we should take a american state geography test against each other and see like how well you take a european country no geography i'm gonna test. get cooked dude no <laughs> i will get cooked here let, let's pull up you, let, here let me pull up a sporkle Eastern can you bring up like an un Europe. unnamed like not could you bring up like a like a European map without the country names and then yeah, I yeah, want yeah. you to like just do your best. Okay, here yeah, we go. You, if you can like find that and I want you to like I'll I'll name like a random country and I want you to like point at it. Okay. Uh see, see how accurate. So here it is. is. They want me to do Poland first. Uh so uh, Germany invaded Poland, right? Right? So just a few times. It's got to be like right like right here or something. Wait, how do I why I don't know how to click. Why am I not seeing this? Oh, I need to refresh. Oh, they're not all Oh, okay, I see what's going on. So it's it's from here on out. It's got to be like right here, right? Ah, fuck. Okay. Uh Bosnia and Herzegovina. I was one off. I was one off. Bosnia and Herzegovina. That's two countries. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna double down on the same place. Okay, I was way off. I was never getting that one. Okay, wait, okay. So I want you to look at like Bosnia, right? And I want you yeah. to tell I want you to tell me if you notice anything strange about like the shape of Bosnia. Have uh, you picked it yet? You haven't picked it yet. Yeah, I well no, they they showed it. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if there's like a delay or something. Dude, it's so weird. It keeps freezing. Oh yeah, there. Okay. Is there anything like strange that you can see about this the Is this the, the one where they don't have any shoreline? Yeah, so they're <laughs> completely funny. landlocked despite being right all the way down to that tiny inch over there. They are landlocked because of like just the, you know, Yugoslav war, basically. Did you, did you see me fuck um, up uh, Romania just now? Easy. All right, Moldova. <laughs> Where I have no fucking clue for Moldova. Let's say it's by Romania. Oh, it was. It was just on the other side. Bulgaria. Okay, this one's right here. God damn it, dude. I'm so close on all these. Russia. I know Russia. Come on. Slovenia. I thought that was just a name. Oh, I don't know where Slovenia is. It sounds like Russian. Is like it right every here. country name way off. Name, Joseph? Czechia. Oh, this one's going to be embarrassing. I literally, my grandparents are from Czechoslovakia. I, but I don't know where it is. It's not, it doesn't exist anymore. Is Czechia the Czech Republic chat? Come on. You got to help me out here. It is. Yes. Okay, it's got to be this one. Yeah! Belarus. I don't know where the fuck Belarus is. Let's say here. Oh, I was pretty on. close. You must know Belarus because of, because Slovakia. of the NATO -like issues. Oh, Ukraine. Oh, fuck. Which one of these fucking places is Ukraine? Dude, okay. This one. Okay, you got yes. Slovakia. Good. North Macedonia. Uh, Let's see. 
Well, it's got to be north you know, of it's something. Fuck. Well, uh, I think North Macedonia is pretty cl- uh, recent, which is uh, ironically it's enough. right here. Oh, my God. I'm so good. Holy shit. Okay. Hungry, 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 hungry hippos. Uh, where the fuck is hungry? Like, probably like Hey, right listen. Here. You are pretty yes! good at this. Don't feel uh, too Estonia? bad. Estonia? Oh, fuck. I should know Estonia. They, they have like a lot of uh, uh, cyber warfare capabilities. I'm going to say it's right here. Okay, I was way off. Baltics. Lithuania. That's right here. Fuck! Albania. Oh, where is Albania? Um, I don't know where Albania is. I have no idea. I'm going to say it's... A, Eastern it's a, Europe as a hint. Yeah, that's not helpful. Kosovo? I, don't, I have no idea. I, I'm just clicking now. Got it. Easy. These are all former easy. Yugoslav countries. Come on, they're Serbia. Easy. This is Serbia. Yeah. Montenegro. Oh, fuck. It's the Rada country. It's got to be this one. Easy. <laughs> Croatia. Easy. Latvia. Easy. Boom. Suck my fucking dick, chat. That was better than any of you could have done. Holy shit. 57%. I'm in the top 0.0001% of Americans. I fucked up Poland, though. I'm not going to lie. That one was pretty bad. I should have gotten Poland. <laughs> Only 20% off the average. Not too bad. 20% off the average. But who's taking this? Europeans. Holy <laughs> fuck. Okay, now you got to do the, the American one. Uh, what do I like screen share it or something? Yeah, do you, you can you screen share it? Okay, let me struggling see. with Ukraine looks green to me, dumb fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, gotta hate these like preferences. All right, let's see. Uh, share screen. Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. All right, let's go. Are we good? I'm ready. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, all right, what do we got first here? Uh, play quiz. Enter. Wait, oh no, this oh, is Oh, no, 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 no. We want one where you gotta point them out. Yeah. Uh... Okay, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh... Bro, come on. Bro, Wait, where's on. Iowa? Iowa. Is that... This one should be easy. I where's Iowa? I think, I think that's Slipknot, right? <laughs> Indiana. No, that was... Illinois. No. Oh, I was close. It was there like this go. area. You got, you got it. it. All right, South Dakota. Okay, you you Dakota. can get South Dakota. Texas. Yeah, nice. you you know Texas. Okay, you know oh, why. Come on, this is like one of the fake ones. No, this one this one actually determined the 2020 election. Nope. Uh, nope. It's like one of these. This no, is it's not. No, you gotta go. Gotta go right. Gotta go right. Oh, is it East Coast? Damn. No, uh, no, 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 no. Shit. Left a little bit. Up. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm tricking you. I'm you said sorry. Right. I'm you That's a right is East Coast. What is wrong with you? I'm literally lying Michigan. to you. Oh shit, Michigan. Uh that's like the Canada one. Utah. Yeah. Nice. Utah. Uh, this is where all the Mormons are? No, that's Idaho. Nope. Fuck. Close. 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 Uh, You're in the right area. Uh, oh, <sighs> Indiana. Damn it. You saw Indiana earlier. Uh, you were looking for Iowa. You clicked that. Indiana Idaho. first. Skip it. In. There it is. Kansas. Ooh, Dorothy. You know Kansas? Kansas. Nice. Yeah. You're Tennessee. The only Tennessee. This is where Taylor nice. Swift is. You know Maine. Uh, fucking Canada. One of these. Uh, this is New Hampshire. This is Maine. Oh no, uh, this is Maine. You got it. You got it. You got it. Illinois. Oh, this is this. This is uh, Eminem. South. Yes. Nice. You got it. Okay, South Carolina. South Carolina. Colorado. Good. Colorado. Good nice. shit. North oh, you're fucking them up now. Well, okay. So South Carolina, I assume, is gonna be under North Carolina. Arkansas. Easy. Arkansas. This is the uh, the one that people can't spell. Why no Arkansas? No. Nope. Fuck. Nope. Other oh, other side. Shit. Other side. Ah, damn it. Wisconsin. Canada. Uh, this one. No, this no, one. no. But close. No, this no, no. Other way. Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oklahoma. You know Oklahoma. Oklahoma. It looks like a pan. Oh, shit. A pan. Yeah. Oh, See, what's like a pan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, this is where I live. Is... So you better not fuck this up. Uh it's next to Gage. Ah, shit, New Jersey. That's Gage. Fuck. Nope. Oh, oh damn you're, it. You're Indiana. so close. Indiana. I'm skipping Arizona. Indiana again. Arizona is... Was it this one? No, New Mexico. Close, 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 close. Yes. Ooh. Nebraska. This one? Connecticut. Yes. yes. Oak. This is one of those tiny island things, Yeah, it's things, a shitty... It's not the tiniest, though. That's Washington. what you got now. Nice. Ooh, Washington. This is... Uh, no, no, no. Not dead. D.C. Not D.C. The state Washington. Oh, okay. Uh, this is Seattle, Washington. Missouri. Nice. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, fuck racism. Uh, Georgia. No, little Obama. up. It's a little up. It's racist, oh, but it's up. That's how the they up. get you. Oh, Ireland. 
What? <laughs> yeah, a lot of Irish people here. Massachusetts. I'm shipping up to Boston. Do do. Right? Yeah, you know I what I mean. A bo- that oh, is true. Shit. Yeah, you're right. God. Is it like one of these? Oh, oh god damn it. California. I'm California. Going, New York. Kelly. Oh, Shit you know like? New York. New York State is so much harder than like New York City. Oh, oh come on, dude. Me. New York is surprisingly big. It's huge. Yeah. Louisiana. This is this is one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's down there. Do we Louis the Louisiana purchase? West Virginia. Dude, if I got that wrong as a history teacher, oh my god. West Virginia. Georgia. Georgia. Shit. No, nah, nah. Kentucky. Nice. Uh, the fucking colonel. Where is he at? It's Sanders. Uh, where's the colonel? Uh, no, I'm thinking of the guy who eats chicken. Yeah, Colonel Kentucky Sanders. Kentucky Fried. Nope, that's. Uh, not even close. Oh, God damn it. Oh, it's the one that looks like Austria. Damn it. <laughs> what? Oh, God. That's a little one. Ohio. Ohio! Why you Goofy, uh, Ohio! Ohio! Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> God, which? Uh, huh? Oh, what the hell? Pennsylvania. <laughs> oh, you know Pennsylvania. That's Gage. That's Gage. Tax evasion. Yes. New Hampshire. Snow. Oh, yeah. You got Hawaii. it. Minnesota. You got it. Minnesota. Montana. Ooh, um, uh, do, 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 do. is it this one? I think it's this one. New yes. Let's go. Breaking bad. Delaware. Oh, this is another one. Those yeah, stupid you're just going to have to mouse around there until you get it. This one. Uh, what? Oh, come I, yeah, on. What? This yeah, little yeah, thing? I, come New on, Jersey. dude. Uh, that's Susu. Indiana. All right. I still keep forgetting which one this Oregon. is. There we go. <sighs> uh, uh frick it. What, Oregon's, what's that famous? Drugs. Nice. Uh, Alabama. Nope, Virginia. one of these. West Virginia. Vermont. Mm. Actual Virginia, up here. Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P I. Let's go. <laughs> you did way worse than me. They gave you multiple what? guesses and you ended with the same percent. Uh, no, it's negative uh, rating though. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, did, did you get fifty-two? D did I hear? Let me, let me. I got fifty-seven. Sung my dick, dude. Oh. <laughs> You have multiple Come guesses. On. You got less than me. Boo hoo. Hey, what the hell, chat? Come on. For a freaking European, this Wait, is pretty damn up. good. Wait, hold on. Chat is telling me that you also did this quiz last week. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, I actually <laughs> did. Dude, come on. I don't remember this. I don't remember this. Holy fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> All this proves is that we we're, we're dumb. I don't know what to tell you. We're stupid. Imagine knowing where places are. What yeah, a useless skill. Yeah. Like, you guys ever heard of Google Maps or like Skyscanner? What I just like do I don't believe that other are? places exist. Like you get in a car and you show up somewhere else. Yeah, right, you know. Now do Africa? Yeah, I like... can do Africa. Sporkle Africa. Uh -oh. I'm going to fuck up Africa. <laughs> the uh, British in, in the, the 1400s. British? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, they want me to enter countries. I'm not doing that. Find the countries. Here we go. Madagascar. Easy. Estewani. Okay. We are not show. doing this. I'm going to fuck <laughs> up Africa. <laughs> I'm, I'm not as prepared as I thought I was. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Sudan. Yeah, I know Sudan. Oh, my God. There's so many countries. What the fuck? There's like a million fucking countries. Chad, you got to right, well, understand. I will tell you as a hint, the newest country is South Sudan. No, you got to understand. So. Like, I learned, like, the countries of the world in a Kansas public education in, like, 2009. Like, All right. the, the, Africa South was still Egypt, divided into, like, helps. four countries at the time named, like, the King's Republic. Like, they, <laughs> I was using a textbook from 1800. Yeah, and it had like some guy with like blue eyes as <laughs> like the the Tsar of Africa, Himmler von Scheidenberg. <laughs> yes, a native of the uh, Central I'm African. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fucking get this. No, I'm not beating the allegations on Africa. I'm too stupid for this one. No, nah, no, nah, you got this. You got this. Under <laughs> last Egypt, try, last come try. on. You must know where Egypt is. Oh. Angola, Angola. It's like one of these, right? Fuck! I almost clicked that one. Oh, I'm so mad. I almost clicked that one. Fucking hell. You, oh, you can't see my mouse, but it moved. Okay, Senegal. 
Senegal. It's like one of the fucking French ones, right? I'm listen. I'm in the from. right area on all these. Egypt. How could I fuck up wrong. Egypt, right? Did you get Egypt wrong? No, I'm about to click Egypt. I just have to click it. Oh. All uh, right, I'm watching you on a delay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Egypt. God. Denial really is an... Okay, thank theory. God. I just really didn't want to be wrong about that. <laughs> okay, South Africa. <laughs> Easy. Mozambique. Fucking hell. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, hey, they have, a, they have a machine gun on their flag. Mozambique? That's kind of tight. I don't know anything about Mozambique, so I'm just going to assume, like, Central Africa. No, I was way off. I'm so stupid. Equatorial Guinea. I know this one. It's... Fuck! I, I was like, it's a small country, and it was the other small country. Ghana. Ghana's big. Ghana's huge, right? God. Haters Ghana hate. This is this Ghana. Fuck, it's not that big. Benin. I've never even heard of Benin. Oh, my God. It's a small country in West Africa. One of those Benin. little ones. I fucked this up once. I'll click it again. Nah, whatever. Namibia. Fuck it. East Africa. Yeah. Yeah, but where? There's a whole. There's like a million of these. Well, I ain't gonna like hold your hand here. Oh Come on. My God. Liberia. I know Liberia. Oh, Liberia's kind of new, Liberia. right? It's gotta be like this one. Fuck. Cameroon. This one. I'm uh, I'm yapping chat. Sorry. Cabo Verde. Jesus Christ. Hey, Cabo is uh, Portuguese for Cape, so uh, Seychelles. What do you think it is. Okay, I got the fucking Seychelles. Seychelles. Mauritania. Sure. Mauritania. Fucking hell. Muslim colony off of the coast of Africa. Hint, oh hint. my god. I don't know. I. Sao Tome and Principe. It's a French one. It's got to be by the other French ones. Holy. Lesotho. I know where Lesotho, Lesotho. is. Come on. Fuck! Oh, this is one of the ones. It's a country in a country. Somalia. I know Somalia. It's like over here. Fuck! Chad. Seven, 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 seven. Okay, I got seven. Chad. Sierra Leone. Giga Chad. This is where the diamonds are. Fuck. South Sudan. Okay. Have we done Sudan yet? See, if you uh, just started with Sudan, you would have got South Sudan. I know. I'm fucking. Okay, I'm going to say it's this. Nope. But we'll get Suzanne. Madagascar, we get Madagascar. Suzanne. Comoros. I don't fucking know anything. Holy shit, I'm Comoros. so stupid. I don't know. What, this one. Eswatini. Eswatini grass, right? Good time for, for that reference. Uh, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. Can anyone I, think of anyone who really um, likes GeoGuessr? I, I have no clue. Yeah, another one of these. Morocco. I know Morocco. Come on. You think I don't know Morocco? Fuck. The Gambia. The Gambia. I, the you Gambia. Know what's I think it's annoying that we can't see your cursor because I want to know what the hell you clicked. Libya. I, I have to know Libya. Thank you. Holy fuck. Uganda. I have to know Uganda. I don't know. Come Uganda. on, Sonic the Hedgehog. You must know this. Sonic the Hedgehog. Are you fucking with me right now? The Knuckles meme? You got oh it. Come on. Coney 2012. It's got to be this. Oh! What? I was so close. Burundi. I know Burundi. It's Burundi. this one. Nah, I didn't know Burundi. Cote d'Ivoire. Small country. On the coast. There's only one left it could be. Oh! Nigeria. I have to know Nigeria. This is Nigeria. Big. Gabon. I don't know, man. I why, fucking. Why are you running? I got it. <laughs> Ethiopia. I know Ethiopia. It's this one. Fuck. Togo. Where the fuck is, is Togo? Uh, west. West I Africa. Know. It's like this. There was. Yeah, you were right. It was West Africa. Mali. I know, I know Africa. Mali. This is Mali. Nope. Mauritius. I've never even heard of this one. Here it is. Oh, it's in the fucking it's ocean. Mauritius. Thank you. Eritrea. I know Eritrea. It's this one. Warzone. Central African Republic. Come on. 
How could I fuck this one up? Has to be. I in fucked the middle, it up. Surely? I fucked it up. I really fucked it up. <laughs> Where the hell did you click? I click. I click. Oh my god, Kenya. I know Kenya. This is Kenya. No, fun. this is Kenya. Fuck, <laughs> Zambia. Okay, I know where that is. It's one of these two. No. Power. Niger. I gotta know Niger, man. It's a big one. Okay, I know it's not this one. I know it's not this one. It's one of these two. I don't know. Okay, I cheated a little bit and looked at chat for that one. Burkina Faso. I don't know. I'm just waiting for him to get to Algeria, chat. Because, you know, no pressure. If he gets that one wrong, like... Zimbabwe. Friendship ended. Got it. Rwanda. Uh, got it. Suck my dick. I knew where Rwanda was. Guinea. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, the, up here. <laughs> Djibouti. Uh, it's this. I don't know. <laughs> Botswana. Fucking... Someone in chat said Wakanda. That's insane. That's like crazy racist. Dem Rep Congo. Thank you, Algeria. Be careful. I mean, I... I gotta know. If you get this is. wrong, I just don't even believe you. It'll be for the bit. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Uh, it's got to be this one, right? My parents... <laughs> They crawled hands and knees no! to give me a better life from this country. <laughs> did you get it wrong? Where did you click? Okay, I'll be Where honest. Where did I, you I, click? I did that one for the bit. I'm going to be honest. I did that one for the uh, bit. Okay. So it's okay. a win-win for you because you can just claim bit or you can just claim genius. Tunisia. Where is Tunisia? It's like right here. I almost clicked that too. Sudan. We already did South Sudan. Said, some guy said Tatooine. Why? Tanzania. How? I don't know. We've only got three left. <laughs> Boom. Guinea Bissau with the rest of the French. Finally. And Malawi. Nope. Republic of the Congo. Yep. Oh, uh, 28%. That was not good. Wow. That was really bad. That was about that as was... bad as it could have gone, I think. That was terrible, dude. That was terrible. Uh, Yeah, that was. I mean, I. Okay, let me do Australia. Oh, yeah, that... No, I think Latin America is more fitting. Come on. I can do Latin America. Come on. I expect minimum 50. I can do 50. I'll do 50. <laughs> I'm going to get so fucked by this. <laughs> Countries of Latin America right, and chat. the Car and the Caribbean. Oh, come on. 26. I can All do right, this. Chat. Oh, no, they want me to type them in. Uh, locate. Here we go. Atlantic Brazil Ocean. Mentions. No. Brazil mentioned. Do we have to do Atlantic Ocean? Wait, what is this? You have <laughs> the, to click the ocean? Chile. Chile is the, the long one. It's not letting yeah, me click. Yep, the, the Sword Soul Monster. Pacific Ocean. I know that too. Mexico. I know Mexico. Guatemala. Fuck. And we're done. Where is Guatemala? <laughs> It goes his 100% win rate. Shit. They really, I was like, I can do Chile. I can do Brazil. I can do Mexico, both oceans, Cuba, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Easy. I can't do anything else. Okay. Guatemala. It's one of these. Uh, it's fucking one of these. Um, Puerto Rico is not a country. Atlantic Ocean isn't a country. Just think. Ah, I was so how close. Many military I was coups. So close. The I literally US clicked the one right next to it. Fuck me, dude. I'm so Just mad about that one. And think about all of the money pumped in to paramilitary right-wing groups. And that does not narrow it down, Farfa. Correct. That does not narrow it down. As an American, I think that should help quite substantially. <clears throat> Jamaica. Oh, fuck me. Jamaican no. me crazy Panama, out here, right dude. here, the canal. Thank you. El That's Salvador. Nice. I know where El Salvador is. It's not highlighting what I click, which is making this really hard. That's literally 99% of them. Yeah, exactly, Chad. Cuba. So Cuba. Of them correct. The Falkland. What the fuck are the Falkland Islands? Viva las Maldivas. That's what it is. Uh, I don't know, man. They're in Falkland. Fucking. 
UK war. UK mentions. war mentions. I don't know anything about. <laughs> we went to war for this one. Oh, okay, I really fucked him up. Puerto Rico. Where is Puerto Rico? See, it's not highlighting where I click, which is making me feel like I'm gonna click the wrong place. I mean, I know that it's this, and I know if I click it, it's gonna be because it's not highlighting it, and I don't know if I'm clicking the wrong one. It literally, it literally did exactly what I said it was gonna do. I'm so mad. Wow. I literally I clicked really hope that. Danny doesn't see this. This I is crazy that, that your best friend is Puerto Rican. Dude, you sound like one of those people who like miss a shot on Widowmaker and Overwatch. Just saying. I'm literally, I'm so, those people are right. Ecuador, I know where Ecuador is. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't. Paraguay. It's by Uruguay. Uh, fuck. You're a guy. You're a girl. Oh, I was Uruguay. close. Nicaragua. Okay, this is... Oh, God. Central. I know it's in Central. I don't know. If there's three countries it could be. I don't know which one it is. I'm going to say this one. Fuck! Well, Guyana. It's wrong. by French Guyana. Which is... I don't know. They're going to give you an aimbot for countries. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Joseph's wall hacking right now, chat. Oh my god. Brazil. I know Brazil. Argentina. Brazil mentioned. I know Argentina. Argentina. Argentina is this one. Nope. <laughs> did you get Argentina wrong? Okay, that one. I don't, know. You, I don't know how, how I did you get Argentina that. wrong? That one I should bro, not have like, up. You got me. Bro, there's three countries in Latin America. I got K no porn. human being on the face of the earth should get wrong. Mexico, Haiti. Brazil, Argentina. Fuck off. Haiti. This one. Click. Thank you. Holy shit. It literally, like, I had to click four times for that. Bolivia. I know where Bolivia is. <sighs> Fuck. You can believe it or not. <laughs> it's gotta be this one. Fuck. Uruguay. It's by Paraguay. We just did Paraguay. That's gotta be Uruguay. Oh, Damn, shit. Five, Gulf four, of five, Mexico seven, is not a country! Seven. Galapagos Islands. Yeah. Oh my god. Are the Galapagos Islands by Puerto Rico or by Cuba? Oh, Holy the Jalapeno fuck. Islands. It's Come gotta on, be got this one. Nope, I I was not even in the right area. Colombia! The Europe one was funny, but now it's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts to that guy in chat. <laughs> Colombia. Yeah, this is just sad. No, Colombia, I gotta get. Colombia, I gotta get. Oh, fuck. There's two that it could be now. Medellin fuck. mentions. Oh, man. Come on. I can't fuck this one up. No! There's... Man. Suriname, Suriname. Okay, where is Suriname? Colony. I mean, they're all colonies technically, but the re the colony, colony. Oh my fucking god! I clicked the one directly to the right of that. Vuvuzela. No! Dude, what did you say? Dude, you got the RuneScape Gold Country wrong. What is I'm wrong with I'm you? So fucked here. I'm really gonna really just completely. Oh my god. Peru? Right, you need to load up OSRS oh, right Peru now is. as retribution. I Belize is. Vuvuzela. <laughs> Where is? Go, go, click. It's not letting me click. That one's not my fault. It literally would not let me click. Dominican Republic. I know where the fucking DR is. Come on. Lesser Antilles. Okay, I've never that's even just not real. Seen that's a tax haven. Lesser Antilles. That's a tax haven. What? I've never heard of that. What is that shit? No. Costa Rica. I know fucking Costa Rica. Come on. Caribbean Sea. Costa de Rica. Bahamas. Fucking, I don't know. One of these little... There you go. Honduras. 49! No! You wanted 50? No. I got fucked. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's rough. Oh, American. that's 50 because they, they fucking would not accept my Puerto Rico click. That's, I count that. We count that every time. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Holy fuck. Oh, you, oh, are you doing Asia? Should I do Asia? Do Asia, do Asia. This isn't fair. Oh, Cause God. you're like, okay. you're like a European, right? You had like school, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Don't get, okay. All right. Oh, oh. Here we go. All right. Wish me luck chat. Here we go. All right. Uh, let's begin. Bangladesh. You know where Bangladesh is. Can I like zoom in a little bit here? Bangladesh. South Asia. South Asia. South Asia. Uh, it's... Yes. Oh okay, my good. god. Uh, I'm getting fucking owned. 
Nepal. Qatar is here. Oh my god. Tajikistan. Ah, oh, it's a little one here. Oh, damn it. Close enough. Oh, Mongolia. God. Turkmenistan. Shit, close enough. Uh, Kyrgyzstan. Oh, it's all these like little ones. Oh, god damn it. You do Sri uh, Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bounce back. Bounce back. Sri Lanka. You can do this. Yeah, so this is Indonesia. One of these is Malaysia, and then one of these is Sri Lanka. Oh my god, I hate this. Uh, it's one of you people. It's not this one. It's one of these. It's one of these. What do you I mean, you one. people? Oh, what the hell? Oh, not I'm, stupid. I'm stupid. Georgia? That's a state. Uh, this little one. Just over think here. about your personal oh, it's hero. This little Stalin. one over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Jordan. Jordan is that's. We that's, call him Peeps. Uh, it's it's above the real country. Bruh. Okay, Malaysia. Malaysia. Damn it! Wrong one. Myanmar. Myanmar. Oh god damn it! I suck at this. Indonesia. <laughs> In my textbook, it was Burma. I'm not fucking with you, <laughs> dude. My best friend from high school lives here. Cambodia. Um, if I get this wrong, yeah. You'll get it. These? Oh my god. The UAE. Right, the U UAE. UAE. The UGAE. Yeah. China. They ch I ch China. China all the time. China. Afghanistan. You know Afghanistan. We spent so long there stealing all their shit. Come on. Uh. Yep. Uh, okay. All right. Iraq. Iraq. Arab Habla Iraq. Japan. That's where Yu Gi Oh is from. Dude, imagine having to Just like skip. be so insecure. <laughs> you call your country Israel. Like really? Dude, <laughs> it's so off. small. I can't see over here. I actually, it's so you gotta, you I gotta be careful here. You gotta be careful. So what are you small. clicking? It's so tiny. What is like careful? I, I don't know which it's so small. Okay, this is yeah. Welcome to the fucking heck, conflict, dog. Okay, okay, legitimately, dude, it actually depends on like how they've drawn this up and what the website like designers <laughs> like um political affiliation is here. Do you know oh, what I mean? Like, God. that's how <clears throat> dude, like, this is Golan Heights, this is Israel, like. Oh my god, that's insane. Uh, that's insane. Mm, not beating All the right, allegations uh, here, Farfa. I uh, no. Laos! Uh, Laos. I think it's this little one, right? No, I think it's one of these. Oh my yeah, god, dude, real close, really? Yeah. Brunei. I've Damn, never even one heard of, of this one. Ones, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm like zoomed in too much here. I feel like it's one of these, right? It's one of these like little guys. Oh, maybe it's the island? No, there's Polynesian islands. This is Brunei? Oh, it was this other tiny island. Okay. Team Samurai X1. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> He's from Thailand. Damn it. It on the Philippines. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. You got it. Uh, Bahrain. Bahrain. Uzbekistan. I'm oh, damn it, the other one. Syria. Uh, you know Syria. We stole all their Syria. shit. There we go. I've T never heard of this one. Timor is like Timor. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not That's funny. not even close. What the <laughs> fuck? That <laughs> uh, was terrible. Uh, Taiwan. Yeah. Armenia. Right next to Turkey. <sighs> Azerbaijan. Palestine. See, careful. Careful. Palestine. Oh, my God. It's so small. Yeah, let's go. Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. Dude, this is where all of my subs come from. I am poor. Please <laughs> give me a subscribe. <laughs> Pakistan. Lebanon. Look, dude, it's so tiny up here, dude. Got it. North Korea, best Korea. Uh, Las Maldivas. Uh, it's one of these like islands. Um, it's one of these islands here. It's like a ton. Oh, it's yeah, this it's one, that right? one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Kuwait, Kazakhstan, Singapore. I'm going uh, to be honest. God, I'm what the hell? Cooked here. Which one is Singapore? This little thing. Yes. Saudi, South Korea, Bhutan. Isn't it one of these little guys? Um, it's one of these little guys, right? Bhutan? Like, no, Brunei. I'm trying to see if there's one down there you haven't Bhutan. Clicked. Yeah, it's like I can barely see it. <clears throat> um, oh, God. Can I just, like, give up on this one? I think it's, I think it's uh, right thing? under China. Like that little this one? This one? Yeah. Oh, wow, it is. Okay. And then Russia. Hey, you you 69. annihilated 69. me. Holy fuck. It's nice. It's I, nice. Holy shit. All right, what haven't we done yet? What? Haven't, which one haven't we done? Um. Okay, so we've done Europe, America. What's left? Like, South I mean, America, do, like, Africa. Shit you made me do like the global Canada. south. Oh, big fucking surprise. An American doesn't know shit about the southern hemisphere. 
Antarctica, Oceania. Do you think you could do provinces on the moon? <laughs> no, the Cape of Good Hope. I'll do, yeah, I could do, oh, no, I, I want to do a find the countries. Find the countries of Oceania. Oh, this one is insane. What the, f I've never even heard. That's it's just a bunch crazy. of island nations. Dude, oh, these no. are just volcanoes with like three people. Oh, fuck. Kiribati? I don't think that's true at all, Farfa. I think you're being real, really, really fucking first world Andy right here. I know I have some people in chat who are living in Kiribati right now. Sound off, please. <laughs> Can we type a one if you're from uh, Polynesia right now? Who here is from Tonga? We got some people from Tonga, I know. <laughs> we got some, like, some Tongalese people Fuck. here right now. Who here is from Vanuatu? A three if you're from Vanuatu. That's cr oh, dude. Wow. What do you call this region? Is because it's it's Oceania, but like Marshall is, Islands has like, got to be this one. Fuck. Nah, is Polynesia a country or like a province? New Zealand. Of chat? I'm actually ah! stupid about this. Did you get New Zealand wrong, <laughs> brother? Come on. There's like two countries white people should get here. You like, can't be so, serious. I was so you excited. I was so excited to not get an island. I just like, oh yeah, I'll just click the first land I see. <laughs> Literally white uh, people conquering Samoa. Africa. I'll just click Solomon the Islands. first land I see. <laughs> Micronesia. I don't fucking know these. Australia. Got it. Fiji. Uh, uh, Papua New Guinea. Oh, bad. Bad. Not good. <laughs> Holy. Okay, that one was awful. I. But I know we have some Tuvalu's here. Do, oh, do Canada? I'll do Canada. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. There's like Quebec and I don't know what the hell else. Newfoundland is here. and Labrador. I thought those Ooh, were Newfoundland. I thought those were dogs. Yes, bye. Okay, that was wrong. Nova Scotia, like all the way to the east. It's gotta be this one. New Brunswick. Oh, that's like Maine. So that's gotta be like this. Yeah. Prince Little Saint James Island. Well, it's gotta be an island, right? So Nunavut. Ooh, that's like a that's an Eskimo word, right? So it's gotta be a really high up one. Boom. Saskatchewan. Fuck. I have no idea. I thought that was a sauce. I have Don't say oh, that. I'm what the fuck? Sichuan. That's a slur? I'm thinking... Wait, what's the slur? Wait, what's the slur? Wait, the sauce? Wait, who, who's, who's, who's oh. being racist? Me or him? Which one? Which one's racist? Wait, is Eskimo? Is that actually not like a tribe? My, my bad. I guess it's Inuit. My bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, you know we're millennials when not we don't Not beating the allegations shit. today, folks. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> you know how many cartoons I saw with this growing up? Like, what the Yeah. Hell? Again, chat, textbooks from the 50s. Um, Saskatchewan. It's got to be this one. Nope. Alberta. I know you Alberta. Guys are racist. <laughs> yes, they were Her racist. name is yeah, Alberta. Well. She lives in Vancouver. Where is Alberta? This is... Fuck. It's got to be like this one. Yes. Northwest Territories. This one's obvious, right? Northwest. Northwest, right? got to be these. You would think so. Quebec. It's the weird looking one. Yukon. Oh, it's got to be way up there, right? British Columbia. I don't know. What the fuck do you want me to say about British Columbia? Okay. It, that's got to be this one. BC Bud. Fuck. Ontario. BC Bud. That's got to be this one. And then Manitoba's got to be this one. British Columbia wrong? 69. That's crazy. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, we got left in the planet. Chat. I think, I think we did we're all pretty constants now, right? Antarctica. You want to do the Antarctica one? Uh, okay, sure. What do I Google? Antarctica sporkle locate. Yeah. Okay. Can I just say I have not the slightest idea, like none. All right, here we go. <laughs> Wait. All right, heart. Okay, Antarctica. Let's go. hundred. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Wait, this, this thing has no provinces. <laughs> Man, sorry, oh, Joseph. You, really you got like up. three owed today. Yeah, I got, I got owned. I got, I got owned. No, I won the uh, the the Western Europe versus or uh, Eastern Europe versus United States one. Yeah. Oh, let me do, let Austria. me do Western yeah. Europe. Okay, this one you have to like can't be you can't be kidding here, right? Okay, I okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm still not. I'm still not very good at this. <laughs> okay, here we go. Italy. I mean, we all know where Italy is. 
Greece. It's we all know shoes. where Greece is. Greece is above Italy. No. <laughs> the United Kingdom. It's this one. Finland. Oh, fuck. NATO. NATO. What do you mean NATO? Do you know how big NATO is? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Finland is... It's one of these guys, right? Norway, Sweden, Finland, right? Norway, Sweden. Na- NATO. It's got, or it could be this one. I don't know. It could be like... Is it the penis or... Come on, dude. NATO. It's got to be this one. Oh, okay. Sweden. Okay. Norway, Sweden, right? Norway, Sweden. It's got to be. Yeah. Belgium. That's where they make the chocolate, baby. Fucking hell. That's where European Yu-Gi-Oh cards are made. Really? Is it? I think that's where all the distribution comes from. Belgium. 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 We're going to come back to Belgium. Switzerland. Uh, wait, where the fuck is Switzerland? <laughs> that was wrong. That's where all the banks are. France, I know where France is. It's this one. Portugal, I know that. Switzerland wrong? What did you click on? What are you did you click about? on Austria for Switzerland? <laughs> Austria. This is Austria. Neanderthals. Nope. Yeah, that's Ireland. where YCS Sydney this was. Come Ireland. on. We just had a YCS here, Joseph. Come f- on, dude. Wait, what the fuck is Luxembourg? Oh, tax haven. It's got to be a small one, right? Is this going to be like the yeah, fucking yeah, Vatican exactly. or something? I got it. Wow. Denmark. This is I told Denmark. You, tax havens are so easy. Iceland. Germany. Germany is... Oh, fuck. It's one, of, it's one of these two. There we go. Spain. Norway. Belgium. Okay. Is there the any Spanish-speaking one. countries in Europe? 78. Okay. See, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Wait, why is there an arrow pointing to nothing? <laughs> it's like, here's a nation that we're not using. No that was bad. What are you talking about? I got 78%. That's crazy. That's not you, bad, honestly. The ones you got wrong are really bad. Oh, sorry. I don't know where Austria is. In my textbooks, it was fucking Austria-Hungary. My bad. It's, dude, like, did you not look at any of the YCS textbooks? You clicked on Germany for wrong. Austria? And why do you think I did that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, holy... Oh. Anyway, um, new topic real quick. Uh, did you um, do any banless predictions? No, randomly? I didn't. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Well, I, get, I have a hot take here. I When I posted my prediction, I didn't see any negative comments, which what? is kind of wild. Like, I don't think I saw anyone, like, disagreeing. Other than, like, the crazy ones I suggested, like, you know, unlocking the walk <laughs> and stuff like that. But in terms of, like, the meta ones, like... Uh, Snake Eye Ash Limited and Jet Synchron Band. Like, everyone seems to think, like, yeah, that's just going to happen. This one, the new Yu Gi Oh! ban list, but it's designed by Twitch chat? No. Who <laughs> that one have... was definitely not accurate, Joseph. Wait, I don't. Uh, the most recent this one. This ban list won't be good. This. Yeah, yeah the, the crime. Who do you have doing your thumbs? Is ones. it crush cards? Uh, No, I made that one. Uh, These but are nice. generally. Um, so. Dyer does Masochist. Crush Card does Nuzlocke. That was wrong. Dyer does, does... This is Dyer? Yeah, Dyer's Masochist ones are crazy. Oh, shit. Dyer, you got to start doing shit for me. What the fuck? Uh, but it's mostly Crush Cards, yeah. Okay, what, what did he say? Yep. Oh, God. There's not just a thing <laughs> I can click on at the end? You got me. Oh, that's the wish list. That, does, that one's not real. Spoiler. Oh, no, I don't do, like, tier lists. Because you know why? Because people just, like... They click to click the end. through yeah. the video... Yeah, gotta, gotta get, get that Wait, so where's your, off. where the fuck is your ban list? I mean, I, I mean, it's in that video, but like, oh, you have okay. to listen to it. So I, 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 I could, I could just audibly say. I'm not gonna do that. Later. So it's, it's Poplar Band. I, I, I hate to burst that bubble. Of the <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, limiting Ash banning Jet Synchron is the big one. What the fuck? We need Ash for Maxi. Ah, uh, true. Yes, that's what I meant. He's right. Lim- He's limit fitting. Ash He's ban what? Uh, Jet Synchron. Do you not think that's p- uh, plausible? No, it could happen. I just what it. It so, feels like it makes the Fire King version still really good, right? Yeah, but like, so here's the issue, right? How do you hit this deck from a Konami <sighs> perspective? Yeah, welcome to my fucking world, dog. I have no clue. Every single card in exactly. it is like three months old. So what do you think of the take that we should bring back a deck 
to um what's the word i'm looking for uh contend with it right because that's I, the only other possible thing if you can't I think hit I the agree. best deck then you have to bring back so, so agito uh, kelbeck kit Kalos, right hell yeah i would love that i would genuinely love that i'm not joking like, <laughs> i'm gonna be, be well you, you know what actually it's crazy that because snake eye is so consistent you haven't gotten to see it but mudora keldo cooks fucking snake eye it's like the counter to the strategy and i'm just like fuck i wish <sighs> imagine hmm. it's really weird because like i don't know if you've been looking at recent results but there's like so much just anti-meta floating around oh like, no hard i was meta i was talking Did you to see the development of that new stun deck i was talking to uh chat about it and um uh, basically, I, I go to locals every week and I go 2-2 with Snake Eye because I play like the mirror twice <laughs> and I do fine because I've, I've gotten good enough at the mirror that I can do okay at it. And then it's like I play against like uh, a flu player who shifters me games one and three and like a uh, <laughs> I, I played last week against the stun deck and I was like, oh, this is like it lives to eat exactly me for breakfast. Yep, that's the issue. How are you winning Snake Eye mirrors? Because like that's <laughs> Really not that skillful sometimes. Oh, you just have to open three hand traps and that two starters. Ah, okay. Just right, do cool. that. That's that's I, the I, skill check. That's what I'm doing wrong, sure. Yeah. No, um I, I love uh fucking no the the um I, I will say I had a really great experience uh, against the stun pilot. Um the table one we were table two and table one was like they were chatting it up and uh, one of the people was like, yeah, I'm playing Fire King or I'm playing Snake Eye Pure because I'm like, oh, cool. I can finally practice on Master Duel. Feels good to uh, to grind a Yu-Gi-Oh simulator that's not Dueling Book. And my opponent goes, can you stop talking shit on Dueling Book? And we were like, what? And he was like, Dueling Book, it is a gift that we have a fucking software as good as Dueling Book. Like, it is a really <laughs> unbelievable, like, opportunity for, like, uh, for testing. And I was like, I mean you're right but i think we can be like it it looks like shit right he's like whatever man like i will fucking sit down and play eight hours of dueling book any day i can and i was like okay man all right sorry i didn't know it was yeah okay and so then he turns back to me and he's like okay are you ready normal summon fossil dinopacacephalo and i was like what do you mean you're <laughs> test eight hours a day on dueling book to normal summon fossil dinopacacephalo come on <laughs> for legal reasons uh i was muted i didn't hear anything he just said i was at the toilet <laughs> yeah 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 i bet oh man so anyway did i miss anything chat no i do think that stun deck i i gotta say he kind of won me over with that game i was like playing it and i was like this kind of has teeth this is kind of not fucking terrible like i don't know did you see the horus one? Oh no what do they do they just horus with the field spell yeah, you just summon big guys and put up, like, 20 floodgates. Yeah. What's the list for the stun deck? Like it plays, like... Deck. So they banned all the floodgates, but they didn't ban the floodgate monsters. So it's, like... The list starts with, like, obviously three shifter. It's got three fossil dyna, three yogin. Uh, and then it plays, like, every solemn possible. Um, what the hell is yogin? Yogin, the spiritualist. Uh, it plays... Gold Golgonda? Do you know yeah, Yogan. <laughs> oh, I need to ask you something really quick before my brain forgets it. Um, is Whiteface racist? Why do you ask? Uh just wondering. You got you got plans for an April yeses. Fool's video? Uh <laughs> Wait, 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 hold on. Why are you jumping to these conclusions? <laughs> what a strange question. I don't, <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't know no, how... No, this is uh, actually generally an important question. I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, a scenario in which you'd, like, do it. <laughs> like, uh, Where I need whiteface? Uh, I don't... I'm pleading the fifth year. Probably... Probably not. Why is it so important? This is just... I, this is just important. Oh, show show far for the video. Okay, so I have kind of a history with whiteface. Is that just all your videos? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was in I was in a very problematic long form video with YCS top player Saurabh Pasikani, 
we recorded like the stupid oh, skit he wanted to do like one day at college and part of the script required him to dress up like spiral super agent except he's black and spiral super agent is white <laughs> so <laughs> he... i'm waiting for this video to show i need i need some context here this is so, an 11 minute just like sketch. At, is, at, at what the is end of the this? at the end of the video, he fucking flips around and let me see if he's got it. Oh, this was so unfunny. And he goes, "What the? F caught you? This is this him is in a Time Lord I costume." And that there we go. This is insane. This is so much effort. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is as white face That's, spiral super agent. What the fuck? I'm in this video, That's dog. Insane. I <laughs> I enabled this. I'm going to this guy's that house in a week. Your face. Is he still playing? Yeah. Uh, he plays on and off. I didn't even touch it. That's crazy. <laughs> he goes, he goes, your face. Oh uh, I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> this is, this is just an 11 minute like sketch. Yeah, of, like, yeah, yeah. A Yu-Gi-Oh thing. He That's filmed this crazy. over the course of like a weekend and like it was crazy because we did all these shots in like all these different locations, but never once was someone like, hey, man, have you like written down a script? He was just like operating off vibes and he put it together and it's just it's unwatchable, but it's a beautiful piece of work. Bro, this is just like first year, like <sighs> film students, like first project or so. That's crazy. It looks good. I think I think it looks tasteful. I, I would buy it. <laughs> have you seen the um have you yeah. seen the the eddie murphy i think it's an old snl sketch white like me i think so yeah oh, i don't know the name but that, i'm pretty sure i've seen something with eddie murphy doing specifically this yeah 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 it's like he uh so what you're so, so what's the verdict is it avoid or <laughs> i would probably i would probably here's what i'll say i think there is a way that you could justify it and be like no, the reason blackface is problematic is because it was used to enable white people to never give any money to black actors by just taking all their fucking roles. And it has its roots in like these uh, insanely racist like uh, like uh, slave plays and shit, whereas whiteface doesn't have that baggage. But I think probably what's going to happen is if you do it, you're going to get a thousand people in the comments who are going to be like, Oh, so white face is okay, but black face isn't. And you can just avoid that by not doing it. Well, I was just, just this is just a theoretical question. Yeah, right? not that not that you would ever do it, of course. This yeah, this was just a pure hypothesis here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, you know what? If you want, I will give you the pass to do white face. I do white face oh every day. Oh my god, day. this is wait, wait, wait. I this is this was the funniest comment I've ever seen. I'm pinning it. And a poor white actor <laughs> missed out on a super Asian role. <laughs> that is so funny. That's true. That's actually true. <laughs> That's oh, correct. Poor guy. No. Uh, it was crazy because right, uh, like he I remember he did his hair for this too. He got it in like a spiral. But we only had enough spray for it to like hold for like two total takes. And so like it, it starts coming apart by the end of this. Do you have some kind of business with me? That's his white person voice. He does a white guy voice. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. White person voice. Alright, okay. Bye bye. Bye. You're the nice young man. <laughs> We're just fucking around today. We are not doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, next up. Ugh. Look at these fucking idiotic pigeons. <laughs> they just they just go in, they're like, oh, and I'm going down. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Next up. How does a Steve type end up in this GoFundMe living situation? All right, here's what we got. The narcissist BPP, BPD roommate getting offended at everything. The manic autistic roommate trying to avoid the constant existential dread. Steve, just vibing. Drinking coffee. Doing his best. I'm... 
I do my best to be the Steve of any household I'm in. <laughs> I'm looking to vibe. I, you know what? I've been, I think, every one of these people in different living situations. Leah, you, and Danny. Uh, I'm not going to ask you who is who. That's the real problem. The real reason is, I unfortunately, I do know the answer to how Steve ended up in this situation, and it's divorce. It's divorce. Next up. And speaking of divorce, can I have a STEAM family? STEAM families are intended to contain your immediate family. As major life events can change who lives in your household, it is understandable that someday you may need to join a new STEAM family. Adults can leave the family at any time. However, they will need to wait one year from when they join the previous family to create or join a new family. My bitch wife took Resident Evil 4 in the divorce. <laughs> All right, last non-Yu-Gi-Oh freaks. So... Oh, man. I really want to go see End of Evangelion in theaters. For those of you that don't know, End of Evangelion is getting a theatrical run right now. And last weekend was the first weekend of it. If anyone has story or uh, the, the links to people's stories about it, drop them here. But everything I have heard about these events has been they have been unfucking watchable. They have been miserable. People like laughing at the hospital scene, laughing at the kiss. Uh, one person said they went to a, they sat next to like a Shinji cosplayer who screamed, "I'm so fucked up!" Along with the, uh, the uh, movie, uh, the um, everyone's trying to like do a Reddit style bit. Oh, here we go. To the guy in my theater who sat up immediately after the end of Evangelion and said, I guess the real end of Evangelion was the friends we made along the way. If you see this again, it's on site. This is not a joke. The, there was a, I, I do like the things people have been overhearing. I saw one of like guy in a JJK hoodie was like, does anyone understand any of that? And it's like, oh, come on, man. You make it too easy. You know, the, the guy telling his girlfriend, you know, it was actually made because of the response that was given to the end of the original show. It was made as a punishment to the fans. It's, oh my god. Um, on one hand, you could not pay me to go to this. But on the other hand, you really could. You really could. It's so strange because, I don't know. I find, uh, I find, I think Evangelion is a really intensely personal experience. And one of the biggest takeaways is that uh, the, uh, I, I think the whole series is about the, the distance between people and how intensely alienating that experience is. And I can only imagine it would really elevate the experience for that distance to be magnified by someone you truly can't comprehend, like someone who shows up in a Nahigao hoodie and screams Reddit memes the whole time. <clears throat> Not good. Ugh. Not good. If anyone thinks instrumentality would be good, go watch End of Evangelion in theaters. You know what it might be? It might be that it always needed a theatrical run to thoroughly dispute <laughs> the POV of, like, the, the non-Shinji POV. <laughs> like, I am willing to sacrifice instrumentality after spending 90 minutes with my fellow man. This is not going to happen. Oh, man. Ugh. That makes me worry about Shrek 2 re-release. Shrek 2 re-release would be fun to go to. Everyone would sing along. Hmm. The funniest thing about Ava's Phantom is that everybody in it believes themselves superior to the rest. The difference between my belief that I'm superior to the rest of the fans and everyone else's is that I'm right by virtue of being superior to everybody else. Duh. This is one of those movies that there's a million memes about, and I just, like, I know that the memes 
are just going to be repeated in the theater, and I can't be there for that. I will fly into a murderous rage. <sighs> okay. Very last thing. Let's talk about this. So what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Manaus Regional, top eight. Cosmo. Let's just roll through the hits here. Uh, one Alpha, one Lava Golem, one Kaiju. Two Gizmak, two Grenmaju, triple Necroface to banish off of Allure of Darkness. Uh, one Battle Fader, Hand Des, One Day of Peace, One Mirror Force, One Storming, The Transmigration Prophecy. <laughs> this is a fucking masochist deck, uh, but it's also peak. So the explanation is in the comments. Um, this is a, this was a 38 person event. This person lost their first round and then won out. And how did they lose their first round? You might ask, well, they arrived a round late and got, uh, and took an L and then proceeded to win the next Five in a row. I think they said it was Sprite, Sprite, Flu, Dino, and one other. And uh, Sprite, Cash, Cash, Flu, Dino. Which got them, like, sixth place. Incredible. <laughs> now, I know what you're wondering. What's the side deck look like? Well... He did not register a side deck. <laughs> sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh actually is good. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh actually is good. Sometimes it is good. I don't know what to say. The God Slime. The God Slime. Holy. Can he even summon God Slime? Through sheer force of will, I like to believe that he could. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I kind of want to build this in Master Duel. This is all legal, right? There's not a card in here that was released in the last six months. I feel like we have to play this on ladder. It seems so fucking funny. Uh, why is Entis in here? In case he runs against someone who's playing Dogmatica Maximus. <laughs> oh, my God. This is good stuff. Dark is the newest card, 2022. That's so fun. You can hard make Entis. No, you can't. You're lying. You literally can't. Oh, no, you could. No, what is Entis? Entis is what? An Xyz and a Synchro? There's not a fucking tuner in here. There's no tuners in this deck. <laughs> Dark can take your opponent's tuner. Let's go! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. That's, uh, that's true. <laughs> that's really true. See the lines. See the lines. Oh, my God. Uh, Joseph, say this out loud and don't hurt me. Lisan Al Gaib, the one of Battle Fader, just in case. Battle Fader, also not a tutor. It's so funny. Ah, cool, racist. Okay. What do you mean by that? Hate crime committed? That's literally how they say it in the movie, the only place where those words exist. <laughs> Uh. 
<laughs> oh, beautiful list. All right. Okay. Oh, how are you supposed to say it? Yeah. Let's learn how to pronounce this ah. name. If you want to learn more names from Dune or Dune, the book, the movie, make sure to stay tuned. We've got more confusing names. Great, a French person is going to teach me how to not say something racistly. Send the correct pronunciations here. Lisan al Haib. Lisan oh. al Haib. In Haib? Oh. I said Gaib. <laughs> you got me. I do love this channel. It's like, ah, uh, hello, everybody. C'est moi, le raciste pedophile. Uh, et maintenant, <laughs> we will learn how to say from Dune, ah, uh, listen al Haib. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Please remember to like and subscribe. I uh, have to support myself and uh, six mistresses. They take. Uh, Nine or ten bottles of the cheapest wine available a day. Uh, his children need wine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I I shouldn't. This is actually racist, but um, <laughs> uh, my friend and I invented a character one month while we were <laughs> while I was home from college. One of my high school friends and I invented a character and we incessantly talked like this character uh, J while Jillian was visiting for the summer. And the character was <laughs> was a French guy who was constantly like having to stop what he was doing to like strike or take a cigarette break or drink. And so we would go out and like play like disc golf or something and we'd be like, Ah, uh, I must take a break. We are we are being exploited. Uh, so. And then we would pull out something to drink, and we'd be like, "It is only with wine that we can endure this hardship." And, and we did this all week. And was, she hated it, uh, but we didn't stop. So this was before we were married. So I I was more married to the bit than to Jillian at the time, but I compromised. I did what I had to. Mirrors to get do not show us a. Don't go to the shorts feed. Let's watch the fucking previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! On Progression Series Season 2. I know your ass was laughing at the end of the world. I was fucking seven, of course. All right, we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! I know. Ah, zut à Ah, c'est moi. Joseph Rothschild. Et maintenant... We will be watching the Progression Série Saison 2. All right. So on the last episode of Progression Series Season 2, um, we uh, we watched uh, my too. goat, Gate, Gage, yeah. a, a pole jock, tie up the series with BA, oh and I'm sure... Right now, Alex is going to be the worst person in the history of time and ban Dante after one episode. And if he does this, we're all gonna. What are we all gonna post in chat if he bans Dante? Let's post justice for justice for. Uh, However, gauge. in each episode, we will open another box of the next The meme tweet is up, and now it's time for everybody's order. favorite thing, me uh, reading out all the episode. subs that I got. So if you want to be a part of this, you have to subscribe now. And plenty of other, and plenty of other fun surprises. surprises. Just have to this watch is to the series out. finale this of the Progression the Series Progression Season 1. Series season two. 
Mark CCP, thank you for the 21. Uh, Lazy Turd, thank you for the 9. Yeah, uh, Blade uh, Master, uh, 24 7, thank you for the 22. Product. Darius like Minus, thank you for the 31. The Fabulous Ing, thank you for the uh, 20. Grim Duelist, thank you for the 20. Uh, Delirium 90, thank you for the 2. Content. This is War, thank you for the uh, 3. Quick Play Vids, thank you for the $10. Was collecting clips for my prog meme and forgot. I deactivated my Twitter because it was depressing me. Hope you, hopefully you figured out where the Antarctic countries are. Thank you. Uh, I didn't get to do those. Cheese, thank you for the two. Eastside Donkey, thank you for the five. We love um, Post spells. Delivery Boy, thank you for the 19. Phoenix 107, thank you for the 107. Since you're doing trivia, small question for subs. There's one card in Yu-Gi-Oh! that has As You Wish in its wrong. effect text. Which one is it? Ten subs for the one or of two of you who gets it in one, five subs in two. It was seen on Farfa today. I have no fucking clue what it is. Uh, Purim Papui, thank you for the 23. Uh, Patrick Cuss, thank you for the prime. Chicken of DEA, thank you for the 18. Lazy Lee, thank you for the 12. Ace Attorney, uh, Arrow Ace Attorney, thank you for the 22. Insane fucking name. Arrow that Ace Attorney, wrong. fuck off. Too good. Uh, uh, Ub Babubo, thank you for the 14. Uh, Hud the Hobby Daddy, thank you for the 17. T8, thank you for the 4. Fabulous Sing, thank you for the wrong. 19. What? You did it twice. Jaleon, thank you for the 20. Dr. Kreech, thank you for the 6. Uh, Rat Earth, thank you for the Prime. Solitary Walker Revieries, thank you for the 10 gifties. Puppy Wolf, thank you for the Prime. Uh, Amy Catass, thank you for the sub. Claire Hearts, thank you for the 5 gifted. Holy shit, did I miss 5 gifted? I'm so sorry. And we'll go back up. Silver Dawn, thank you for the 11. Nova Prime FTPS, thank you for the 8. Uh, Patsiken, thank you wrong. for the 13. Kinslow TN, thank you for the 13. Game and Bull, thank you for the 16. Uh, one more just for the progressive viewers out there. This is dedicated to you guys. Uh, Arco Doma, thank you for the 19. Hensky, thank you for the 10 gifties. Pew, 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 pew. If you didn't get it, dodge and chat. As simple as that. You know, I want to be mad that I'm in the banning, but honestly, I kind of did it to myself. If I didn't yeah, play you did like it to shit, yourself. I probably wouldn't be here, or at least there'd be the chance If he bans Dante, I'm just going to come. Because some game threes over the last few episodes. So uh, that's embarrassing, but in any case, we have to ban a card. I actually think this is probably going to be a crazy take. I'm going to ban Gage's copy of Dante. The reason ah! is because this upcoming set, High Speed Riders, actually has when he a said, When he said, I thought this support. was a crazy take, I was like, Gage oh, no. I just can't conceivably play whatsoever, where a lot of the other decks, Gage and I can both play them. So I feel like if I just ban one of his best options, Fuck best you, in quotes, dude. then Holy at least, you know, shit. it just puts us on more even footing. So let's get Dante out of here. And I'm going to put you on even footing on the ground. I'm happy we've been slowly regaining our lead on out. Okay. Dante out of here. I want to reveal something to you all while we're in here having been in this very room look down at alex's uh right hand like elbow there is a very small dragon down there that's a real dragon like it is animate here and let's throw it on over to gauge i'm happy we he is keeping a drag a real dragon alex chained up in his basement above us but the age of gauge is soon to return, I promise. It's felt really good to get these last few wins. I feel like my play has been on point, and also we've just been bringing better decks. I appreciate yeah, Alex have. bringing in the goo every now and again, but the goo does not always get you the games. I'm looking to maintain <laughs> this lead and hopefully- That's what I'm saying. In the next few episodes. A good wheel spin could definitely help that out. I haven't gotten extremely lucky in the last few ones, like band tickets, uh, redoer tickets here and there. I think the last thing we opened was a Dragons of Legend. Any card from it. Wow, I cannot believe it. What can I get this time? Let's give it a couple clicks. Let's see what we get. I realize that's pretty loud there. I'll turn that down for you guys. What am I getting though? That's huge. That is amazing. That that is so good. <laughs> a wild card promo. I feel like this hasn't been spun in forever. Like perhaps like five ever. I've needed a wild card promo for a while. I think a lot of the really, really crazy decks that we were cooking specifically that with something wrong. that we could get from promotional material uh, might have eclipsed us, but maybe there's something crazy we can play today. So one thing we just ended up opening just last episode, which makes this choice like infinitely easier, is there's a clearly broken card that none of us had access to. That card was a promotional super rare in the 2015 Mega Tins. That was the only place you could get it, and I think it was the only place you could get it until it was banned. That card is none other than Elder. We Entity were just talking Nordic. about this Nordic woman. A ridiculous level four fusion monster. Oh, a oh no, it's or Nordic. XYZ or a oh, and XYZ holy XYZ shit. Or one of each now I'm not so beat about. up about but Dante. This is like the worst possible. Special, holy fuck. Banish it when it leaves the field. Very simple effect. 
important that you will never actually be properly fusion summoning this card. You are always 100% of the time summoning it off of instant fusion. Instant fusion. Uh, that's gives just us a like free literally level not true, right? There was a deck that made it. Or it doesn't negate the effect. So when this card is special summon, you how many summon instant fusions does this man have? Card. Three. That's a free rank four off of instant fusion. I think that's pretty broken. It is pretty broken. That's why this card's banned and has never been reprinted. And I'm going to add it to my collection. We really only Alex, ever had I one print. That's this crazy. This guy's pretty crazy. On to the big stuff today. We have to open high Chat, sp do you see what I see? The ads are back. Speed Riders. Should have put Dweller in defense mode. Should have put Dweller in defense mode. Should have put Dweller in defense mode. Look at him. He's just whine, 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 whine. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, honestly, I'm just happy that we're never going to see that deck ever again. Because with Dante out of the mix, I don't think Gage can actually conceivably play that deck. So here <laughs> we are. An High Speed ticket. Riders. Today's set. This, is so this set is actually cracked. I know typically side sets are like kind of hit or miss. But this one is insane. One of the High reasons Speed I actually wanted to ban Dante is, is because is Terra Top and Takatom Borg are in here. Which are just insane rank 3. Even Speed Recovery is really cards, good could have, like, like i would love to see them try speed road i don't think it's like better, worth doing I just right now make sure but that his best rank three deck is just off the table entirely but i mean look at these supers moonlight dragon Zeta's hot red insane. dragon arch fiend start a spark dragon we hot even have some insane. opportunities to get spark some reprints insane. that we missed before Terra top takatambor red eye dice down insane. to the rares nothing too crazy at here. rare duality circuit overload delta driver like if you pull a full psi frame core which is pretty likely you just win down to the ultra rare gamma at ultra Ultra Hot Red Dragon scary. Archfiend Abyss, Emergency Teleport reprint, and then the Goyo Chaser. Chat, I didn't know they put you in the... <laughs> Secret rares are is just where it gets out of hand. Chunbara is a great. OTK Can we get a hashtag Omega's chasers insane, for Luke Von Karma insane. going? Hell, even like Red Wyvern and Bane are great too. The problem is they're just like the harder ones to actually access. But for oh, the most part, there's a lot of insane for stuff you. in the set. Is there even anything good in the commons? Uh, another chance at Silent Psychic Wizard, I guess, is okay. Menko is like randomly a decent card. I know we have like a lot of these other cards. Serene like Psychic Red Dragon, which is good. I mean, all the psychic stuff is generally quite good. Vice Dragon friends, like is pretty Alpha, good. Epsilon, Krebons, I'm pretty sure we probably. We have play sets of Red Alpha and Epsilon are fine. Before, and uh, even Joseph's dice. in the set. As I said, though, as what far the as fuck did he just go, say? Resonator, if we didn't get it before, and uh, even Joseph's in the set. What the fuck? As I said, though, as far as side sets go, we really mad. couldn't ask for much. Mad, a bunch mad, of new mad. cards that are insane. A lot of reprints <laughs> that we missed say out that. before He's that can just definitely turn the tables and maybe enable that some new strategies. Wrong. I'm excited. Unfortunately, I'm not excited about opening Astral Pack 7 for the 500th time. Ugh. I think next episode we move on to Astral Pack 8. So at least true. whoever loses, we're going to be seeing some new cards out of the pity pack. So let's flip up the first pack and see. Nothing we're going to be using here. Second pack, anything good? Oh, we have not had Gaia drag it up until this point. So you know what? I will take not it. Bad. A new card we'll is a new it. card. And the third, the last pack, or rather the third pack, is a Skarm that will never see the light of day. Let's just add it to the collection and let's crack some high-speed riders. I'm excited. High-speed riders? I think the speedroids are up in this pack here. Yes, Those cards are, are pretty Yes, they strong. are. It'd be nice if we still had Dante to be able to use it for a rank three strategy. Unfortunate. What do we got? Ooh, card card D, my favorite. Favorite rock stun card. Card card Cypher dick. Delta. This is a banger to see in the pack Delta nowadays. Delta is a banger. Maybe back then it didn't have too much of a purpose. It was still just a good card, but really, really hard and needs a specific meta to play. And nowadays, as you can see, $12. Wait, where'd the ads go? Demand. Speedroid Menko. That's a uh, Master Saga reference right there. Oh! Oh! All right, what do we got? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Goyo Predator, first ultra rare coming around. Unfortunately, all the Goyos. Goyo Predator? I didn't know they put Farfus chat in here. <laughs> support cards? They suck. Uh, they're not quite Goyo Guardian. And I think at this point, Goyo Guardian is errata to require an Earth Tuner. What a damn shame. Why does it still do that? They should unerata Goyo. Synchron Resonator is pretty good from what I remember, too. That's not a bad pack. Okay, Takatomborg is a fantastic super rare to pull. We just need the tear tops to pair with it. 
Uh, another card cardy <sighs> and the Synchro Cracker. Let's go. Oh, start a Spark Dragon is a really Farfus solid card. Would like, be level Poyo Guardian. I remember this was dumb. a manga promo. I think very before. dumb, um, very stupid, it's not, like, not good. The best that we have better cards. I'm gonna be honest, we have better. Not cards. good, I folks. Just stop not over. good. Oh, that's a good one though. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. A little bit of retrain of the RDA here. This fella during our main phase one can destroy all other face up attack position monsters on the field. And other than this guy, he can only attack. We even got uh, a driver. That's pretty strong, right? Just destroys. Lightning Vortex, essentially, right? That's solid in a level 8. Not bad for us. Uh, and a driver? We needed one of those, I suppose, right? Ooh, we need a number of gamma, those. Bro. <laughs> That's the best card you could get gamma from Gamma Circuit. We should play Cyframe. one in today's TCG format, this was one of the best hand traps brick in the game during its period. This card being able to stop all hand traps, Ash Blossoms on very important Rota targets, or like E-Teleport and stuff like that. Uh, absolute menace to deal with if you can pull it off turn one. Even if you can pull it off turn two when you have an empty board, a negate and destroy is just as good. Happen to have one in the collection. I think pulling three is a little bit of a stretch at the moment, that not until we get wrong. to King Chaos, but... Good to have, right? All right, 24 packs of high speed riders coming right up. A lot of crazy stuff that we could get out of here. Honestly, I don't even know what I would like, what the best case scenario would be. So we're just going to flip Tim, it up and see. Up. Starting off with driver. So if we do get any gammas, at least we've got that unlocked. But everything else is uh, kind of meh. This pack's a little bit better. Silent Psychic, Wizard, Speedroid, Menko, and Speed Recovery, if we get, like, enough decent support cards to use with it, is totally fine. tri -Eye Dice is useful to have. We only need one of it, and it's a common, but at least it's in here. Oh, shit! And there is Emergency nice. Teleport. Now, this is good for several reasons, because although you might think e is past its prime, there are some decks that we actually could take advantage of if we pull more copies of this, and that'll definitely be on my radar for sure. Man, unfortunately, we hit a secret rare, and it's probably Bane. the least playable of the bunch. Bane is a decent card, but again, it's just so hard to summon. I don't know if we're going to be able to do much with that. I really wish that that was one of the other three good secrets. Another Takatom Borg. Literally nothing else in that pack. The Tri-Eyed Dice. Oh, another Ultra. Goyo Chaser. I, I just talked about the Goyos not being that crazy. This one fucking sucks, too. <laughs> I literally don't have to say more about it. Okay. Another, Why does he uh, have, hot like... Red Dragon Arch Oh, uh, you know what? I'm actually not going to say anything. Nothing else to talk about in that one. Ooh. Secret Rare. Red Wyvern. Card's real good. High player's turn if a card with higher attack than the Synchro Summon card is on the field. Destroy the one face of monster with the highest attack. Your choice of Tide. That's, like, not terrible for a level 6 generic, right? No, it's real good. It could be worse. Ooh, there we go. That's our first Terra Top that we ended up pulling. We do need to get, like, three Terra Top, and we could have a really fierce Speedroid deck. Like, we already have the Talking Tom Borgs. Three of this guy, almost mandatory. Another Red Wyvern? Are you kidding me? Bane yeah. is an okay Ultra. I really wish it was Gamma, just because Gamma is insane. But, you know, we'll you, you can't get everything, I guess. But we can get Hot Red Dragon Ooh, Archfiend Abyss, which is big. pretty strong. Again, uh, situational to summon, but it's, like, a decent payoff if we can actually get to it. So, uh, happy to have it. It just really depends if we can do much with it. Oh! <sighs> Is that a second Holy emergency teleport? E I, I forget if I already have one in my pool or not. And I also have to... Ch no, it should be at three because this is when Cosmo was legal. And I remember e Telly was at three, three because of the fact that Farm Girl was psychic and you could summon her. So... Okay, we might be able to do something with E-Telly. I'm down. Simo will play another Teladad. another copy of Beta. If these were Gammas, we'd have two Gammas right now. Beta's oh, we good, would too. Set. Come on. Ooh, a second Delta is actually super cute. Two of the spell negates. Uh, I mean, Psy Frames are always a very annoying pure deck to build, but literally the They're engine so can good. fit in anything. Wow. Wow. I mean pretty good hot red dragon archfiend abyss integral for a lot of uh, guard dragon combos later on in the game this guy's difficult to summon on his own right a tuner and a non-tuner dark dragon synchro it's monster. not that hard actually Very it's specific. you just need one tuner off, and uh rda huge. right beta all right another l right. we got the beta. beta sick all right down to the last four anything big Dice in the roll close here. we got one another Takatom driver board. start I'd a spark have a couple big. more of those hmm. doesn't seem oh Terra Top. You, I, I said Talk talking Top. I meant Terra Top. I meant the That's Top. That's two Terra Top. I, I think we have to be happy with that. Already. This is my we got, second we got two more. Let's open One a more third Terra Top. One packs would be a dream come true. Yo. Wow. Emergency Teleport is a great reprint. I think and we might circuit. already have That's three of this, circuit. I think it got reprinted in a gold series. Last pack. Right. Nothing in the close. Uh, I think um, I got like three of these. Unironically. We still, this isn't we bad. Still keep this could definitely be worse. All right. Taking a gander through it, this seems like a pretty much a high roll. I would love to walk yeah. out of this pack with a Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier, but can't it's okay. Get we don't want. need it. I still think this is pretty solid. Two Terra Top. Two Terra Top is so good. That feels like really strong. Three Tom uh, like The Stardust Spark we got out stuff. of here with. I feel like it's too good to yeah, not Yeah, we don't re-roll this. In. This is crazy. Let's add it to the collection. Pretty good. 
Black Rose Moonlight Dragon's a good hit as well. Being Wonderful able to bounce stuff. Is wow, a they both pulled effect. so I'm well. I'm not sure Blue Eyes is going to be playable when we get to Shining Okay, well, don't talk. Too far you can just summon now, it as a seven. In any case, that's a nice target off of Spirit Dragon, but it's just a decent generic card all around. There's definitely worse cards. And speaking of generically good cards, there's, there's this Harvard good old Dragon Hot Archfiend. Red Dragon Archfiend, which is just a really strong card in its, it's own right RDA, for a generic better. eight. So happy to it's see not it. Necessarily that's crazy. Better, Two it's, it's Hot better. Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. I don't okay, think we, we need, need that. that. I really wish those were gambles. Rang. I'm not going to lie. Never but we've got three packs card. left. Let's just go ahead and send it to you. We get in the last ones here. That's speed like our 900 really copy card. of Speed Recovery. Second to last pack, nothing great. We just got a Mirror Resonator. And for our last pack, there's a Tacaton board. That's good too. Did I not pull a single Terror Top? Holy shit, I did not pull a single Terror well, it's Top. A super, That's so it's actually not really guaranteed. insane that I didn't pull Terror Top. It, it's like not the end of the world because my rank three pool isn't particularly good anyway. I know Gage has like yeah, Zen mains, but. We pulled That's two e so we, uh, irritating. We, 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 um, I'm going to have to think about this. That what? was wrong. Yeah, after looking it over. Dog. It's rough, right? Like, I could two e tellies Dog. Or something else. Like, I didn't get a Stardust Spark. I didn't get a Trish or Omega or oh, I didn't know you know, that a Gamma. Didn't get I did miss spark. out on a few things, but I kind of like having um, three e Telly. I feel like just having that All right, he's winning me over. I could see him re-rolling this. things considered. So... I don't know. I feel like this is a tough... I'm just going to keep it. It's fine. Okay. It is what it is. Could have gone either way. Building. We're bringing back something familiar again, but the inclusion of the extra deck just made this way too delightful uh, okay. to pass up today. We're back on our clown deck, our rank four sort of turbo, but with the inclusion uh, of... Uh, yeah, Elder I mean, there was just no way we were ever not going to play this. Fusion still at three. This, this deck Norton, is truly right. on a different level. We were using Instant Fusion as an additional uh, level four in the form of like Camion Wizard or like removal in the form of Thousand Master Shoo, 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 shoo. I don't think we've seen Star Drawing summon card yet. combo in itself. Uh, Garrett went back as to play own Elder. The inclusion really cannot another 200, a great card, 22 over. I have a card like we don't do that. Chain before Soldier comes dumb simple in the form of the wall. I'm going to bring, bring this oh. is a strange situation. To Wait. I was skipping through gauges until I could see what Alex's is, but it's the same deck. He catches a ban. So with my back against the wall, I feel like this is a strange situation to be in. I feel like Gage is going to expect that I'm going that to- That was wrong. <laughs> so it's a mirror, but Gage has Norden, huh? Well, Alex is Alex, so. Bring Battery Man, which we both hmm. sort of perceive to be the best deck that we both have access to at the moment. And so because so of Gage's that, I actually don't want to bring Battery Bladeless Clown Blade Instead, with Norden. We're going to bring back the Clown. And Alex's is, is Clown Blade much, without Norden. He's actually doubling back on a deck. But I feel like All this right. deck is actually quite good. Maybe like one of the other best decks I have access to. I think the last episode was just really unfortunate with the way things played out. So we've made some adjustments as necessary. And I think this time it'll be able to carry us over the finish line. So let's quickly do the card by card. Honestly, it's almost exactly the same as it was before. We saw BLS and Triple Valor and Double Assault Halberd paired with a Thousand Blades. Triple Gigabyte, the One Jurigato, Double Math, a Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. Triple Juggler, Double Hat Tricker, and Triple Clown. For BLS, for Darks, we have Jurigato, but also our King of the Feralims is Dark, and we're almost always making this, so we're going to pretty much have BLS live the whole game. For Spells, we uh, modified this a bit, so we got Book, Dark Hole, Foolish Burial, Triple Lance to make sure our guys stick, Pot of Greed, Soul Charge, and Triple Upstart Goblin. Game two of the last episode felt very winnable if our deck didn't fail us i felt like we just hit like a really clunky hand and so we could have maybe played it differently but in any case i feel like just smoothing the deck out more and just being able to draw more of it i feel like that actually could solve the problem so we slimmed down the traps a bit we only have one bottomless double breakthrough skill a compulse judgment warning and torrential the extra is basically exactly the same it's dweller castell digasso emerald dark rebellion exceeds dragon exiton double samurai in case one gets stopped we can follow up with another one to be able to otk triple king of the feralums because is like the best card in our extra deck the bobble chain double 101 Ragna, as well as Trapeze Magician. And the side is interesting. Gage could bring a myriad of different decks to today's duel, so I wanted to try to cover everything. So we have, like, DD Crow and Soul Release for any of, like, the graveyard-based decks. If he brings, like, this deck, for instance, like, the graveyard hate there would be quite good. But also covers random stuff like Ruler, Skull Servant, just, like, there's so many weird decks that he's played that have graveyard reliance that these cards could be useful. Grammel's good against a lot of decks, so I just want to have it in here. We, of course, have Para Para Cerberus, which can out weird things, and plus Math can easily send it to Grave. Dark Hole to, uh, to ward off more aggressive decks. We have MST in case he's on more back row decks. And then for this deck specifically, or any other, like, rank four extra deck reliant deck, we have Blackhorn of Heaven just to pretty much stop his summons altogether. This also plays through Lance if he's on it. And then also Mischief of the Gnomes. I only have one copy more of this. More like Mischief of sucks, the... But this card can just... 
absolutely mischief of the if we bones. Resolve it. I think he might be boarding this or Stygian Dirge, but we only have one of this and no Stygian Dirge, so that's going to suck. And then uh, if he is playing Battery Men, we also have the Light Mirror just to wax him uh, if he brings that. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think with a bit more refinement, we should be able to clean this one up and uh, get out of the banning, and most importantly, make sure he doesn't take the lead. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Okay. This episode, I want us to keep track of... You know what? Let's make a fucking bet. Eh? You and me, Chad. Let's make a fucking bet. Who here has seen Uncut Gems? You all know the insane bet that uh, Adam Sandler's character takes. Let's do something similar, all right? He bet the Celtics won the opening tip. Garnet had 26 points and rebounds, and the Celtics win, right? Here's what I got. Alex... Summons the first king of the fair limps. King of the fair limps is going to be summoned six times. And Alex is going to win 2-1. That's what I got. Gage, I... I don't know how we keep getting in this position. Uh, I went on a three win streak, set you into the banning. You went on a three win streak, set me into the banning. We're tied for like the 500th time this series. It's never going to end. If it's going to be this close until we get to the very end of season two, uh, people are going to be loving the ride at high speed at which this is going. How you feel? Yeah, but if the prophecy is anything but already told, bro, I'm going to get this lead and then I'm going to quickly lose it <laughs> following the next few episodes. <laughs> so That's if you even get it in the first place. Yeah, right? I, I got to beat you first this time. But, uh, yeah, I, dude, I'm really upset you got rid of my Dante. I got to play with it for one episode. One episode. I I got to be honest. I was looking at your card pool, and I'm like, damn. We hardly have any cards that are different between the two of us. But, like, that deck's playable for you, and it's not playable for me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to ban Dante. Don't have to worry about it. You've targeted bans towards my decks before, so now it's my turn to return the favor. So you're welcome. It's only fair. It's only fair, bro. But it's let's get fair. this game started. I'm looking let's to it. claim my victory and claim the lead yet again. And we'll shout the patron, Stephen Kimball. Thank you for All right, the Steven. support. What are you going to do for me, Steven? Steven. Thanks, Steven. No, cool. Steven. That one was a little bit quick. Did you roll the dice again? or Fuck. Did you forget? I did. I rolled two sixes. Mm, all right. Uh, I'll believe oh. you this time. All right, dude. I'm going. I used my speedroid red-eye dodge. Oh, wow. Topical <laughs> with high-speed riders. Look at him. I'll go first, okay? Come on, all right. no. All right, man. Good luck. Let's see what I got. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm happy with mine too. I'm nervous, Gage. You, you've had several crazy decks recently, and I have no idea which <laughs> of them you're bringing to the table. I've had so. a few, definitely some uh, some bangers. Uh, I think this one might also be a slammer. I'm really confident. All right, dude, let's start. I'm gonna go special summoning with no monsters on my side of the field. Photon Thrasher. Okay. All right. Sure. You might already be getting some some ideas of what I'm playing, and it'll be all I but have a certain. Thought when I normal summon Trick Clown. Okay, let's do it. All right, first X, Y, Z. Who's it gonna be? I'm feeling. Oh, I wonder. No! Oh, fuck! Oh, God damn it. I bet you are. Bet <laughs> All right, are. <sighs> detach. Uh, I'll get a search. You will. Okay, I'll pick up Gigabyte out of the deck. All right, what did I say? Clown's Six effect. King of the Feralimps? That's points. one. I'll reborn it. Excuse me, you're going to take a 1,000 damage. That's different than paying oh, a 1,000 Oh, excuse me. Yes, points. it's not even a cost, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's back. Got a Spellcaster. The Gigabyte pairs well with that. All right, now I got to think. Uh, this is always where the options come oh, up. Oh, don't think too hard, buddy. Uh, I could make another hard read. Hard Ragna Zero. We learned just the other episode that that's a, on either player's turn. So... <laughs> <laughs> Card's pretty good. I'm learning the monster wrong. has to be in attack position. You're learning it's on either player's turn. You know, we're yeah. both learning, you know? <laughs> That's what it's all about, man. Progression series in one way or another. Uh, all right, what do we got? I can make Dweller. 
with a water, and Ooh. that's pretty good. But that would have to That's be. pretty cool, actually. That's actually pretty fun. That unfortunately would have to be a crazy read of what you're on today. And I got no clue, man. I have no idea what you could be What's your today. no soul read? No Usually soul read this time. This time? In, the, uh, in these games. No, I How feel are like they with taking speed riders, there's enough really this. cool cards in it that you would bring something different. So I'm, I'm confident that you're switching it up. Let's go. Um, No way I'm about to make a second one of these guys, bro. I don't know. The follow-up's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what was that board you made like an episode or two ago? It was like imps, imps, uh, Ragnar Zero, Bubble Chain, Ragnar Zero, like I that. think. Was that crazy, your board? crazy type board, bro? <laughs> All right. What uh, is going what? on in chat? I think it's just fine to go for the other one here. I'm going to do it. I agree. All right. That's I'm going to detach the, King of the Gigabyte and I'm going to get a search. I will pick up a. I'll pick up a Kage token. Chat, I'm going to be real with you. Yeah, get with really you. weird pasta. All right, I'm going to set one Very card strange and, pasta. Uh, two XYZs. Let's this is some Olive Garden it. quality pasta. It's scary, pasta. too, because if those stick around, it's going to be a problem for me. This is the uh, kids' meal me. spaghetti yep. uh, at McDonald's. Let's pick up two more while we're at it. Yep. You got some cards. I get some cards. We all get some cards. Okay. Well, now I have to figure out how I'm going to deal with these kings. I know you've got a Kage to Kage for the follow-up which is annoying. And this Trick Clown might come back potentially as well. I mean, this probably seems like the move, so let's uh, let's try it. I'm going to start by specialing out a Hat Tricker. Thank you for having two guys on the field, there, buddy. Oh, no problem, bro. Are you on something similar to me? Uh, <laughs> when you see this Gigabyte, will that answer your question? <laughs> oh, yeah. These are both oh, specials. Oh, boy. We got to ban terrifying. the number four. Um, that is okay. I think that yeah, that's okay. the only way uh, out here. We got to ban the number four. These two, they're counting too and many times to four. I'm sick of it. We don't like it. We don't like four, chat. Too much four. Three. Three was okay. too much. Three um, was too much here. for little Alex. Dude, the fact that these little special, Alex like couldn't said, take it. He pretty, said three. Oh, my goodness. this is probably so, the best play. I have three, that's to too many for me. Right four. I'll take four. I'm going four. to put him face down. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do this. Otherwise, I'm going to get cooked. I will Lance to protect yeah, my Yeah, we have to Lance. Okay. Um, okay. Wait, wait, okay. Yeah, that's going to be fine. This resolves. Okay. Sure. Uh, and then we'll Three use King. Three on King. king. We um, got a ban King. We need a search here. You got another Gigabyte or Kage to Kage. You really needed this, bro. You really... Oh, I would look so silly. I, I'm just... Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. Just thinking about Valoring. You could probably already tell what I'm thinking, what I'm pondering. I, I'll tell, yeah. Uh, also, what? this guy sank by eight, so... Uh, what's... Yeah. That's like the, the helpful thing, right? Is like it being sunk by eight means that you can't crash feral imps. I really don't know if you, you seem like you need this card to keep going. So, all right, I'm going to make the read that this is good enough. If it's not, hey, I'll get punished. I'm going to effect Valor, your king of the I wonder feral if you soul charge right. here. Uh, this like this king of the feral imps is just eating everything yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's really Greatest taking every value form of interruption king of from the feral imps yeah, of all time. It's been kind of crazy. All right, he still has okay. a normal summon, though. That, I'm terrified of this normal summon. Well, I guess we have to do what we can. I feel like if I let these kings stick around, this is going to spiral out of control real quick. Spiral? So is that a reference to I the white face? I guess we do what we must. Uh, I am going to normal summon this thousand blades. Sure. Soul charge for one. Oh. Does not mm. trigger thousand. Okay, points. the forbidden extender. <laughs> All right, yes, that one. The forbidden extender. Yes, that works. Okay. Okay, so we're going to overlay. Uh, this also gets my thousand blades in rotation, which is terrible. Oh, we could Ragna Zero fun. pop our own guy. I think here probably 101. 101 yeah. is okay. Put your fucking sure. 101 in uh, defense. I'm going to take the one that doesn't have your trick clown. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Now, I can't attack because I did soul charge. Uh, I know your hand is a Kage to Kage. Yep. You have one other card, and you're going to draw for turn. And unfortunately, I think that's probably all we can really do here. So I'm just going to set one. I'm going to pass. My imps will go back up to turn. I wonder if he, okay. like, this back row better hard be compulses The too. back row, bro. <laughs> it better be the one to, to win you the game because... I'm going to oh. compulse this before you get the value out of it. Okay. It, That's it was that a good one. Good, it was right? a good one, but I still think it's not going to be enough body. to save you here. That's going to resolve. Probably That's not. fine. Yep. Extra deck to it. I am going to use the trick clown. I'll spend the 1,000. I figured. I couldn't let you get another card out of it. I understand. Part. I understand. It, do it doesn't seem that weird. Okay. All right. I'll start by normal summoning. Star drawing. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finally, then, my fucking normal summon, person. You already are familiar with the Kage to Kage in the hand. We're going to yes. special summon now. Kage to Kage. Okay. I'm going to take the Kage to Kage in the Trick Clown. I'm going to exceed them. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to make uh, just bring him back, King of the Feral Imps. Oh, and now we can get yep. Gigabyte. I'm use the Feral Imps. I'll keep the Trick Clown underneath this there. This is so and fucking I will pick boring. Up another copy oh my of god. Gigabyte. It's very funny that star drawing is a spell. Yeah, that's I, I had to double check that one. There we go. At least, you know, it's almost better. We'll overlay these two. I'll had, choose uh, to make them fours. What's going to be my four of choice? Well, that they had Shockmaster in the OCG because at least these games would Gigabyte end at some point. Oh, that's right. Okay, I, that's <laughs> silly me, Ryan. You would read the full <laughs> star drawing text. <laughs> this isn't Constellar Cost Gauge, okay? Uh, <laughs> I know that's what you were thinking. Uh, this is. Uh, I bet that means someone is not far do I just behind make you. Fucking feral imps. <laughs> Am I gonna do that? I'm excited. It's feral. Oh no no no! This is this is the best choice. All right, Feeling I will two. make Ragna zero, sure. and I will draw a card. Yep, per the star. Are we making Ragna zero? Yeah. Okay, I will go battle phase. I will go Ragna zero into okay. the King of the Feral Imps. One hundred attack points over. It's perfect. <laughs> and then I'll take yep. off that last material from Silent Honor Arc. Yep. Thanks. And I'll take two hundred for yep. that. And then I will trigger my thousand blades. Silly me, I need to read cards more. Oh, you That's going to be fine. Uh, I will set a card, and I will just uh, pass my turn. Go ahead. All right. So I got my work cut out for me. I'll draw. I bet we make another Stand rank four here. Okay. Got to deal with Ragna. Got to deal with another Feral Imp. Still got a Trick Clown chilling under there. And you have a back row to make things even more fun. I do. I'm going to normal damage juggler. Sure. That's fine. Uh-huh. Mm, wait. Should I don't know if you have the last card in your hand, right? Nope. Uh, I don't remember if you have a second silent honor arc, and you would, you're not a good enough friend to tell me. So <laughs> I don't. I don't. He remember. has a second honor arc. Um, we know. This is either like super heads up or like the worst play in the game. It. All right, fuck. Ah, ah! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's it's the worst. Play. It's game pulse. one, bro. I can make these risks. I'm going to activate torrential tribute. <laughs> Gage, this. I'm noticing a trend here this season. <laughs> I know it looks bad. I know uh, it looks bad. It doesn't bad. look good. <laughs> Let me explain. What's going to happen is okay. all your cards are going to go to Graveyard. Saying. You can get your uh -huh. silly little damage juggler effect. You can't search anything because they all require a summon. Uh, you need two monsters for Hat Tricker. I'll retain the one with Trick Clown. If I make it to the next turn and you don't do anything, like That's you're true. dead. You are dead. So I'm having the hard read that you don't have anything else. Okay. Let's let's see what happens then. Okay. Sure, they're all out of here. Everything goes, and then I'll pay the 1,000 for my trick clown. All right, this is where you pass. This is this is where the script says you pass. I will damage juggler. Okay. A great that's opportunity expected. to get I'm grab trick clown. trick clown. Okay, also expected. And I'll pass. Oh, <laughs> we did it. Okay, draw for turn. Stay, I'm dead. Let's see Stand it. Stand by me. Are you dead? You better be dead after all of that. <laughs> after all of that struggle, <laughs> you better be dead. Um, all right, I'm going to start by normal summoning damage juggler. Uh-huh. Sure. I will special summon from my hand gigabyte. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Um, let's exceed these two. Damage juggler in hand, an unknown. Trick clown in hand. Trick clown, that's the one. Sorry. Um... That's a pretty big difference. All yeah, damage juggler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me read this trapeze magician. This is gonna make you this shit. Is like the OTK guy. We're just doing wow, trapeze magician. Wow, this card's like so shit much here, better right? than I ever thought it was, bro. Every oh, time yeah, I read it, it just crazy. stuns me. What is that? Trapeze magician. The trapeze magician's amazing. <laughs> it's what it's a great insane. card. It's crazy. That's why I re-rolled uh, Clash of Rebellion so I could pull it. Wow. No, you're dead here then. If this goes through. So okay, I. Ooh, damage juggler would be fierce, but you don't have it. I'm gonna make the the trapeze magician. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna use the trapeze magician. I'll detach the clown, and I'll target yep. itself. Sure. No. And then I will pay the a thousand for the trick clown. No. Mm-hmm. Look at all the that. No. Uh uh. How oh, you've gotten off this trick clown? I know it's, it's been used four times. Insane. How does it's like the only thing that this card says? All right, we're gonna exceed here. Five. I need to make something with seventeen. I can. Worst case scenario is Gores doesn't. Gores comes down. I I, I lose to Gores. I guess. I guess that's just the way this is gonna be. Um. <laughs> I don't have a way to beat it. So. <laughs> I Famous guess. Famous last word. Yeah. Right. I guess. Um. I guess by some divine intervention, if you get one more turn, let's go Lavalval Chain. Okay. Well, then this doesn't matter. You could have done this stack. anyway, right? The Lavalval would just be the black going twice. Soldier. Makes sense to me. All right, battle phase. Can we go game two? Did I spend all this time doing this for nothing? 25, uh, 25, and then Damage on juggler. that attack. No, I've got 1,000 blades. 
That's right. I forgot that card again. <laughs> this is Bro, good. God I'm damn glad it. this is happening. Attack. I'll take five. If I made anything else, it did not matter. I can. You could have dwellered me. Why you gotta hurt him like this? <laughs> no, you're right! <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. All right, look. Damn it. What do you got? Trick clown in hand? Fuck it. That's not gonna be enough. <laughs> I'll go end phase. This guy destroys your move. We're literally right, dead. We're so Fuck, fucking dead. We're so oh. dead. <laughs> okay. He's just gonna make 101 and kill us. Uh, and this is actually maybe perfect. Yeah, we just win. We win. The follow up OTK. 101. Yeah, like no. All right. Hat Normal trick clown. Yeah. <laughs> Special gigabyte. Yeah. God, uh, really having overlay. the thousand oh, blades this is may not so be good. Oh God, the the swings of this game are so intense. Oh God, we could go Gaga ga Samurai. I'm not gonna do it the way that I was expecting you to do it. Uh, so we're gonna go for 101. Sure. I'm gonna take your guy. Detach the clown for me. Yeah, you're gonna trigger that clown, buddy. I might. A thousand life points for a shot blocker, like. Yeah, you have to. Yes, you're I will do dead that. otherwise. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna pay a thousand for my trick clown. Uh, mm -hmm. That triggers my thousand blades, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna overlay for Gaga Ga Samurai. Mm -hmm. This is enough. And yeah. we'll detach Samurai, and uh, this should be game, my friend. Oh, oh so I can't believe we won. I literally had that. Game <laughs> that's on. that's an embarrassing one. That card. is an embarrassing um, one. We cheated and we lost anyway. I I hate myself. Yeah, let's go game two. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Woof. <laughs> Sorry, man. Damn. Damn, bro. Oh God, I'm angry. At that. Alex turned off his, his camera and Gage is still like yelling at the screen. Uh, what was the cheat? You're not allowed to target a uh, trapeze oh, well, magician. I cannot with wait magician. to see the comment section after that one, bro. <laughs> I, I'm embarrassed. That was so easy. It was in sight. I just literally had to summon the right card. It's fine. I'll get it game two because I'm very confident in my side deck against this matchup. It's okay. okay. At least you didn't uh, summon a dweller in attack position when you had like yeah. 300 life points. Uh, Ooh, that, okay. Well, it? Alex's hand I know. I heard about some blows silly ass. little guy doing that, bro. I couldn't imagine. What a bozo play. Right. All right, dude. Let's. <laughs> but he didn't have it then. <laughs> it would only here. be 5,900. All right, let's get played. Uh, I'll start with perform age damage no, juggler. Been... Sure. Normal summon. It's a gigabyte. Uh, no gigabyte. Well, Unless you mean if he the didn't gigabyte. cheat. Not Kage to Kage. I thought you said the wrong one. What? <laughs> that guy. Uh, and then I also have a hat trigger. So sure. I'll special summon that. Sure. Uh, we're going to take the gigabyte in the damage juggler. I'm going to exceed them. I'm going to make the king of the feral imps. All right, that's five. I'll be detaching the damage juggler to search. Is that okay? I'll be veiling the damage or the, the feral imps. It's same thing. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use the damage juggler the king! to detach oh, the search oh, oh. perform age. Um, I will pick up another hat trigger. Sure. I love she that you don't have once to control. Per turn? This is like not once per turn. Isn't that crazy? That. That's so funny. I, it's so crazy. <laughs> All right, cool. What are we making with this guy now? Another king. I do just get the vibes to make another chain. Like, or not a chain. The the king. I'm going to do that. You know what? The feral imps, bro. This was the, this was, you struggled to beat this turn one board last time. That's Even six. though you did it. That's got to be the last <laughs> it took one. took a minute. So I'm going to make another one. Oh Try my again. God, bro. <laughs> I don't know how mad you can be about this. I hope this. those last three cards two. actually can play the fucking game. I hope. I hope. <laughs> I'll set one and I'll pass. Go ahead. Considering you have a backer, I'm not feeling uh, too good. We don't really have too much to do here. Right, main one. Yep. Uh, this is going to suck. <laughs> This is not good. No. I'm going to set two and pass. No, no. Guys, is he okay? I'll draw. <laughs> is he Stand okay? Is he main? Is, the main yep. okay? is he stupid? Oh, my God. King. Is that fine? He's got to break through it. Yeah. He's, uh, like, he's, he's like, like, I have to I, save I can him tell already. Better. Like, I was waiting for him to summon into my torrential tribute. Foolish. <laughs> I can't believe he just activated the effect. Who um, would do such a thing? <laughs> I will search off a uh, Kage to Kage. I'll use my other King of the Feral Imps. This one, I'll pick up a Jigabyte. Yeah, sure. I don't even think I'll summon now, bro. <laughs> like, I'll just go back. I don't know. Two, if three, you get two, Torrential three. here, is it I'll that big it. of a deal? Yeah. Main phase two, I'll place a back, or I'll just pass the turn. I'll watch you squirm. Oh, I'm, I'm, Ooh, I'm we're squirming. Kinky. <laughs> I will set one and pass. Go ahead. Oh, no, bro. That's not good. I, I wonder oh, if I summon good. anything this time. I, <laughs> I'm just going to go battle phase. Do something. Do something. I'll take 23. Game. 
the most Compulsive valuable game of all time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah. okay. <laughs> all right. Made phase two. I'll just pass. I'll wait, bro. Oh, oh my oh. God. This deck is so. We set DD Crow here. We have to set DD Crow. I'll... Oh my God. I'll <laughs> yeah, we, we don't have a choice, man. Yeah, okay, we have to keep the trick clan in case we draw a gigabyte. Stand by, Bane. All bad. right, man. I'll normal summon damage juggler. Would you like to torrential tribute? No, I'm good. Uh, breakthrough skill's not bad. <laughs> no! Not oh my skill. goodness. Bottomless isn't bad here. <laughs> what, what? Dude, if this is exactly trick cloud, you live by 100. I, <laughs> I'm i not going to run into torrential. I, if you, I'll just go battle phase. Um... He's really psyching him out. You got himself it. Yeah, I, 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 I we don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, if I go in the, if I go I can't in the replay, we that one. Back there, I'm gonna feel like the smartest cookie alive. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't bottomless there. We were just dead on board, right? What's going on? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We're just gonna go first. We're gonna move. On. That's <laughs> that all right. Unbelievable. That's all right. That was like flashbacks of the last time I played this deck. And oh, oh shit! It is not yeah. getting out. Oh my god. Oh, maybe not for you, bro. My hand's looking good. I think you should hopefully have a play to do something. Otherwise, you're losing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess we YOLO it. I'm going to set four cards. In All right, I have Where Alex winning 2-1. Smoke Smokescreen? What are you playing now? <laughs> how, did, how did this all of a sudden turn Don't into Don't worry set four about pass? it, buddy. Don't worry about it. Draw. Stand yep. by. Main. All good. There's no dust shoot. Right, it looks that. bad, but this like... Is true? Absent I'm going Harpy's to, with Feather no Duster, monsters on my field, special still summon win, Photon Thrasher. Totally fine. I will normal summon... Compulse gets us a two for one. Annoying, but... Blackhorn fine. gets us a reading? two for one. Solemn uh, gets us a like two for one. I still think Torrential's like a card you might have. Bottomless uh, Compulse I've seen out of you. Um, so if I throw these into an XYZ, you... I wonder if it was worth foolishing for... Um, for Thousand Blades to just to stave off I'll go damage. Battle Phase, and I'll attack for 16. That is A-OK -okay with me. Mean two. I'll just set and pass. Fucking go ahead. Bro. What? Why are we? I'm not doing gonna even this? make okay. anything. Like I'm not gonna let you just compulse. Oh things. come on. Uh, stand by main. I Why even pass. summon the photon Love thrasher? To see it. Draw. <sighs> and this is exactly torrential. Like putting more cards on the board is fine. I will. I will special hat trigger. Sure. Battle phase 11, 16. They can both. <laughs> I don't want to make anything. I is, is that weird? Am I, I mean, making, if you like, make really something with the Thrasher and the Trick Clown, whatever it doesn't I make change just any doesn't of the math, do right? Like, I'm just gonna pass again. Go ahead. Uh, okay, I'll draw. Jurigato is not main. bad. That's um, a way to like blank a battle phase. Foolish burial. Sure. I'm gonna dump damage juggler. Sure. Damage juggler effect. Sure. Oh, we can get going. We'll add Trick Clown. Okay. I bet Gage has normal Trick Clown. Okay. Battle. A okay. I will attack into your hat trigger. Sure. Okay. Yes. I. I. I did you know hat trigger has a secret effect? Yeah. Like, it never comes up. <laughs> I don't think. I, yeah. I don't think up. I've ever seen anybody ever use this before. All right. I'm gonna take the 500. This is gonna go to graveyard. Sure. Uh. And then, I'm also gonna special Jurigato. This is during the battle phase. During battle step. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Did you just want to put the card on the table, or do you want to use its effect? Uh, well, it's special summons, and I gain a thousand. So is that fine? Oh, I didn't even really. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Uh, no, I'm not using it to. Uh, I'm not gonna pump. Okay. Um, I just want it for a guy. I'm gonna hit your trick clown. Yes, I will take the hundred. Um, I will use the trick clown effect. I'll just bring it back in defense. Mm -hmm. Sure. And it's zero zero. Yep. Okay. Second main. Well, now we can get going. Turn, we, are we, are we, we wanna, just like, we want to get off to the races here. Do we have? A, we don't have a. Are we just chain. devolving into this game state where neither one of us wants to commit to anything because the back row is just all stuff to handle <laughs> the monsters? Like, got, it's it's kind of funny, bro. You got four funny. of them. I've got one. <laughs> <And they're> like, <laughs> like, yeah, but like you can't even attack me right now. Like your Thrasher can't attack, and then Trick Clown zero. So like I'm kind of just chilling yeah, right I think now. He's, I think these are true. If that's, if that's what makes you feel safe, buddy. Like, all I'm saying um, is you better have Solemn back there because as soon as I take these two cards and I make Evil Swarm Exciton Knight, you're getting dumpstered. It's fair. Uh, I'm chilling. Go. Stand by main? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I go down to six if I exceed. Well, the choice is stupid easy. I will exceed into Exciton Knight. Do you have a Solemn? I do have a Solemn. Yes. Okay. 
We don't even have to solve. But Understandable, good to, Mr. Good to do it like this. You want to preserve the one then. I was waiting for you to just like lead me into that, and then you're like, okay, and I have judgment, <laughs> and the game is over. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm not that good at the game. I wish. Uh, let's see here. All right. Would you like to trigger your trick clown? Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I did that just to crow you, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Uh, not the hand. My bad. Uh, it does not pay life points, bro. It does. It's not a. It pay. doesn't. Yep. Huge. Okay, man. All right. Uh, well, I guess I gotta start playing the game somehow. I don't even think I want to do anything. I'm like so scared of what you're capable of, which is not normal. Right? He's psyching like, himself <laughs> out. He's psyching himself out. Um, not a good position to be in. He's I will just himself out. set a card. I'll just pass. Okay. Go ahead. I'll draw. That's Battle. horrifying. Yep. 16. Yep. Yeah, we're just going to play fucking 17. guys. This is what you were doing to me, buddy. This yeah, it was. It's me. an exact reversal. All right. Got another back row. Go ahead. Fear is the mind killer. It really is. Got you on lethal next turn, buddy, if you don't have anything. Know. You know, they actually didn't do I'll that too much in the second movie. And, uh, I'm scared. I am just going to set a card, a monster this time, and I will pass my turn. Go ahead. Back row and a monster. Huh? Okay. I'll draw. Um, I mean, you're going to have to, like, you're going to have to do something eventually. Yeah, I think we just go battle. Let's see if Jurgato can get in. Uh, Sure. It is damage juggler. Okay. Then I'm going to go 16. I'm going to have to take it. Okay. okay. I see that. Um, This has been working so far, so I'm just going to stick to my guns. Go ahead. Draw. Damn. All right, man. All right. I'll start by banishing damage juggler. Pick up some from the deck. Okay. I'll pick up a hat tricker. Sure. I'll special hat trigger. So I have two monsters. Uh, that's you know, it kind of sucks we special haven't seen gigabyte. Instant Fusion yet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Just going to keep walling and hope you can live? Well, I mean, okay, if, like, the read the entire time has been compulsory evacuation device, this board dies to that. I lose the win. So, like, I got to make something, and it's not going to stick. So I think this game is, like, it's a loss. Like, you played it really well. Um... I'm going to overlay these two. I'm so frustrated, too, because of that game one, bro. I'm literally not going to ever forget this. I guess I'm going to make fucking King of the Fairlimps. Is that fine? Can you please it's black horn it so it stays at six? <laughs> it's not fine. That back row better <laughs> be crazy. God. Yeah, it's not. It's not crazy enough to beat that. Yep. That's not That's yeah, not seven. That's that, the summon was I, negated. You got this one. I, <laughs> no, really? All right, we won the second two. You Plus played six this and two one. Juragator. But uh, we missed the tip off. Crisp. Unbelievably, like. <laughs> tight I, I i that game one i'm gonna be thinking about Ugh. it for the rest of my life but but i will say bro i i waited i had some side deck cards that yep. i thought we're gonna be able to crush but when you do nothing at all they don't do anything <laughs> That's like so i have stingy and dirge super poly this breakthrough skill yeah so none of these do anything when you choose to do nothing you're probably bro get, are you flustered with that super poly what do you think i have i am yeah i you when you're like super poly like do you is starving venom legal? Like, what the hell are you super polying for? <laughs> the super poly target's a really, really off the wall one. It's only one that became okay. available to us last set. You remember last set? Really? You remember what was what it was? last set? Last set was uh, mega. It was mega pack, wasn't it? Yeah, it was mega pack. I got a pretty cool card out of the mega tin. <laughs> are you? Is this clicking with you at all? I don't know. I mean, you doctor. did not. Take a guess. What, what do you think did I did? You did not. Oh, like, show me fucking Nord engage. <laughs> oh my <laughs> oh, he's god! It took so long to get a promo slice on the wheel. There's been so many crazy things I could build, <laughs> and this one was fresh out with the new pack. And I'm I just sick couldn't of this fucking no. deck. So I had to Someone take Nord. I was hoping, bro, you make two King of the Feral Imps, you would be sent to the Shadow Realm almost immediately. That's so annoying. This is going to be so annoying for me to deal with. I almost kind of wish I lost now so I could just ban this. So I'm not going to ban the number yeah, four. Right? Oh my God. It's very, left Dante say, legal. It incredibly frustrating that I have three instant fusion in this deck. You and didn't, I didn't see get to use it. Any of the games. Yeah. yeah uh, that's wild. But I, I still think this card is like, it was way too good to pass up on. I think it was either between I him agree. and like, I had some crazy stuff with disc commander. I've been cooking up. Or, no, I, Norden I I was, was way was better than disc commander. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. The, <laughs> Norden's way better. If I got it's a promo okay. slice now, cause obviously we have to wait till we hit the mega pack to hit the 20, 2002. Um, I'll summon an 1800 slice, attack monster and win the game by attacking. So, 2015. Like, that's one of the things I'll this summon a 1600 missing, attack monster right? and win the game by attacking. Your version of this deck pre Norden wasn't very funny that Gage is like, man, Trappy's magician gets better every time. I read it, then illegally targets itself, then misplays. <laughs> oh, man.
Can't wait to see how MBT reacts to, hey, Joseph's in the set. Fuck off. Oh, my God. I'm convinced that Simo and Gage are a single organism that share the same brain. No way they bring the same decks to the table so often. <laughs> this is a crazy take. I'm going to ban the most obvious thing to ban. <laughs> oh, holy. Let's see if we can get uh, Gage on the horn. Happening. Hello. What up, buddy? Hey, how you doing? I'm actually doing all right. Having a pretty good day today. How are you, That's buddy? That's good. I'm I'm chilling. You know, you know me. It's Monday. I'm just chilling. I'm trying yeah. to trying to make money by leeching your content. <laughs> I mean, as you normally do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Gotta, yeah. You gotta make a living. It's it's, not, it's new. Um, we just finished watching uh, the most recent progression. You played the Clown Blade Mirror. Oh, 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 yeah, that one. <laughs> bladeless, uh, bladeless clown blade versus Nordenless clown blade. Oh, yeah, this is the one where I fucked up the game one, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think the fuck up is that bad. I, uh, I don't know, man. This was just a, a pretty bleak series of games. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. It was, it was fun though. Um, it was the mirror match. It is yeah. what it is. We you um better. we gotta. I was saying we gotta ban the level four. Just we they, gotta just ban the, the number entire four. level four. No, That'd no level crazy. four monsters ever again. King of the Fairlimps, man, probably the greatest progression series monster of all time. Yeah, Alex and I are talking about um we're doing a play mat yeah. for like the midway point, and uh, we were talking about like cards that like represent both of us and like what what side would they go on? And we we hit King of the Fairlimps and we're like. Shit. Who's 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 whose side does that guy go to, bro? <laughs> like, yeah, no, like, he's he's just around. We both get one. Like yeah. he's just kind of around. He's let doing me, his thing. Oh, let me uh let me let me think. Chat, what do you think the uh the monsters would be? For sure, King of the Feralimps. We um, got a whole list of them together. Some of them are great. Somebody mentioned one of them and I don't know the reference. Maybe you can tell me or somebody in chat. Yeah. Hold on, let me pull this up. It was a, a plug in not found substitute. <laughs> Something with like a, maybe a broken graphic from Substitute. <laughs> Does anyone have the the specific episode? But yes, there's a there's a weird the, there's a weird uh, place where they they just have the like default plug and not found in the video. <laughs> uh, Best Yari is a good one. Uh, Chain Strike, uh, Uniflora. That's a funny one. Uh, oh, the Uniflora is a good one. Some of the old, I, it was crazy. We were trying to figure out like really, really old ones, like ones in like the earlier episodes. BLS. And the, I, we, I didn't realize how many episodes we have in season two until we started trying to think of like old school ones. Like one of the old ones that came up was like when I magic jammered a snatch steal or something like that on the Monarch deck when I was mm -hmm. playing that. The magic jammer, crazy. Um, I could read you off some of the good ones. We I, I imagine you get skull servants, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. of course. Some of the ones we have is like for Alex, like he has Grand Mole as one of the the main characters because he's the man, uh, and he's gonna be standing on like a pile of redoer tickets because he never spends. That's them. funny, yeah. Yeah, he's got like Berserk Gorilla near him. Sure. Warrior Elimination. I can't. I still. What? I forgot. About I that do one. not remember that one. <laughs> he ended up siding like Warrior Elimination when we were playing like a wacky hero deck or something. Sure. And it was like the wildest deck. He just had it, uh, and also Card Cardi being his favorite rock monster. Mm. That's one of my personal favorites. I like that one. Uh, from my side, we got like Penguin Soldier. Oh. Barbar was a recent one. Mm hmm. But how about Norden showing today? Wasn't that crazy? Yeah, he went nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he went absolutely berserk. Dude. Popping off, man. He. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was rough. I, I felt bad for Mr. Norden. I was, I was fucked up. I felt bad for Dante. I like how Alex in the Vanig is like. I'm going to go out on a limb and make maybe a, a crazy decision here, but I think I should ban Dante. And it's like, oh, yeah, man, that's nuts. That is, what a wacky decision. <laughs> Love her. She's so crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. Norden VPN. Thanks, chat. 
I can always count on you to make the absolute lowest hanging fruit joke. Hilarious. Um, <laughs> what what the fuck's going on with your uh, with your pack opening? By the way, um, there's no more ads on it. Oh, that's temporary. I, I can let me check my most recent. You got put the I'm ads. Pretty back sure there was ad ads on there, bro. I don't know if I maybe had a a, a breakthrough. I guess you could call it a lapse of judgment for that episode. <laughs> there should always be ads to look at. <laughs> no, there's okay. No, there's advertisements on the most recent one. I got a Squarespace ad. Oh, are you looking to make yeah. a website? Are you looking to build? I a already website? have a website, bro. I have a website. Optimal dot shop. Is that a Squarespace site? It is a Squarespace site. I actually don't mind Squarespace. It's a good website. And then also I have ads for um, taxes. What is this? HR Block, I think. So ooh, that's uh, the scariest ad I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't know about that one, buddy. Ooh, wow, the <laughs> best apparel. There's you and the ghost. God, you look so young. You must have taken this like two or three years ago, right? Probably. Wow. <laughs> we got Mago in the background there. Made with Squarespace. Yeah, there it is. We have uh, the optimal Twitter. If you oh, receive, that, I haven't uploaded anything to Twitter in a minute. If you receive optimal merch, share a pic and tag me. I want to see. Nobody. <laughs> go with me. Why are you exposing me right now? Bro? Come <laughs> on, man. I didn't. What, what are you talking about? You show the one tweet that was made half a century ago. Exposing me, bro crazy damn here here you are again 2023 what happened to this haircut are we gonna get the the gauge fade again hold on let me i don't even have your stream up let me check this out the phage i, thought, I mean okay so dude actually like ever since i've moved mm -hmm. i went and got my haircut at like a different place for the first time mm -hmm. like i all throughout my childhood and up until like i left pa i got my haircut from the same person all my life what? and so it was like i just kind of like trusted that they were able to do it best right so like now that i moved i had to find a new hairstylist finding new and barber very hard yeah it, I, well it was, i don't think it was hard i could find like places to go to but it was stressful because i was just nervous because like i i don't know man i think if you have a bad haircut like it can ruin your life your life for, like yeah. a month like, mm -hmm. like you, you, you just look bad, you feel bad, and I mm -hmm. did not want to go through that. So I, I talked to this this person. She, her name was Chris, and she was lovely. I was like, Chris, I, you got to understand, like, I need you to not fuck up my hair. <laughs> I was like, please, whatever you do, do not fuck it up. And she she did it up good. It looked good. That's so, nice. Like, um, I learned a lot from her, actually. Like, I learned that the, the old hairstylist I went to, he was giving me, like, the wrong hair product and stuff to use. Like, I always wondered... This product I was using, it never, like, would keep the hair up and stuff oh. like that. And uh, she was telling me, she's like, oh, yeah, that stuff's, like, too heavy. Like, it's not going to – it's just going to weigh it down after you wear it for an hour. And I was like, oh, well, I feel like an idiot now. So now I've changed a lot of my, like, product and stuff. And I think my hair is looking better. I, I feel better about it. So That's good. That's good. I'm always – have you – you've you've only had the two hairstylists. So um, yeah. you have not had the, the seminal – hairstyle experience which is you go to a barber they say you like it and you go yeah and you walk out of the barber shop and you walk into a second barber shop and you go you got to help me out they fucked me up real bad they, <laughs> so, they dude really okay so up. like i said i went to the same barber the entire time i got a haircut one time and i don't know what the hell happened it just did not look right i, I think i asked for something maybe a little different but mm -hmm. it looked bad like mm -hmm. exceptionally bad this time and I don't know. I don't ever want to cause confrontation, but yeah. my mother told me, she's like, you need to go back and say like, it doesn't look good. <laughs> hey, and I you... was like, well, what are they going to do? Mom, are they going to cut off more hair? Are they going to make it grow back? I was like, what's the point of arguing? Mm -hmm. So I like, I, she made me go back and like complain and I got a refund, but I never felt great about it afterwards. I was like, that's something. Well, you just got to like, you know, <laughs> you got to let it grow back. That's the only solution. Yeah. No, I, I think there are Oh, I, I remember when I was living in um when I was living in Queens, we were in like a really poor part of Queens. We were like the only like white people around and uh we just were having trouble. I was having trouble finding a barber who was like comfortable working on white people hair. And like mm -hmm. I went into like multiple barber shops and I was like, Hey, I I know this is a weird question. Are you comfortable cutting white people's hair? And a lot of a lot of them would be like 
yes and the the answer that they meant to say was no and then they'd like <laughs> cut it and they'd be like how is it i'm like it's great and then i'd have to go to like a fucking super cuts in like fucking manhattan i'd be like can you please just i it, it didn't work out what's the worst haircut you've ever had is there like the, a haircut you remember like getting that you're like i what the fuck is this? i remember there were some traumatic ones from oh fucking all through my childhood my dad cut my hair because we were poor as shit and he didn't want to pay and uh <laughs> he got pretty good at it but at the start he was not very good at it uh but um my first haircut in college was exactly that situation was we went to the only barber shop around and it was a, a black barber and they were like they were upfront about it they were like listen we appreciate your business i'm not great at cutting white people hair and i was like it's fine whatever i'll just i'll get it and it was not fine it, he gave me like this is gonna sound really racist he gave me like a black person haircut and i'm like a white guy racist. And it, I mean, it finished and i was like it finished and i was like i mean i look kind of cool but i look like i'm like uh, that i'm like trying to do like uh like <laughs> colonialism <laughs> i was like yeah he was like yeah man i i did what i could and i'm like i get it i appreciate that but everyone's gonna go back and be like why did you get that haircut? And I'm going to be like, ah, I'm sorry, man. I, <laughs> it was, it was rough. <laughs> I just wanted to be cool. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to say shit like that. No, <laughs> uh, no, that was, that yeah, was the I, worst one. College in particular. Yeah. I just, I waited to get haircuts when I would go home. I would mm -hmm. go like every yeah. several months when I would go home. That's when I would get my haircut. That's that, that would, that's what I would do. Haircuts are hard. They're so hard. And it's, oh, it's rough. And hairstylists, they have to be really upfront about like their own capabilities. Like you have to like prod them and be like, listen, like, this is what I want. Is this something you can do? And a lot of them are going to be like, no, I, I hate it. It's my, my literal least favorite thing to do. I don't think a lot of people will be upfront to you about that though. I think they'll, they'll be Yeah. Like, you kind of have to dig. You have to be like, okay, I understand. But like, really, I can do what I can. It might not come out good, but I need money. Right. Like yeah. I imagine it's like a saturated spot too, right? Like mm -hmm. I imagine there's a lot of people with that, the ability to cut hair, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, haircuts aside, how are you doing? Uh, all right, man. Uh, just hanging out trying to get some work done. Uh, I've been working on a video editing it myself. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm about to hit the live button here in like five minutes. So. Oh shit. How was, um, I know you did Hearthstone the other week. How'd that end up? Oh, great. Um, I, that's the video I'm almost done working on. And then tomorrow, dude, a new expansion comes out. And it's so exciting. It's a cool Oh, are you expansion. uploading the Hearthstone video onto your channel? Yes, yes. I think that's going to go live on my channel. It uh, should be live by tomorrow, I think. I want to try to get it out before the new expansion comes out. So oh, I shit. It's, it's going to go live. Maybe well, I'm thumbnail. super excited for that. That's fucking tight, dude. I'm stoked for it, man. I, I'm put, I put a lot of time into it, and uh, I, I'm proud of it, you know? I haven't sat behind the editing sticks in a minute. But uh, mm -hmm. it's been good. It's it's felt good. Does it, it does like it feel weird to get like back into the groove of it and be like, oh shit, like, or is it like riding a it bike? It does. I don't. It's kind of nice though. I, I find myself smiling when I get lost in it. Like mm -hmm. like, that a lot of times I'm just dreading it. But like when I like get into it for like an hour or two or something like that, and I I, I, I finally snap out of it. I'm like, oh shit, I just got a lot of stuff done. Like that mm -hmm. felt really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I. I really, I, I do miss editing a lot. It's like once every like month, something will fall through and I have to put it together. And I'm like, ah, oh, man. And the thing with me is I'm like, I could be saving so much money if I did these. And then I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, no, nope, you don't have time. <laughs> you're, oh, the, yeah. You're the like, people you money. hire are oh. so much better than you are. Like, I'm, yes. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's one of those things that i know like i'm capable of doing it but like mm -hmm. you always have to like consider there's somebody that maybe is just better for the job yeah of course somebody that like has become more efficient at it and stuff like that too like it just has like yeah, more I've, skill I've, for me i feel like i'm spending like hours and hours on this edit that i feel like somebody else could look at and be like oh i could have thrown that together in three hours like what are you doing <laughs> yeah. and I'll be, i'm trying my best <laughs> what are you doing my best that's that's all i can do <laughs> Uh, well, I look forward to the video. I, I hope it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. Um, Thanks. Can you guy. give us a uh, can you give us a preview of uh, next uh, next time on progression? On progression, uh, I I could if I we weren't so far ahead. We ended up filming yeah. like a couple episodes ahead just to get 
a couple in the bank. So I actually don't even remember what the next one is. Chat, in case you're wondering, like Alex is going to be gone for a significant amount of time. So like all of his series are like months ahead now. And so I just know we're going to hit a point where like we just don't record forever. And I'll be like, I don't remember anything. I'm like, I don't <laughs> fucking know where we are. How good are you at, at doubling up with him? I know, like, we're, we're always oh. trying to find times where he can, like, squeeze it into the schedule. So it's much easier it, It's much easier for history. We, When we were doing History and History of Jank, what we would do is we would double up every week, but on a different show. And the Jank ones, and History of OCG also has been easy. They're like, a recording for that takes, like, 40 minutes, like, front to back, with, like, maybe 30 discussing the decks and shit beforehand. Um, but history, and a lot of the reason that it's on a hiatus by the end of it was just a fucking disaster because like playing a best of three of like both of you playing a combo deck you like sort of know takes like two hours so we would start recording at like 10 30 11 a.m and we'd finish at like four we'd be like this was oh, man I, this was awful like and we'd always come out like frustrated or upset and it, oh it was terrible it was yeah it was not good yeah i imagine like I we just this week even what I got roasted for some plays for progression series and it's funny you can laugh those off but you can't be making like glaring mistakes with like these combo decks to give an accurate representation of history right exactly, so like, I totally yeah. get like you need to hire hold yourself at a higher standard damn four hours bro I don't think I've ever had a, a filming session with Alex that long that's crazy. well because it was like we do like um let me let me check what the last two that we did were. It, it sucks. It, the, it, was o it wasn't like this at the beginning, uh, but it was like once like 2016 happened, every deck is functionally like a go Legend off of combo the deck. And Dragon so it would just be like one person sits down and does like a 15 minute turn super slowly. And then the next person does. And then the next person does. Chaos. Imp this uh, IP Mask like one, 37 minute video. It's like 20 minutes total of games. And it's like, uh, Orcust versus um, the Sekka's Light BA combo deck, and both of those mm. took forever. This, and this yeah. last one I'll never forget because filming it was such a disaster. This Dragon Link one, it was Dragon Link versus Magician Souls Spiral. Holy, this like took ten years off my life doing, because the Dragon <laughs> Link one is not only Dragon Link, which is already an impossible combo deck to play. I don't know your feelings on the strategy, but. It's um. Well, this was like what is yeah. This is I was gonna say this is shoes. It's yeah. shoes list before anyone knew how to play the deck. So the yeah. combos yep. in this deck were never put on YouTube because by the time the deck list went up, the next release had come out and massively simplified and streamlined this these combos. The only things you can find from this era in terms of combo guides integrate Eep, uh, the World Chalice Justiciar in here, and he just didn't play it, and so like. We're, we're like trying to reverse engineer these like Anesta rocket lines and like we still don't know why Keeper of the fucking Dragons is in here like until recording <laughs> and holy he really was like on some 3008 shit but the problem is when someone is that innovative like what do you do in representing it how do you effectively communicate how ahead of his time he was yeah no she's crazy at the game man she's he's, he's unbelievable crazy. it's he's one of those players that like you just get a sense that, like, they are playing a different game than you. <laughs> like, sometimes you play against, like, you know who's like that is um, uh, Dinka Fam with, like, Pearly? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you play against a player and you're like, oh, they're playing the same game I am just to the maximum extent possible. And sometimes you play against someone who just, like, is playing a type of deck and a type of game that you're like, wow, in a thousand years, I don't think I would have figured this out understood how to wield it in the way they are and sometimes that's like really good and sometimes they've like made a terrible medical and it sucks shit but it's always like you are just you live in a different world than i do that is crazy i think it's even if you like they're playing the same deck though i think it's really easy sometimes to be able to tell that skill difference amongst players like, yeah i find myself playing against like like you said a good pearly opponent or something like that like if they make a play like everybody can make the same pearly combo like i can make the same pearly combo but when people mm -hmm. start like i think it's really the game is like past turn two and three at this point like when mm. the when nothing's like just concrete like you summon your guy and you make your full turn board when you got to like play through your opponent's like disruption and stuff like that i feel like that's the stuff that really makes me envious of pe people that are good at like evaluating situations like that i uh i talked about this earlier on stream but it was like i played against i don't know if you played any uh modern 
Like any just like normal? You, Not like, like recently. I've watched a little bit, but. So I've played against voiceless voice, like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 times. And mm-hmm. every time I'm like, oh, it's voiceless voice. Like here's, you know, here's the choke points. Here's the linear ass combo, whatever. And I went to locals this past weekend and I played this uh, voiceless voice player and they just played the deck in a way and I, that I was like, oh, like this is just a different deck. <laughs> like when someone who is competent is playing this, it's just a completely different strategy. And I was like, I didn't yeah. know these, this was capable of happening because the cards are so streamlined. And so I, after the duel, I was like, can we jam like three or four more? Like I, I just like, I'm not getting testing against people who know what they're doing. Like <laughs> It, it and when you encounter people like that, it's like I I have no idea how to get to that level. I feel like I was close to it with uh, with Rescue Ace, but like, I haven't felt that way about anything since. I think a lot of it is like expanding your texting circle. Like like yeah, I I I was really locked into like bad testing circles or people that like would play like they would one trick decks, and like you don't want to test against that person, right? Mm-hmm. Like especially if it's not even a meta deck. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I would find myself, those are my friends, right? And I would just play with those people. But like, if you want to get better, you gotta, you gotta admit like, okay, this person, they understand it maybe better than my best friend does. And although I like playing against my best friend, I got to learn from people that just understand the game better. Mm-hmm. And it's harder to find those people. It's harder to just like, you know, jam games with those people, unless you just randomly run into them online. It's really frustrating to be like, to be good at the game. You have to be able to find people who are playing every meta deck to a high level. And, like, usually mm-hmm. people specialize pretty early. Um, and so, like, you just have to find people who are willing to pick up every single deck and, like, hone their skills on it and then just throw away that skill honing. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. You yeah. just have to find other competitive people. I'm I'm having that problem for sure. I mean, I know you see me hopping in every single one of the testing discords I've created and being like, is anyone living here? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, but you mentioned it. Like, you got to be good at everything, right? You got to be a jack of all trades. And, like, me, I'm like, I always find one or two decks in the format. Like, I'm just not fucking reading that. Like, someone's Mm -hmm. gonna always have to tell me what it does until until it it's no longer good. Someone's always gonna have to explain to me what this deck does. And uh, to be better, you you can't say that. Mm. (laughs) And a lot of people just aren't willing to accept that. I'm one of those people at the moment, at least. But Mm. find me in a format where I like everything about it, and I'll I'll crush it. I'll crush it. Uh, gotta be Edison, right? Absolutely, bro. I feel like I'm pretty up to up to date on it, right? I, mm-hmm. I like that that one, like you said, uh, another thing that you mentioned uh, briefly was, like, they got to be willing to let go of that information, too, because it doesn't last. Like, mm-hmm. give it another, like, four months or something, and maybe Voiceless Voice just isn't even playable anymore, right? Something else mm-hmm. replaces it completely. I mean, it, it, as, as an example, like, we had, like, Rescue that eight. week and a half of uh, Raid Raptor. Like, Jesse Cotton was, like, Raid Raptor's, like, the third best deck. It's, like, on all these lists. And then, like, no one plays it. <laughs> and it just yeah. didn't do well. Yeah. All right, bro. I got I to gotta hit this go yeah, live. Yeah, yeah, you do what you got to do. I'm, I'm not going to do it if I keep chapping. Like, yeah, yeah. You, so. Get back to work. <laughs> all right, buddy. I'll, yeah, thanks, buddy. I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> Bye. See ya. What a nice young man. Let's do memes. Love the deck building this episode. Yep, that's, yeah, that's uh, starring the king, the king! Starring, I also fixed prog format. <laughs> True. Uh, I don't care about this bait tweet you made, CJ. <laughs> the band ticket. I knew it was the band ticket's fault. Whenever they did anything that Duke thought wrong, he would say, That would never suit his grace. <laughs> that would never suit his grace. Gauge throwing.mp4. The search for the saddest punt in the world. <laughs> Not a meme, but a couple of weeks ago, you talked about making eggs. It inspired me to learn how to use and get comfortable with the stove and oven. Now I can use them, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Eggs are good. Gage, I am speaking directly into your mind. Consider playing this polite little reptile to revive Photon Thrasher and access level 8 Synchro Monsters. 
It's really cool how we need to just keep doing this. I love how we just need to keep doing this. My favorite part, though, my favorite part, right, is that we just need to keep doing this, man, over and over, that just over and over. It's awesome. It's just awesome, man. It's just... Simo playing around Gage's back row. Gage playing around Simo's back row. Gage, don't pull two red wyvern. Don't remind MBT of this duel. I'm going to shit. Remember me, Joseph. Yep, the classic. Uh, pretend I put more effort into this. I only thought of the joke and got fed up with the image editor on my phone. The world was going down the tubes. They needed a scapegoat. They found Wayne. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, didn't know you were in the set. This Goyo predator looking a little weird, but I can't put my finger on it. The predator baby. This would go crazy in Farfus chat. Prague episode 628 looks cool. Gage's deck looks wacky. I'm bringing this to a regional this weekend. Don't fall for it. Wait, what the fuck? My LGS literally has this set in stock. High speed riders. The king! <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a bet. <laughs> I'm going to say the word. Gage versus the tunnel. Evan, run into the tunnel. The classic. The king, the king! I can't believe this. This is so good. Is this... <laughs> Who is this me? Is this me hawking the King of the Feralimps Furby gold chain from Uncut Gems? It's the Uncut Gremjack. <laughs> this is unreal. They don't know I plan to ban Dante. Of course we know. It's the most obvious ban ever. There was a meme about it last week. Simo after banning Dante, Elder Entity Norden. I'm going to blow myself up. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I would like to attack Simo for game. <laughs> Heroic Challenger, Thousand Blades. Kip! You can't say that. King Syndrome. Instead of Brain, there is King of Feralimps. My butt is so noisy. Change the world. My final message. Goodbye. This kid is going places. Not college, but places. Clown to clown communication. Yep, that's a good one. You are not a clown. You are the entire service. We are literally playing the same deck. Oh, Sonic. You will never escape the ice chamber. That's not what you think, Dr. Eggman. I don't... What the fuck? <laughs> Why would Simo do this? Die, you commie fucker! Don't kill my dad! <laughs> if you want 5% yep. off any singles God. or sealed product, click the affiliate Simo. We haven't gotten a good 5% recently. First time? Huh? <laughs> uh... Yeah, Synchro Cracker and all that, but did you know Cerveza Crystal Star Wars campaign was one of five grand prize winners at the 2004 Cannes Lions, only to be sued by Lucasfilm a mere month later because the award show raised its profile outside of Chile. I did not know that. Perform Age Trapeze Magician. Who cares? They both won't read this. Not a meme. Just hope you and everyone have a good day. Thank you. Yup. That, <laughs> that's, the, that's the episode, baby. Uh... Gage saying he'll win the entirety of game one felt like this. Nah, I'd win. Spoiler alert, he doesn't win. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't get Gamma Trish, Tear Top 3, Etelli, and I currently have 11 Redoer tokens. I'm going to add the deck to the collection. Another rank mirror. All right, ready? You know what? Let's let's get a let's get a let's um, a prediction going. 30 seconds on this. Will we get the Scarlon tweet? We got, like, four shots at it. This first one is Jessica. We got three more shots on it. Oh, it's pretty close. All right, 50-50. Holy shit. Oh, wait, no. 55 45 for yes. Here we go. Ready? Yu Gi Oh moments. Play as Chamber Dragon Mate. Which one of you motherfuckers is trying to search tiding right now? This was so iconic. Abyss. All right, one more shot. Here we go. Vlad! No! Bum, 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 bum. How do they find this clip? <laughs> oh. I have been silenced by the woke mob. Once again, Scarlet, I bought your shitty merch. When is it getting here? 
I want I want the I want the merch. I bought some stickers and I bought a shirt. I got sixty two thousand. Oh my god. What the fuck? What's wrong with you? I I will just give everyone a heads up. I buy every Yu-Gi-Oh streamer's terrible Streamlabs merch. I I think that they're I love them a lot. I I buy when um when anyone hawks their merch, I buy it. I bought all that Dark Tome t-shirts. I love that t-shirt. It's got a stain on it now though that isn't coming out in the wash, so I haven't worn it in a while. Oh. Did you get Farfa's Joel shirt? I have the hat. Do you get a DBG sidebar hoodie? Okay. I'm waiting on the DBG merch. And that's because the DBG merch is not good. <laughs> it's uh it's not it, it will get better. It will get better. Wait, if I make the shittiest merch, you're gonna you're gonna buy it. MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! Progressi. <laughs> you're walking a thin fucking line in terms of copyright theft. But if you put my face on something and sell it. We are, you're going to, you're going to feel the full wrath of the United States government. I'll tell you that right now. Holy shit. Ugh. All right. Uh. Ugh. Let's, uh, let's watch. Okay. So the thing I want to watch is the, um, the speed duel new cards. I kind of, I, I don't really know. I want to watch the speed duel new cards. Should I do it today or tomorrow? What do you think? That was wrong. Oh, tell me we're not in just chatting still. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, these fucking mods. <laughs> Everyone is going to be like... Ugh. Tomorrow? Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. Which means, uh, what do we want to do uh, today? We got about 20 minutes. Um, do you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh? I mean, we haven't played any... Any master duel in a while play that stun deck what was this what was the stun deck stun two all right we'll play a little stun two i know you all want to see stun two all right you're gonna hate this one i'm so excited Everyone's saying Bellatro. I was going to play Isaac tonight. We could play Bellatro, but people just don't stick around for Bellatro. I don't know. Bellatro, I don't really know how to describe this. Bellatro doesn't feel like a game you stream on Twitch. It feels like a game you watch a VOD of someone streaming on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? All right. I've sat on this one for a long time, chat. But I'm, I'm happy to say that I will be grinding Duelist Cup with the greatest deck of all time. We're already at stage 10 because uh, we started there. Um, we'll be playing Stun 2. Now, for those of you that watched my uh, collaboration stream with Nova Aokami, God, I hope I said that right, you know that I spent over $1,900 on this deck. And it's easy to see why. It's full of URs. So the concept is... There's not a lot of floodgates available in Master Duel right now, and they are all limited. Uh, but Pharaonic Advent says you contribute a monster to special this from your hand, and you contribute a fairy, fiend, or reptile to add a continuous trap from your deck to your hand. Uh, so you can get this out by tributing a monster you've summoned off of a runic spell, and then a second runic spell can be converted into a floodgate, winning you the game immediately and drawing you two cards because the first one is going to be Hugin. Uh, we have cards like Arima, the Wicked Warden, in here. Um, I, I, I think that this is pretty good. Uh, 
we we did not win against Nova Aokami, and the reason is because she was playing a cheater's deck, and we opened three evenly match also. What do you do versus a singular imperm? What are you talking about? So I can't really take credit for this deck. This deck was an invention of, uh, I don't know, the, how would I describe this? The Luke Von Karma people, the little freaks in Luke Von Karma's chat. It was like Chloe and Saws and Jaxel and I Wish I Was Dead and Walt and all those fucking weirdos. This hand is so good. Oh my God. This hand's unbelievable. This hand is like literally like nine draws. All right, we lead to spelling. I actually think I'm pitching the skill drain. I know it sounds weird, but I, I think it doesn't do anything in this hand. I just want to keep drawing. I need this to resolve. I'm lying. I said I needed it to resolve so that I could trick my opponent into stopping me. Why not pitch the runic spell you won't use? Exactly for this reason. I'm so glad you asked. Literally exactly for this reason. So that after this monster is negated, I can activate runic tip, get the field spell, and then shifting storm to trigger the runic field spell. That beautiful royal rare fountain. Ooh, wind witch, interesting. All right, let's normal summon a Rima and clear out our extra monster zone. Oh! Not bad, buddy. Not bad, buddy. If we live here, we'll be fine. I just don't know if we're going to live here. Um, okay. What is the inherited effect of this guy? Cannot be destroyed by battle. That's okay. I don't ever intend to. And back to the extra you go. Wait, so what's the point of Arima in this deck? To do that line, but with Freaky? Oh, God, they're setting two. That's so rough. I'm going to just try and end phase snipe one. Uh. It was the bluff. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's pretty big, actually. Duality. So we can duality from a fusion monster into a comparable fusion monster. Uh, so w what can we do with it? Make Fabled Unicorn? Well, we're not playing that card. Uh, we can get into Alvain.
Oh, damn. We're kind of popping off. Uh, hmm. How do we want to do this? We can tip for destruction. Hold slumber to pop off on our opponent's turn. <laughs> we got avarice there. You got something chainable here, buddy? Called by the grave. Target Arima, the Wicked Warden. That's actually so fucking annoying. Uh, because it prevents us from resolving the second half of duality. That's like really annoying. Holy. That's fine. We got a lot of good shit there. What the hell was that? Tries Magistus? There's Magistus cards in here! Alright, I'm just chilling here. So, theoretically there, we could have, uh... Dualityed into Allvane. And then slumbered for, like, a... Like a five? Or for a four? Gone into, uh, Triedge drawn cards. In fact, we should have. But I'm just, like, so greedy. I just want to, like, resolve Slumber on their turn before I do that. I feel like I already have all the tools I need. It's so hard trying to describe this deck because it just plays so fundamentally differently than any other deck I've ever played. Uh, we want the Hugin again, I think. We're potentially putting ourselves uh, dead to like an end phase MST that they held because they're epic. Um, what do we want? Two, yeah. Hugin here. Uh, we fountain for three. Oh, did we draw an Ash Blossom? That would be a real problem for us. Okay. Perfect. Uh, and then we want a duality here. Get this card out of here. Summon an Alvane. Not in the EMZ. Okay. <clears throat> now on our turn, we're going to be able to activate a runic spell to summon a... Oh, perfect. A four. Uh, Dispelling is probably the least powerful. That was wrong. For those of you saying Synchro Zone fucking sucks, uh, it does. Um, the thing is... <laughs> I think I actually am gonna just do this for one. Um... Even if it cuts our opponent down to one attack per turn, that's fine. Because each runic converts into a Hugin. Which means that they never get through. That's perfect. Uh, let's go try Edge Master and draw a card here. Okay, let's go monster effect, right. Let's go freezing curses. Triage Master is a light, so we're going to use Veiler targeting Triage Master. That's okay. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Got to write Geki out of them. Uh, we could theoretically go... Let's duality here to draw a card. And then we can theoretically go like... Oh, we have to put back the Alvane, even though I really want to put back the Gary. We have another Gary, right? We do. 
Uh, let's put back the Elven. We can go Gary into Chaos Angel, and it'll resolve. Oh, Golden Droplets is perfect. That's, like, really good. God, this deck has so many teeth to it. But MBT, the tuner. Oh, shit. I completely forgot. Oh, fuck. Wait. The game's bugged? Can someone explain? Game bugged? No tuner? Making a synchro? Game bug? Chaos Angel. Get this fucking guy out of here. Like 19 different reasons why this is not going to work. Alright, let's set the Synchro Zone and we'll go battle to refresh the battle. Even though we are definitely going to runic our opponent out of this game. Like, our win condition is definitely just burning them. Synchro Zone is so cool. Runic Stun never left. It just got a BBL. Oh, well, if they're not going to do anything, I will just refuse to draw to in the hopes of winning this game a little faster. Offy, you are so mean. All right, get in there. Uh, maybe I should normal maxi. It speeds up the clock, right? We can go a runic to summon a guy. Neither player takes battle damage. Okay, and the rest of them have zero attack. We can't convert to anything. Oh, we can convert to Alvane, but also has no attack. Feather. Fine. God, this is just so annoying. This is far and away the most annoying part of Runic. I can't believe people are okay with this. Personally, I think it's monstrous. All right, we're back on the deck I'm playing. Oh my god, there he is! Oh, we're about to go plus 15. <laughs> Hold up. Oh my god. Okay, watch this. We're going to end on every single floodgate. So we lead tip. We're just going to get some random fucking card. Uh, let's go for golden droplets. We got win off that. Golden droplets summon. We put Alvane back, right? We did. We summon Hugin. <laughs> 15 in deck. Oh, pretty good. Duality. I like the bit where the opponent is playing it out. Yeah, me too. They must, they're they like, oh, damn, this is really good for content. I can't be too mad about it. All right, here we go. 
Normal Arima. <laughs> Draw a card. <laughs> So we could theoretically add Pharaonic Advent here, uh, but I already have two, so I'm just going to draw a card. Oh, that's a perfect draw. Uh, now we're going to go Pharaonic Advent, Tribute Arima. Summon my boy. Uh, Smiting Storm. What does he need? A fairy, fiend, or reptile? Well, this is a fairy. Advent. <laughs> Grab. <laughs> Grab rivalry. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> rivalry. Teak Boo Synchro Zone. Oh, that's so annoying. Can we get another one? Uh, we want to put back Hugin for sure and Allvane for sure. Oh, that's so good. Fuck. <laughs> All right, battle. Keep going. Keep going. I want to see how far you could go. <laughs> oh, my. Your opponent is legally allowed to hunt you like an animal after this game. Why no battle? Good question. You know... Okay, we're done. Is what I would say if I was a lesser man. <laughs> uh, instead, what we're going to do is go a little further... <laughs> what do we say? Fairy, fiend, or reptile? Get another immune in here. End them already? I can't. I can't end them. I don't I don't have a battle phase. I'd like to end them, but I can't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming together. Ah, summon limit. That's a that'll go very well. Mm, let's set that, and let's uh let's go to battle, and let's go to end phase. Uh, we will discard one, and I think this duality does better in the graveyard as like a way to draw a card. This is such an evil fucking deck. <laughs> Holy shit. Please just give me one more turn. I'm begging you. Lightning Storm! Oh, fuck. You could still get out of it. You could still get out of it. Keep trying. You could still get out of it. You'll have to try harder than that. Oh, holy... <laughs> I love that she has an animation every time you just get to see her do it. Yep. Okay. See you later. <laughs> we'll draw a card too. Why not? <gasps> there it is. The last piece of the puzzle. Okay, did we get the other lightning storm? We didn't. Okay, uh have to go flashing fire, summon. That was wrong. Uh let's go tip. 
we'll grab just anything. I think Slumber is probably the pick here. Or uh, Smiting Storm, we'll do that. Hmm. Slumber. There it is, got the other Lightning Storm. Perfect. Okay, now we can't lose. And now, let's see if we can't uh, find something funny here. I think we had this in the bag at turn five. I think you're right, but I also think it's really funny to play out. That was wrong. And now. <laughs> It is time in the draw phase. <laughs> I activate. <laughs> oh my god. This is so evil. Summon limit. Rivalry of warlords. Synchro zone. <laughs> <laughs> there can be only one goes and match and we'll top it all off with a max C <laughs> oh. oh my god we'll keep you know what let's keep the light <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> How do you win now? Uh they have eight cards in deck. Might want to go to battle phase? Why? We're not ever going to go. We're not ever going to battle. Why not? Oh, we even have our battle phase. Come on. <laughs> scary master duel posts. Here, I'll, I'll help you out, scary master duel. Whoop. There you go. Now you can see the extent of it. Monster reborn. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Hold up, that's like a big fucking problem. Wait. That's like a huge issue. Hold up. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh no. Please banish one of the back row. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh We're actually going to lose. No! Come on! Okay, we can still win. We can still win. We need to draw... Arima... Are we need to draw Arima... Maxi... Oh, fuck. We are so close. Oh, no, not like this. <laughs> no. Oh, no. We never should have done a fucking synchro summon. <sighs> Hold up. No. All oh, my apes gone. Oh, I can't. 
can't believe it. Four cards in deck. If he just frees up one zone, we can just fucking kill him into the sun with the with the apples. There's nothing we can do. We we have to draw the third maxi here. That's the only draw that even lives us a turn. But it doesn't matter because we can't do anything. Come on. You know, I, I gotta say, maybe there is justice in this world. Maybe, per perhaps, the arc of Master Duel does bend toward justice. I, I cannot believe we have lost this game. I'm gonna cry, man. Oh. And all we had to do there was not set one of the back row. If we had just called it at four floodgates, we there is a zero percent chance we could have lost. But I but I I flew too close to the sun. That was that was not that was evil. Oh, okay, I got one or two more in me. <laughs> uh, I will be honest, I did that because I could. This time I'll just try to win. You know, it's as simple as that. Instead of losing, I'll just win. Oh boy, this is actually not very strong. Yikes. Uh, so we can go, We, I mean, we need the runic. That was wrong. Thanks, Dragonite, I appreciate it. Uh, we can pitch the duality, then go Arima into Alvain into Triage Master and maybe make our way out of this. <clears throat> we get two draws here, so two attempts to find a, uh, a runic spell. Awesome. This isn't a tuner, is it? No. We still go into uh, the that necessary material for Chaos Angel. Uh, is there a way we can chain block it? There isn't. We just have to fucking die to Ash Blossom here. It's kind of rough. Yikes. <clears throat> Do we still make Chaos Angel? Probably. Forty-three card deck. We're gonna lose two. How could this happen? If we live this turn, I think we're massively favored. But that's like a huge if. Oh, okay. Well, uh, ideally Nibiru will go pretty hard here. They're playing a good deck.
Durandal. Oh. Hold. Stake your soul. Reveal the Abel Star for Mad Love? I guess so. I mean, it's interesting, if nothing else. going with this Xiaolong special Xiaolong this is three we're not going to be able to keep him off of the trap card or will we yeah we are we are kind of kind of cook him with nib this duality is going to have to go insanely hard as ever back the raisin. What, do they already have the trap card? If they're just going four here, that's also fine. They just don't clear Chaos Angel. <clears throat> I made it to DL20 and didn't see a single Vanquish Soul. I think Vanquish Soul is a really good deck. I think it's good in the TCG too. I think it and flu are like the two candidates for like the duh shifter deck. They pass here. They're if they're looking up my uh, yeah <laughs> nice <laughs> interesting. So we have a couple of shots to get a runic spell. There's one. I don't know, I'm not too beat up about this because this board doesn't really do anything. I imagine we're supposed to get a dark monster here, but I'm going to get a light because of some shenanigans I'm about to do. It's very kind of them to put uh, Xiao Long in the space that Raisin is supposed to occupy. Let's draw some cards, huh? Oh, come on. I know that's Borgar you're thinking about. I know it's not Ash. Yeah. Be reasonable. Oh, they're going to move Borgar. There's like a scenario where they have like access to Caesar Valius and their problem is like they need to clear this zone for the Raisin to pressure the Hugin before they can use the Caesar to pressure the Runic Fountain, but we're going to get to draw, so too late. Oh, excellent stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, now how do we want to do this? Dark draw card. Revealing Diabell Star. You gotta cut evenly. Ah, yeah, evenly has been really bad. Hmm. Let's try and duality. We need to find a floodgate. The problem here is we're gonna die to Borgar Burn if we don't do anything. We have the Arima summon. We can like get greedy and go for another one. If we find the third duality, we can convert the Arima. We could even just normal the Arima to draw a card. Uh, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna maxi this. I should have maxied at the uh. That was wrong. At the Borgar activation, but this is gonna mean that yeah, they do have Caesar Valius, yeah, as expected. So now they're in a weird position. 
It's probably worth tipping for... Oh, you know what, actually? I might tip for, um... For the negation. Uh, but I might use it to summon. If they go for, like, the Caesar Valley's pop super early and we can clear the zone for the Hugin, then we can Freezing Curses... The, er, yeah, we can Freezing Curses for Gary to cycle back the Runic Fountain. That, like, could theoretically happen. Yeah. They're setting up the line here. We did draw the third duality. So they go raise in here to special a to add a vanquished soul. That's fine. Then they're gonna go raise in to pop the cards in column. Then they're gonna go Caesar to pop the fountain. We can go freezing chains to draw. Yeah, holy shit. We can actually go pretty far here. Goes and matches also insanely strong against this deck, but doesn't really contest the Oh, this is weird. They're not going to do this. Do we have a third Hugin? We do. We have a second and third Hugin. So let's go duality here. Send the Hugin. Go get all veins. This is a perfect opportunity to fire the Caesar, which we'll respond to with the freezing curses. Or we'll let it resolve, then freezing curses for Gary. Is that right? I don't think so, because we don't have a way to draw off the second activation of the Runic Fountain. Hmm. <laughs> this is a thinker. So if we don't stop the fountain, pop, then we get it back with Gary. Block it and draw. We already drew off this this turn, didn't we? If we didn't, then it's an easy, an easy negate. Do you have a way to draw into a runic? We have one, the Arima. All vein here. Yeah, we already drew. So we can go Arima, tribute the all vein. This is so crusty. Go try edge again, draw an additional card. Uh, or we could just go Coral Dragon, Pop Caesar. Like Coral, pitch evenly matched, Pop Caesar. Set goes and match, which walls the deck. That might be good enough, huh? If we're doing that, let's use Arima to draw a card, and we'll do that by getting rid of the Chaos Angel. So we tribute the Chaos Angel here, and we grab Pharaonic Advent. This is going to look really weird, but you all have to, like, just roll with me on this. Mm. This gives us, I think, the highest chance to get out of it. So we go Coral. God, they are really thinking here. Coral effect, target the Caesar Valius. They maybe tag out, but that draws us a card off the Maxi. Either way, just having the Caesar off field is, like, super important. Then we go Advent, Tribute the Coral. Coral, draw a card. If we draw a Runic spell here, we win. If we don't, we're still okay. That's fucking insane. Holy shit. <laughs> we're big chilling. Battle phase? We ain't ever getting to no battle phase.
This is a little crusty because it locks us out of a meaningful Pharaonic Advent. We don't have anything interesting to tribute off it. We can only go Gary off the uh, Runic Fountain, but drawing three cards here is insane. Like, we don't necessarily need to resolve the Pharaonic Advent to win the game from this position. Picking Dark here because they could Burgerborn us out of the game. Oh, God, that Burgerborn is really going to fuck us up. Uh-huh. We have to, like, get the Borgar over the course of a number of turns. He has Mad Love. Yeah, he has, he has um, Mad Love Burger. That was weird. Why did they do that? Oh, this is kind of cool. They're going to try and, um, like, Dia Bell Star their way out of this. I don't know what the Dia Bell Star line is here. Because by choosing, by choosing Dark instead of Fire. They don't have a really easy way to get rid of the Gozen match. Oh my. Well, that's fantastic news for us. Thank God they're not playing the trap. The trap would be a real problem. Mm-hmm. Try and draw a card here. Take your soul. So it's got to be a dark here. They can burger us for a little bit. They're 100% going to time out. Oh, not at all. I believe that they still have time. They go mad love here. Grab the, uh, the book of moon. Now we're in a really bad position. They can go... Ooh, they can even still do the trap, so that's an additional 15. Why do that? Yeah, they're, they're starting to go for the burn. And we don't have a really elegant way to get rid of this guy. I imagine they're playing two. Like, we can get, a, we can get rid of one. Really sucks that we didn't move through the battle phase last turn. That would really help. They're not even trying to that go to combat. Wrong. They're like, this is fake. Whoa. We would need them to really fuck up for that to matter. Freezing curses helps here. Well, uh, it would help if... We were in a position that it would matter. We have a duality to activate. Oh, cool. We get one more try at this. Are they sniping? Uh, they played a little weird turn one around Nibiru, but they could have just been playing around Nibiru. Like, you're allowed to be good at Yu-Gi-Oh. <sighs> too late. Too late. Mm. No, it doesn't come up. I'm going to keep the zone live. Yeah, so they get to do three for free here, and then we just have to, like, hope that's their only Borgar, which I think is... I think we're just dead to activating the trap, right? Damn, they played this real nice. Played this real nice.
Yeah, we would have had to have drawn a... Uh... Ooh. Uh, we'll do this now. Like, give them an opportunity to fuck up the pick. But... We have to literally draw Freezing Curses off the top of the deck or we die right now. That doesn't do it. Is the trap main phase only? Summon Munin? Well, Munin doesn't immediately gain us life, so... Um... Yeah. Damn, that was really good. I'm shocked. If we had gone to our battle phase, we might have been able to do it. That was like an actual skill issue. All right, I'm trying it one more time. <clears throat> I have to get at least one like mad salty scoop. GG streamer, promise I didn't snipe you. Oh shit, they're here. This hand is not that was wrong. Not, not ideal. Uh, oh, shit. We're going to try and draw a card. We, we can't be playing evenly in this deck, white boy. This has to be something else. There's just not enough runic spells. Oh, come on. We're playing all the runic spells we can. Uh, we can normal maxi and go into nothing, obviously. All vein pass, what's the problem? I don't see the issue. <laughs> you got it. Absolutely right, sir. <laughs> Come on. Lord in heaven above, do not let me lose to this deck. I <laughs> please. <laughs> Come on. We get an extra draw here. We get an extra draw. Set a spell trap. Fuck. You couldn't summon? Oh, we're gonna fucking die to Chaos Vex. I can't believe it. No! Shot in hell, dude.
I mean, the Maxis should be really good. We're just playing against an animal. Bingo machine, bro. Yep. Yeah, you can have blue eyes. Stop saying Chaos Max. He's not playing it. Oh, what? That's not Chaos Max. Who the fuck is that? What? Oh shit, this is really lucky. Whew. Well, goes and match not going to do too much against this deck. Set one, you got it, baby. We got some time, we got some time. Oh, golden droplet. Okay, well, it's not perfect, but it maybe gets us out of this. We have to do this one to get the duality out of our hand. Please draw me a card. That is the same card. It's the literal exact same card. Why would you do this to me? Any other runic spell? <laughs> Come on. Uh, Alvane again. Okay. Normal maxi go into a four. We should be playing a four. Forgot to shuffle. True! So, but like, you understand, chat, in a perfect world, this maxi would be putting in work because I'd be playing against an opponent who would allow me to draw a card off of it. What attribute is Chaos Max? Uh, it is dark, actually, I believe. Uh, I'll maxi here. I know they're going to try and send it to a Link Rebo. What the fuck? What, what are we doing here? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Please draw me out of this fucking mess. They're going to tribute summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. You are right. That is exactly what's going to happen here. Uh, okay, so we go... We actually go Coral here, don't we? Coral into... Baron de Fleur. Big Chungus is pretty good too. Please just give me a, a good fucking card off this. I'm begging you. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Thank you. It's exactly what I wanted. Is it Baron? I Chengus seems so good. Let's go, Chaos Angel. But Changing is so good. How do we trigger Changing? We banish duality here? That's insane. Big, big. Chungus, big Chungus, big Chungus. Oh, finally, a second runic spell.
Uh, is this any of these cards have a graveyard effect? This one maybe. All right, looking good, looking sharp. All right, back to you. Oh. <sighs> See, and you all were concerned. I promise I'm not losing to the fucking Blue Eyes player. <laughs> you sure? I'm not really. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not. I'm not super sure. Oh my god. Double true like ultimate fusion. You can have ultimate fusion. Set one. Switch to defense. All right, we'll go. Freezing curses. Uh, Changing. This and why not this card? And then Smiting Storm for one. I can't believe we did it. Quaking. We were going to lose to Quaking. Hello. I was going to want more of it. Okay. I love you too. What are we doing? Uh, we just win the game here. Um, yeah. A stash of forks? No, I don't. Why? Are we missing a lot of forks? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Um, no, I don't have a stash of forks. No, I really don't, Chad. I know you expect me to be like, now I'll reveal that I have all these forks, but I really don't. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, we are we are getting there. We are getting there. Uh, is that one engrave? We'll use this to summon, and then we'll runic slumber our card. We're, we're just going to draw a million cards. <sighs> Stop saying Chaos Max, he's not playing it. I'm surprised they haven't surrendered. It's DL Cup. You get penalized if you surrender. So it's the perfect place to do shenanigans like this. Come on, man. Let's go, baby. Uh, we need any runic name here. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Fairy fiend or reptile? Yeah, we'll we'll use him. Let's get Teak Boo here. I think they can't beat Teak Boo. Good luck. <laughs> uh, 
No, no, we're far beyond that. <laughs> uh, this is lethal, right? Um, 76 plus the maxi. All right. I'm going to show you the, uh, the sexy lethal here. We go to battle. We tip. Just the tip. We'll grab probably uh, Destruction. Uh, card got banished, so we get to activate Chungus here. That's one, two, uh, 56, five, and Pharaonic Advent. Get him out of here. Whew. It took us finding a literal coughing baby, but we're finally racking up the W's for stun two. Okay, I think we can all agree there is a change we need to make. <clears throat> uh, how many more runic spells can we play? One more of those. One more of these. And now we are literally maxed out on runic spells. <laughs> we could not we could not be playing more runic spells. Oh my god. Uh I feel like we're missing some stuff in the extra deck too. I feel like we don't need Munin. I have not gone into this guy once. I, I understand how you go into him. Um I feel like we need like a four. Like, uh, an extra deck guy that's a four. Like, I feel like we need... Duality summons a guy from the extra. Same original level. Type and level. So, a, a four light beast. Arc light. Ooh, Unicor? Is Unicor a light beast? Holy! Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, we need one more, uh, one more card here. We could take out Nibiru. I could. I've seen Nibiru do zero work whatsoever. <clears throat> I think the summon limit is actually pretty bad. I think like we want the the floodgates to be game winners, and I think summon limit is only good going first. No, I think Prosp is bad. I think. Ugh, I don't know. I think it might be Imperm. Prison? Could be Upstart. Grave of the Super Ancient Organism? Nah. Run Called By? Yeah, that's probably actually the play. Like, we keep getting cooked to uh, Ash Blossom. God, this looks damn good. Go forth and do nasty things to your opponents. All right. Thank you all for sticking around. I really appreciate that. Again, we lost 500 people playing Yu-Gi-Oh. That's just the way it is. I had a lot of fun doing those three or four games. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to... I'm definitely not going to do a, a DL Cup push. I'm going to get to DL Max on my own time, I think. But uh, we were not going to be doing a push this uh, this time. I just didn't have fun doing it last time. It was a real fucking hassle. Um, We are going to play... You know, it's been a while. We're going to play a little bit of Binding of Isaac tonight. So for those of you uh, that liked the Yu-Gi-Oh! portion of the stream, first off, I really appreciate you being here. No pressure whatsoever to stay. A little pressure whatsoever, though, uh, to follow the channel. Uh, really helps out uh, growth. Doesn't cost anything. We're trying to get to 100,000 followers by the end of the year. We are not on pace. We are not remotely on pace. We've got like 77 follows right now. And, uh, and his mother. I think what we have to get what? A small house on a hill. 3,000 a month from here on out? No, like 2,500 a month, and we're not. That's just the way it is. Um, 
But on yeah, Mondays and Wednesdays, fun. we like to do a little bit of variety. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Melfi Raider, uh, for the sub. Until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice um, from above. We like to cool down on um, on Monday, Wednesday with a little Isaac. Or a little variety. It's been Bellatro, it's been Isaac, it's been Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. We've been doing a lot of stuff. Um, I do want to say real quick, I know this. the overlay sucks fucking balls specifically for Isaac. Um, I think we will have the new overlay by Wednesday. I'm sorry it's been like such a long time coming, but I'm getting like a... I'm get, we'll do one of Greedler and we'll hope that it works. Um, I'm getting one, uh, done and made and it's like custom and not out of the box, which means that like, I have to be a fucking asshole about like, oh, hey, I need this done for sure. Bro has been saying this for weeks. I know, I know, my bad. Stuff moves so much slower than I would like it to. Unfortunately, as sort of, ooh, your passion becomes a business, uh, it becomes clear that, like, you are going to have to rely on other people's ability to help. And a lot of these other people are helping a lot of other people. Like, the organization I'm working with, they work one-on-one -on -one with me, which is amazing, but they work one-on-one -on -one with, like, 40 other streamers. So their time is pretty divided. And that's true of, like, a lot of people in the business. You really can't... You can't have a live-in servant if you're... If you've got, you know, a 150 sub channel. Are you changing the chat as part of the overlay? Yes. Number one thing people hate is the little chat effect, but I kind of like it. But of course, uh, it's not about me. Lucky Penny, let's go. So, um, I'm playing a little Binding of Isaac. If you're unfamiliar, this is a roguelike. That means it's like rogue. Love this game with all my heart. I've been playing it since Flash. Oh, wonderful memories with Danny, of all people, slacking off in our Philosophy 101 class, uh, playing Flash. Isaac, and still getting to play it today. Why stream look horrible? I like the flicker. I just don't like the color weirdness. Yeah, this, I will say the, the org I got this from is called Nerd or Die. And I think they are one of the best kept secrets for new streamers. I think that they deliver like really professional looking overlays and uh, complete packages for like an unbelievable price like you can you can get something sick for like 10 total dollars um that said hello wow um that's incredible <clears throat> that said, uh, uh, their stuff is really rudimentary as a result. And, uh, so this one, for instance, I was like, I want to customize the color on this. And they were like, you can do that by using a hue, like a hue changer. And I was like, I'll do that, but it's going to make the chat look weird too. Nerd or die is the name of the org. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, it's crazy that there are so many organizations that purport to help streamers and so few that actually offer tools that do. I don't know. I <clears throat> Isaac is also great for me because it's an opportunity to just wax poetic about stuff. I just love fucking talking about things. You all know this, chat. Oh my god, Mutant Spider Brim, if you insist. But one of the things that irritates me is that um, there is an entire, I don't need that, ecosystem, oh my god, that was annoying, of like, oh, okay, orgs that don't necessarily help streamers, but they help people who think they want to stream, if that makes sense. Like, there's a world of difference between people who are streaming and people who fancy themselves a potential streamer, you know what I mean? And... The latter group is a lot more willing to drop money on shit they don't need than the former group is. And so there's really not as much money in, like, assisting, like, actual streamers. You know what I mean? Overlays is a big example of how, right? Because 
people think, oh, I need an overlay for my stream to look professional. And, you know, there are some industries and some streams where I'm like, or some like, where I'm like, oh yeah, it actually does get you a lot of mileage to have a sick overlay. But like, then you've got like Creparian just streaming on like obs, like vanilla obs, no settings, you know, like huge streamers that are just in a corner. <clears throat> well, that's interesting. Sweaty hardcores and filthy casuals. <laughs> Ooh. Not exactly. There exists... I don't know how, how mean I want to be. But there exists a type of content creator... Um, who, like, fancies themselves someone who will eventually create content. And builds all these walls and... Uh, things in their mind to justify not starting to create content. And it's always stuff like, oh, I don't have enough assets for my OC. I don't have enough, um, you know, uh, uh, assets for, like, a rig. I don't have, like, uh, a Shore SM7B. I don't have, like, uh, a Cloud Lifter and a, um, oh my fucking god, I'm gonna die in this room. <clears throat> the focus right. And the truth of the matter is there's actually shockingly little you need to have a stream that is a high enough quality that you can get really big. Um, but it's always more... It feels better to feel like the thing that is preventing me from becoming big in streaming... Oh my god, I'm going to die here because these guys move too fast. Um, isn't like anything that is in with, within my control. It's all externals that I can pay someone to resolve. And it very rarely is, is, has been my experience. We will take the torn photo with the mutant spider start. Ocular Rift is really fucking you up. Tell me about it. Story of my fucking life, dog. Uh, I really want Buddy in a Box. VTubers have that problem. VTubers have that problem worse than anyone I have ever known. Being friends with Leah Asimov has, like, introduced me to a world of VTubing. And VTubers, I think it has a lot to do with idol culture, too, are worse than anyone else when it comes to, like, understanding what it is that is going to make their stream popular. Like, they're literally, like, it has to be new models. It has to be, like, it's like, I'm sorry, dog. I understand that, like, their industry also is, I'm, I'm also meat tube splaining, um, but I, I understand their industry is different than mine. But, like, largely a significant amount of the things that VTubers think they have to do in order to be successful is just icing, and they have not yet baked the cake. I will say the number one thing that I would not compromise on is uh, mic quality. I think that you really do need kind of a minimum sound quality in order to make it at all. Uh, but I think that minimum is way lower than people think. I am not going in there. I already took a devil deal, so I'm cut off from angels, right? But if it's a 30%, I'm going to feel like a fucking asshole. I feel like a fucking asshole. Actually, contract is crazy. I'm happy to take contract. Um, wow, we didn't buy fucking anything on this floor. But think about our chances on the next floor for Planetarium. They're going to be crazy. What do we need on this guy? We need to go up. Let's go up. Um, but uh, I think a lot of people think... It, they get in their head that like not compromising on audio means buying exactly the Shure SM7B. And I cannot stress enough that that is not remotely the case. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go devil here. I blame Joe Rogan personally. I guess I want butt penny. For streaming, the difference between a $100 mic and a $400 mic is basically nothing. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I would say the difference between a $200 mic and a $700 mic is almost nothing. But, like, the difference between, like, a $50 mic or, like, a Blue Yeti and, like, the first professional XLR mic is night and day. Why are some coins disappearing? Oh, yeah, I haven't talked at all about the game. The character I'm playing is named Tainted Greed. <sighs> That's probably better... I occasionally am going to want Polaroid. The way he works is when he kills an enemy, occasionally they will drop a coin. Coins are both your health. Wow, that was a really fortuitous uh, contract from below there. Uh, and also they're just coins. Mm. 
hanged man went. Oh! Oh! Okay. That's that character, though. Sometimes you just get kind of skill issued. Uh, let's play someone else. We never finished Apollyon. We never did Mother on Apollyon. We never did, uh... What the hell is that? Mega Satan on Apollyon? Yeah, we could do that. It's kind of boring. I love playing Tainted Keeper. He's so fun, but you do kind of have to get really broken really early. Game is still on Yu-Gi-Oh. Fuck me. These useless mods, I tell you. You got any recommendations on mics when starting out? Uh, depends on your budget. Um, I've had a, I've made a lot. I, I've made a, a lot of uh, shitty mics work. Um, the one I'm currently using is the Rode Procaster. There's another mic called the Rode Podcaster. That is not the one I'm using. I like the Procaster a lot. Uh, I think it runs like 250, if I recall correctly. All right, so Tainted Napoleon's thing is he doesn't really have a thing. He has this item called Abyss. Which, if you see a shitty item, you can turn it into a red locust that fires alongside your tears and does a bunch of damage. That's a great item. Big fan of backstabber. I think starting out, you can find you can literally just buy a snowball. Uh, I, I do push back on Snowball a little bit. I think a lot of people got into their head that, like, the Blue Yeti Snowball mics are fine, and I think the viewers will notice kind of a, an audio quality problem with it. I will say, in general, you will get farther knowing how to... I, oh, oh, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not Tainted Keeper anymore. I can play a little looser. Um, I, you will get a lot farther just, wow, knowing kind of basic audio editing techniques than you will like just buying a really expensive mic <laughs> backstabber take me home big thing is condenser versus dynamic yeah like knowing the difference between like types of microphones is way more important than like purchasing the most expensive one you possibly can it's unfortunate a significant amount of um, of streaming is just learning, like taking a 101 course on all of the equipment that you use. Another good item. I'm just never going to use Abyss. Um, I'll get Endless Nameless. Who knows? Buddy in a box. Off to a great start here. I think you can actually get pretty far with mid audio. Some of the biggest streamers in the world have terrible audio. Who are you um who are you thinking of? We said we don't have mother and we don't have Mega Satan. I really hate going the mother route, but if we have to go the mother route, we'll go the mother route. <clears throat> How close are you to Dead God? Not. I like Spider Butt. I think Spider Butt is a really underrated item. No, we'll go for this one. Okay, good thing that we went for this one. We had Abyss on, uh, on lock in case it was shitty. Oh, hello. Man. Just not abyssing at all today. Ooh, Apple of Sodom. That's a great item. This is gonna be annoying. Annoying. What is Dead God? Full completion on Isaac. It takes somewhere like a thousand hours. Or many more if you're bad like I am. Sodom, Isaac gay? Who knows? Isaac, <laughs> the like lore of Isaac is so fucking weird because um, so much of the stuff in it has been put in it because like 
the guy who made it thought it looked cool or interesting. It's like the uh, Catholicism and uh, Evangelion style of uh, of making art. Fuck, this was an awful floor. Holy shit, we got nothing. I'm around 400 hours and I'm two thirds of the way there. Okay, well, I am about 400 hours, and I'm not two-thirds of the way there. And also, you know, uh, the last third is going to be the hardest. I will take the bar of soap. I will completely take the bar of soap here. Yeah, I really like bar of soap. We have not found anything worth abyssing. Holy fuck. Uh, I wonder if it's worth opening that chest. You know, we could. I'm gonna. It was not worth it. We did not need keys. You've hit all Q3s, it's crazy. I'm pretty happy about it, yeah. <clears throat> Some of the biggest streamers are also insanely lucky good. You shouldn't emulate them because it worked for them. You do everything reasonable you can to Im improve your quality of success. I'm always saying this shit, chat. Streaming isn't roulette, it's tier limit. Everyone's like, oh, you know, you have to get insanely lucky to make it in streaming. And I think that's true, to a degree. But I think, um... Okay, I'm stupid enough to go in on poop. Uh, I think you get a lot of value out of um, maximizing your opportunities to be lucky. And I think there is an inevitability to it. If you give yourself enough chances, eventually you will get lucky. You will win and change your fucking life. You know what I'm saying. Mmm. <clears throat> The other thing I think about streaming is that it's much harder than your 9 to 5. <laughs> There's one thing that uh that I guess is really frustrating. It's a phenomenon that's really frustrating. We we had a I think a will of the council where we talked about it where um basically when COVID started uh, this one guy got unemployed, and his girlfriend was reaching out to Reddit to do an Am I the Asshole. All right, Abyss, abyss check. Left or right, tell me. Um, and uh, the boyfriend was like, I want to try, like... Oh, man. All right, well, I guess I won't Abyss that. Holy fuck. The, the boyfriend was like, I want to try streaming um, as a career. And the girlfriend was, like, really supportive, but basically all he did was, like... He, he, he never did anything relative to, like, checking the SEO. Uh, he was just playing video games all day, like, not streaming it. And she was like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm, like, practicing for when I start stream. And she's like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> and then, like, he just was lazy and never did anything. And then he would, like, he would upload a YouTube video completely unedited and then, like, be real pissed off when it didn't take. And she was like, what do I do? And everyone was like... Yeah, I don't know how to tell you this, but, like, it's not going to happen. Like, you can't put in that amount of effort, expect anything to happen. I think you've been more than supportive, but, you know, call it. Oh, I hate this fucking room. I'm... There's been no hearts this run. Were there hearts in the, uh... I will, I will buy hearts from the place. I'm going to re-roll for hearts. That's how desperate I am for health. Jesus Christ, come on. Come on. A heart? There we go. <clears throat> oh, wormwood. Or like blurmwood. Or like good that I bought the heart because I am really bad at this fight, apparently. Whoa. Did you see that lag? <sighs> okay, I got one more try in me. How am I fucking up a polion? That was like all threes. How could I possibly have fucked up that run? Empty heart. That is abyssable. I think you as a player need to work on playing with lower shot speed. Yeah, I, I should do that. Or I could just abyss Eve's mascara next time. <laughs> yeah, I do just be kind of throwing it out there, huh? Throw my whole Apollyussy into it. Boy, I sure hope this one shot I get hits in 15 minutes. That was stupid. Mm. 
I don't know. Streaming's weird, chat. It's really strange. It's 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 just a, a strange position to be in. It's frustrating because you have to be like super self-motivated and you have to be like really into spending a lot of time looking at like shit that the 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 minimal amount of data that these companies are willing to share with you about your performance. It's annoying. I don't like it. Secret rooms here. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Well, fuck me. I wish Apollyon's gimmick had more unique flies. Tell me about it. Stud. Oh. Well, made our money back. I don't know. I always wonder what I would do if I wasn't streaming. Because, like, the stuff that I did before, I wouldn't really classify, oh my god, four on this guy? As, like, a job or career. You know what I mean? Like, um, ooh, two, three, four. Oh my god. Uh, it was like, um, you know, acting in theater and stuff, which is, it, it's like, it's a job, um, but there's no guarantee that it lasts forever and that you make money forever. Um, and the other things were like things that you get as a side job, you know, not necessarily careers. Ooh, excellent. That is a very abyssable item. Looking abyssive and breedable. All right. Uh, we do not have a key. We need a key for this. A long-term position at BlackRock? Hell yeah. <clears throat> I, well, we could get a lot of money this way and we could buy a key. Oh my god. Okay. Things are looking up all of a sudden. You can go mom route on next floor. You're right. I don't know. The weird thing is I, I like working. Um, I think I probably would have tried to get some sort of administrative role at like a, like a fucking, uh, a charity or something. I really like charity work. I think it's epic. I like moving shit around. Th this is the other thing that like is weird about me because I'm definitely not built for it, but I really something primal within me. I love picking up heavy boxes and putting them back down. Like a lot of a lot of my fond memories of like satisfying work are picking up boxes and putting them back down for the right reasons. You know what I mean? You do well in a Midwestern mud mill. What the fuck are you- What is a mud mill? That's not real. Trad husband thought patterns. Hey, I'm just a- I'm, I'm a lonely trad husband, unfortunately forced to live in a- the fucking- the world four seconds before Am links up with itself and ends the universe. I will say, um, I really like, like, farming and shit, with the single exception of the fact that it starts early. I, if, if you could start work on a farm at like 10 a.m., I'd be so fucking in. I used to work in a warehouse and I destroyed my back. Yeah, I've done like enough of that work to be like, all right, and I'm never doing it again. Um, you know, when, when you're like a 20-year-old kid, they really will just be like, oh, your back still works? How can we exploit that? Gardening is always fun. Love gardening. Love me some gardening. Very excited for planning this year's garden. Last year, we uh, we found out the person who lived here before us uh, planted cherry tomatoes. And it was a type of cherry tomatoes that just came back. And so we were just overrun with them. And we had so many. And we just, like, couldn't get rid of them. So this year, we're going to have to take really proactive stance against cherry tomatoes. Here we go. Huh. Yeah, okay. We'll keep that. Uh, what I'm trying to do this year again is... um is jalapenos. We did jalapenos and they kind of got choked out by the cherry tomatoes, but we did get like a half dozen and they were very, very good. Everyone was super flavorful, very spicy, had a heat to it. Now that I know that I'm being, uh, I'm being cheesed on the spiciness of my uh, jalapenos, I, I feel I deserve more. Well, what the fuck are we doing here? Um, we can spend our key to get to the next. Let's, let's try and Let's try and run it a little bit. Uh. 
Okay, that didn't really do what I wanted. <clears throat> Might want to try the challenge room. I guess we could. That's not really helpful, is it? That's a really good item. Please don't die. I'm one half heart. Please don't die. Please don't die. I'm one half heart. Please. I died. Man, I am just out of practice. All right, this is the last one. If we die, we die. But I want a good item. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That was C-section. That's literally true. I ran the seed. It's C-section. Can end on a loss. Oh, we very much can. And I will. I end on a loss frequently playing Isaac. <clears throat> um. Tech X and the one you just skipped. That's fine. I don't like starting on Tech X. Tech X is one of those items where I'm like, uh, okay, Tech X. If I see it like mid run, I'm like, ooh, Tech X. But if I lead it, I'm like, here we go. It's gonna be a really long basement. Ay, ay, ay. I gotta take off the contribute to cults totem. It never worked right. Oh. Speaking of cult of the lamb, after I after they released the sex update, I played it like voraciously for like a week, and then I just completely put it down again. That is always my experience with that game, is I play it so much in a little burst, and then I'm like, and now I've done everything I want to. I will not play this until it is updated. Uh, I don't need that. Oh, Curse of the Lost, right. Well, we have one bomb. I'm trying to get two bombs to go into that spooky room. Me with Hollow Cure? I don't know what that is. I couldn't get into Cult of the Lamb completely. Oh! We will be taking it. No Abyss charges. We'll just find another... Um, another active, swap it out, and then it's a free Abyss charge, right? Oh. Really want that. All right, fuck it. Ah. Wow, this was awful. Not a good, not a good floor. Bad floor. That's okay. We'll run it. Look how many abyss charges we got. We got at least one. How was collabing with Nova? Nova, very good. I was very happy to collab with Nova. She's very fun. She's a lot, though. I thought it was just like a... The thing about Nova is I thought it was just like part of the gimmick. That she was like on all the time. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And so, uh... When, when I first met with her, I was like, oh, so... She was like, do you want to uh, get together like 30 minutes before the stream and just kind of like do a bunch of tech stuff? And I was like, yeah, of course. Um, and I was like, this will be a good chance to get to know her. And I come in and I'm like, you know, very affable. I'm like, yeah, how are you doing? And she is exactly the same as she is on stream. And I'm like, oh, it's not an act. You really are this like, soy. You really are this like, um, on. 
How was it like collabing with Don Kishin? I don't know who that is. I've never heard that name. Oh wait, uh, 12 month sub. Uh, that is my best friend. It's not a collab, it's more of a life partnership. This is uh, not good. We're getting soyed out. That was wrong. Please die? Okay. Uh, you die too, please. Hearts, maybe? Oh, this is bad. Fuck you. Not sure why I, uh, my other account was banned, but take this before I unsub. What was your other account? Oh my god. I shouldn't have read chat. Oh, we did get punished for soy there. That was bad. Mm, man, I feel so bad. I, I was so excited to get back into doing Isaac on stream, and we just showed up and died three times. We will do one more run as the greed man. Uh, no, we won't. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cashing it in. Sorry, all. I will be live tomorrow with the penultimate episode of, uh, Master Saga? Master Roulette. Uh, I will be, uh, talking about New Cards PogChamp. We'll be watching the new Speed Duel stuff. And, uh, we might be doing the Twitter thread. Who knows? Um, bye bye. Goodbye. I imagine Gage is live. I'll throw you over to him. How's that sound? Let me make sure that's true and I'm not just talking out of my 